fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Good morning. We are here live from the sands of Huntington Beach on the south side. This is the Jacks Pro. We are kicking it off with the remaining four heats in the round of 30. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, Eww. former World Got Tour elite surfer, Miss Courtney Conlog. <laughs> Courtney, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes, we saw the start of round of 32 yesterday evening in some tough, grindy conditions, but they had some swell. And now we're leading into the last four heats of the round of 32 and then go into 16 of the ladies. And then it uh, looks like we'll see the men's later on. They're 32 and 16. Yep. Conditions today, it's calmed down a little bit. Very clean, super contestable. I would say, what, two to four feet maybe today? Yeah, it looks like two to four, the occasional bigger one. You know, uh, tide's maxing out at 8 o'clock today, and then it will be dropping throughout the day for most of the event. All right. Well, I'm getting all perked up on some Java Jaws got right the now. Jitters. <laughs> I don't know if it shivers or jitters. This stuff is so good. I'm ready for uh, tomorrow today. Let's get this done. Let's go. We are leading ourselves to finals day. So yeah, we will see the ladies. This is heat number five. Take to the water. Talia Swindoll. <laughs> Um, Reed Van Wagner, Daya McCart, and Maddie Storr. So another battle. And there you go. Look at the conditions. It's smooth. The wind hasn't gone bananas. Brett Simpson, good morning. Chee-hoo. We have been yeah, graced with Brett's uh, presence this morning. How's that surfboard? So you won that at the Caton where you can't see it on your screen, but <laughs> Brett's got this... Um, yeah, wow, what a what a piece. That's a wall hanger. Yeah, that is. We'll show it one uh, at some stage in the day. But look wow. on the screen, Courtney. Are you kidding me? I know. I saw a couple barrels actually in little left handers spitting. And I what? Was Don't going, lie. What? Come on. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them. <laughs> all right, all right. I would definitely be high and tight. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do this. And there's your aerial shot. I mean, it's a beautiful Saturday. Everybody out there, get down here, by the way. If you're in striking distance, 50 miles, packed up the car. You don't need sunscreen. Sunbum's got you covered. There is just a plethora of top-tier brands from surf, accessory, apparel, eyewear. It is all going down. They're running games today. Today is way nicer than yesterday. Yesterday was brutal. We had rain, rain wind, wind, and I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it was uh, looked like the Sahara with the sandstorm. <laughs> but I was getting sandblasted <laughs> walking off the beach yesterday. I was going, whoa, yeah, I got a to, little derm abrasion. Totally. I got to my car. I was like, well, that's cool. I just got 80 gritted all day. That's it's like people awesome. really pay for this service i'm yeah. just getting the sand blast right here just the nature's <laughs> loofah yeah. but so anyways yeah it was uh it was pretty it was good in the morning then you know as the tide pulled and the wind kicked up it got pretty uh pretty victory at sea-ish but i mean it didn't stop people from throwing down crazy scores al cleanland yesterday uh i do believe that highest total he would be sitting as a front runner for the, the automotive excellence hand kook uh, set of tires that's pretty awesome and it looks like the first heat's underway and just a couple seconds off the clock i'm sure these ladies are super stoked to be surfing this morning we have little northeasterly winds like a soft puff from santa ana mm. <laughs> my oh yeah <laughs> all right but sweet little santa ana winds and um we'll see how this day proceeds safe to say you're uh, one of the only pro surfers to ever hail from santa ana <laughs> yeah I, i'd say so i think there's more soccer players from there gotcha all right well we are blessed with miss courtney conlog all day today here in the booth and up on the beach commentary we're doing this it's like talia take it away courtney driving off the bottom just getting this day started for all of us nice little carve it's probably warming up those toes 
It's cold when you come in from a warm up today. Nice snap to finish. She'll be stoked about that, just getting a score on the board. And it looked like she split the peak with someone else. So we'll probably get a replay soon. Well, she is uh, a former 3000 winner from Pismo. Yeah, so she has definitely some experience being on the podium, making it to the finals, which always helps, you know. Uh, Talia has a great head on her shoulders, positive vibes. Um, had the pleasure of working with her in Brazil this past year, and I always love watching just how smooth she is through the sections. Right. She really links her turns well. Well, Malibu, well, Malibu. right? Yep. Just... If you pay attention to anybody from Malibu, they all have this amazing kind of like, kind of like Santa Barbara guys and 805 guys. They have this amazing tempo, yeah. the way they attack the wave. It's just a lot of uh, very smooth and um, choreographed, and not a lot of unnecessary movements. She's also coming off a runner-up finish at the 5000 in Barbados, nice. so she's so all she's all comp. Yeah, she's all comp revved, so she's in gear. That's awesome, and. Uh... Yeah, it looks like she dropped a 4.17 on that first exchange. Read just a quick 1.83. I'm sure she'll want to replace that. It looks like uh, they have a nice little spread right now for the start of this heat. No one's really right on top of each other. Um, it seemed like everyone was sitting a little further south this morning from yesterday. Right. I think with this higher tide, it kind of pushes over onto the bank. Yep. Doesn't really feel that uh, deep spot over towards the pier. Yeah, it gets a little plump over there. A little plump. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It just gets a bit fat. And uh, once the tide pulls, it starts to kind of feel the sandbar over there. But it's still this northwest wind swell, so it's kind of pushing... You know, north to south with the kind of the angle. Yeah. So, you know, the against the grain lefts are good. And if you find the right that either stands up with a close out, like there's an end on it, you know, those always end up being good. It's just the ones that go out to sea are a bit kind of dodgy. Yeah, you want to make sure, especially at Huntington, that the wave kind of bends at you at some point, you know. Or else you're just going out to sea, kind of doing those lateral turns, never getting tight in the pocket. Right. Big shout outs to our uh, our main sponsors at Jack's, Ron, Bobby, Jamal. They have upped the ante here, and uh, it is a 3000 for the men and women. That's an uptick in points, also an uptick in prize money, and just really supporting... Uh, professional surfing here on the west coast so you can't beat it also they have rallied an amazing field of vendors that reside in their store they are here on the beach come on down and uh, enjoy and get some free swag yeah it looked like uh reed was looking at that and maddie but they both opted to not go i'm not sure if maddie ended up kind of missing that wave but uh yeah, she's driving nice little snap to get things going. You could see this wave, it's it has a nice little pocket for her as she's working all the way to the inside. Well, that's those lefts on the windswell, they're just kind of the gift that keeps giving in yeah. the sense that it just keeps bending at you. You know, it was uh, watching, <laughs> thinking about it this morning because I was watching some replays, watch Al Cleland's like big hammer score, and just how... Guys would drop in out the back, basically off the end of the pier, and then they would end up further south on the same <laughs> wave than where they took off from. And That's there's a nice turn. She nailed nice it. First turn, yeah, great way to get things started in this heat. Twenty, just under twenty minutes on the clock. Really good flow, you know. You could tell she was focusing on that timing and just trying to really hit those sections well. Uh, Santa Cruz, born and bred, now residing in Huntington Beach. Yeah, that's awesome. I feel bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> Has to share the lineup with us. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, always fun to see, you know, athletes move to Huntington to put the time in. You know, they understand the U.S. Open is a massive aspect of getting onto the tour if that's what your goals are and putting 
time in at HB, I feel like it allows you to be a very strong surfer because there's always waves here. And uh, it's kind of a tricky wave, so you have to be open to adapting. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, it's funny though the very how much it varies from just HB to Newport. Yeah. Right? Like Newport's steep and cuppy. I love it. So Newport. sometimes your boards may not feel the same, you know? I yeah. always kind of found like my best HB boards were never that great in Newport. Oh, for sure. Newport, you are in a steeper pocket, pockety section. And uh, I always love surfing RJs because, you know, I, we both love to get the vision oh yeah get barreled and um but yeah Huntington's where I definitely put a ton of time I mean this whole stretch of beach um I ran heats out here tested boards for like bells and a lot of the beach breaks on tour and I feel like it really develops you as an athlete and you work on different scenarios and decision making as well so um it looks like we have a couple lookers for this wave rolling in Looks like White's holding first priority. Uh, she might be seeing if there's a second wave. And we have Reed up and riding. Nice snap. Ooh, Great got the finish. section. Oh, a little bonus. How is this right? She will be stoked. That right just kept giving her opportunities to just keep up in the ante on score. Yeah, I mean, if they don't go out to sea like that one, then it's just offering up a clean wall. I mean, even this one, I mean, it had two big sections, you know. You could lay two turns versus try and fit in the third, you know, just focus on two hammers. Right, all right, here we go. Looks like Swindoll. Uh, Talia looking at this right, just one banger. Nicely timed, super clean. She's already trying to paddle out. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing a lot of work with Dylan Perillo. Dylan, if you're out there, hope you're doing well. Good morning. Could be on the beach, maybe? Could be on the beach, definitely. Um, yeah, Talia's doing a great job getting this heat started. So... <clears throat> As it stands, store 483 on her opener. Talia's uh, opener to the 417. How's that connection? Bang. That's a great turn. You know, just timed it so well. And uh, Blue, Reed, getting a 6.67. What oh, a way to get things rolling. I mean, Second wave. This thing just kept standing up. Yeah, it did. Look at that snap. Timed really well. Got the board above the lip. That Ooh. bonus right there. I feel like that was one of the money turns for her. Because right. the one before it kind of set it up. And then she drove off the bottom and really tagged that well. Right. I got a question for you, Courtney. Talia, one Ooh, turn. The one banger. Zero seven. There it is. So yeah. out to a pretty solid lead. Um. How do you decipher a good board from a bad board? Mm. Usually a bad board, you just don't feel connected with the ocean. <laughs> and the board doesn't connect with you. Because the board is like the that link between you and how you ride. And for me, if I can't do my signature turns on a board, I table it. Table it. Yeah, I, especially if you're having to work too hard, you want the board to enable you to be free as sure. a surfer. You let go, especially when the pressure's on. You want to be able to let your hair down and just be in that flow state. And when you're having to think about a dud of a board that's never going to result in uh, good heats, you know, because you're overthinking, you're trying to correct your feet all the time. Oh. oh! And make the board work. That was um, such a sick wave. That was a great little wave. I've, I've found in my old age that if my board does cutties and bottom turns, then it's good. Yeah, if you could do like a solid figure eight without bogging and right. catching. So, toe rail, if it bottom turns and gets up into the lip, 
and then for like on the on my forehand and if i'm out on the face and can dig my heels in and it comes around yeah i've just found that all those boards that just enable you to do that seamlessly are always the good ones yeah you know you as a surfer you only end up having a handful of like magic magic boards that work from two foot to gosh eight foot sometimes the same board i remember i had a five eight swallowtail that just happened to work so well in so many conditions from onshore to glassy two foot eight foot you're like you shouldn't work out here but you're amazing yeah (laughs) yeah and when those moments happen you usually ride the board till it breaks (laughs) Mm. and um yeah so with tim i always found we would aim to have like a handful of templates and then just small little smidges of adjustment to make the board fine-tuned for the different location so do you have a, a board that you've put on the racks that was a big money earner while oh, you're yeah. on tour? We have a couple of those, Tim and I. <laughs> I have a board bag for reference. If we ever get off plot with just experimenting with my equipment, I always have the handful of boards that have always delivered results, you know, and delivered great surfing and just allowed me to um, let go in the heat. And when the pressure's on. Um, but yeah, we have perfect 10 boards uh, in a board bag. And he has a few in the shop. Well, as I mean, just talking about surfboards, because I'm a big surfboard geek. Without surfboard shapers, there is no surf industry. So no, all, hail, no all hail the shaper, <laughs> whether it's your garage guy or your high dollar, uh, you know, well-known brand. I mean, without nice. those guys, they uh, give us what we need to do what we love. And allow ladies like maddie to surf like that and link their turns you know uh yeah we'd all be body surfers if we didn't have <laughs> shapers <laughs> be on a boogie yeah i'd be boogieing Mario would be stoked all right stomping through store trying to just replace the 127 but yeah i mean um in, in this highly competitive arena of qualifying series chasing points i mean I would have to say that the quiver is the most important thing for these athletes. It is, and being confident in your equipment, you know, you want to know that you can just go out there and surf and make good decisions, and the board's going to be there. (laughs) You know, you don't want a board to snap on landings or not be able, uh, getting caught in the lip, and just little details, you know, that don't allow you to go into that excellent range. Um, Yeah, on tour... You know, you'll have some athletes, they'll have 20-some boards in their quiver, and then you'll have another that will have 10, 12, and usually it's their primary and then backups. And, uh, yeah, as I was gaining that time on tour, I found simplifying my equipment allowed me to just focus more on surfing more often and just making good decisions under pressure. Wow. Okay. So yeah. the, the ladies got busy. They did. Talia still out in front, 707. Uh, Van Wagner, 667. Trying to replace the 183. See if we have any scores coming in. We just kind of got off talk, topic talk, talking about sleds and, and whatnot. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what we're here for. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know all these women out here they're thinking about their equipment consistently and at the end of the day when everything feels good under your feet you're going to surf better (laughs) wow talia on the double up looks so fun she knows those one turn hammers are going to reap rewards yeah if you can find the tall one right tall one big section Hammer time. Judges love set waves. They do. <clears throat> so down to uh, just uh, under the halfway mark here in heat number five. This is women's round of 32. And uh, we're going to push through this one. Are we going straight into the ladies again? Into the yep. round of 16? Yeah, we're doing the round of 16 right after this. All right. So we're going to stay in the ladies for a few hours before we transition over to the men's round of 32 sure they'll be pretty stoked on that you know at the tide drop and it's just going to continue to improve and 
Yeah, I think they're in for a bit of a treat till the wind picks up. Yeah, I haven't really checked out any uh, reports, you know. Uh, don't want to know when the wind's going to come up. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck in this little. Get sandblasted. I'm stuck later. in this little box anyway, so it really doesn't uh, matter. We have blue looking. Reed, look at this wave rolling in right now. Looks like it has a nice wall in front of her, setting up for a nice snap in the pocket. Following up with another one very similar. Bang. And then a hammer to finish. That was a that was a good wave. It will be. A, Price similar to that 6.67, maybe a little bit thinner than it. Yeah, we'll I mean, she's just trying to uh, scrub this 183 off the score line. So having the patience to wait for this one, uh, great call. She's definitely going to do that. Yeah, it looks like Talia, she dropped a 5.1 for that one maneuver on the set. Judge, so love it. She has the recipe. Especially for beach break, you don't need to do five, eight turns. Right. Well, quality turns matter. Surfer in blue, Reed Van Wagner is going to improve on the 183. There you go. Five, five six, six, seven, seven. took her right to the lead. So now she's out in front. Talia Swindoll, she has priority, needs a five, two, seven. You can see it all right there on the screen. Store chasing a, I mean, a pair of scores. There's still time, you know, try to, try to, better this uh three six but you know if you want to do it in one big fell swoop a seven three four is what she needs and then down in the bottom a cart just sitting on a pair of pocket twos like you know and it's i'd say uh in like these qs heats you just you want to give yourself a chance out of the gates definitely you want to build house you know you always hear that term being used um white's quick in and out for white uh Ideally, you would like to have a 5.56 five, before the first half of the heat, you know, and then be replacing scores. Um, she does have a 4.83, so almost a 5. She's looking for the 7.34, very attainable for her. Just putting herself on the right wave, a bigger wave, and taking maybe a little tool from what Talia is doing, the one big hammer with a little bit of bonus sure you know? i mean it's always like um probably a good idea to give yourself uh, a baseline of what you're going to go out and try to accomplish right yeah. like hey you know looking at these heats maybe 10 points is your cutoff line maybe a, a high nine total on a second place and yeah you know there's going to be the anomalies of these crazy you know 15 and 18 points yeah. Which those are, you know, the one or two percent. Obviously, that that gets greater the the further down the draw you go as the Definitely. surfing continues to get better as you get to the pointy end. But then you go out with a plan like, hey, I'm not even going to look at any of these waves that aren't going to give me the five or the five five. Yeah. Right. So then you're not mucking around with the two eight and the two sevens. You're just like going out looking at waves, going, okay, there's either one major turn or two quality turns i know at least if i drop in on this thing i'm gonna elevate yeah just eclipse score. you know get out of the junk scores and into the yeah. decent and then on to the good so well you look at dea she's had seven waves um hasn't really found that rhythm yet and it's a lot of ones and twos and not replacing for the past four waves you know so she would have been close to first priority a few times and one of her decisions put her in this last priority now. So uh, it puts her in a tough situation, you know. She's needing a near-perfect score. And on a day like today, I mean, it's still very possible, but it makes your situation so tough. And we have Talia up and riding right oh. now. Nice little snap, a bit of more of a projection, um, and then a little carve. Board looks good. Her boards look really good right now. Um, I'm sure she's feeling really confident too. So she's surfing free and light with having some good results recently. Um, it always adds to making decisions like Talia, where you're replacing scores most of your time. You start fine tuning your performance. 
Oh, we see Linnea <laughs> running up the beach. It's going to be interesting to see what the judges throw this wave. Is that the 397? Did they punch it in that fast? I believe so. Okay. I agree. All right. I mean, it was, it was a, a little speedy one. It was a speedy projection. It The pocket wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't you know, a big, big uh, meaningful slam. It wasn't as punchy as that 707. That 707 was screaming... Oh. I want you to hammer this section, you know. <laughs> Here we go. McCart finding her finding feet. Her flow. Three minutes, 45. There's still time ah. after this wave. Fortunately, she's at Huntington. She could get out the back, and she's back in it, you know. Well, I was going to say, like, even with the low priority, she did kind of gave her the ability to forage a little bit and just kind of scavenge the lineup. Yeah. So there she, she goes. She's going to dig herself out of this mid-pocket two range. And give herself a, 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 a chance. chance and hopefully, uh, you know, decrease the deficit here. Nine, three, four before that wave. And, uh, I mean, it'll cut it down. She'll probably need like a six or a seven. Yeah. She nailed the first turn. The first turn was great. I don't, she, but she's not going to need a nine anymore, which is positive for her you know time winding down at 250 on the clock i'm sure talia would be on her <laughs> you know at these dying minutes and um utilize that priority she's holding first priority so is maddie it's holding second so this is when the strategy really comes in uh with closing a heat and right Making sure they don't walk in that door. Judges are taking a look at this one. Um, they really are. They're taking their time, which is good. You know, it's that, that part of the heat where you definitely want to be accurate on your scores. Right. This was uh, Van Wagner's. I believe it was the 5-6-7. No, I think that's a... Or was it another wave another that was Another wave written? that she just rode. Yeah, because okay. she's patting the kitty. Um, didn't quite ride out of that last turn. I don't know if I'll replace her last score. Look at Dea's score dropping in right now. It's going to be around the fives. Yeah, it's going to help the cause. It's definitely going to help the cause. Boom. Five three three. So. Now on the hunt for the it. now on the hunt for the six eight five. With so, I mean, forty five though. Yeah, so. and it's and it's always I think we kind of see this trend of like surfers in the tail end like not needing like these gigantic scores but right. always running out of Polly is looking right you could see her she's paddling down for sure like where is she <laughs> he's like where is she i don't have priority over maddie so i'm gonna put some pressure on dia <laughs> right and yeah so we're uh just on uh just about a minute and some tactics coming into play here Store with priority. She isn't third. I mean, there's nothing anyone can do if she paddles into a gem. She has the uh, yep. unimpeded right of way of the lineup. Our priority surfer in green on the hunt. And we Seven, see, three, four. We see a couple lines showing up for the end of this heat. So it'll be interesting to see if there are a few exchanges right before the buzzer. Okay, down to 40 seconds. And I, I mean... Talia is out of the screen, but I can only imagine she is keeping <laughs> the surfer in white company. Dez has a new best friend. <laughs> ha well, having higher priority too, right? So I yep. can just, hey. It's just, you're doing your job. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. No. She's, maybe she's trying to gain some space. Well, remember, as soon as you put a jersey on, you make waves, not friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wait a sec. Oh, he's he's done. So looking like unofficially, it is Reed. Oh, ben. he's up before. I think the that's... Oh no no. Oh yeah, that's not that's not the score. <laughs> yeah, Van Wagner with the the W and uh, Talia Swindoll coming through and Store and McCart in third and fourth. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with more live action after this break.
Welcome back to the sunny south side of Huntington Beach Pier. We are into round of 32, heat six, as you see on your screen right there. Sarah Freyer, Linnea Mons, Alana Lopez, and uh, Ava Wagester. And I am Chad Wells. Next to me, Miss Courtney Conlog. We are bringing you live action. And uh, what a what a insane opening heat. Yeah, it was a great opening heat. We saw us great rides. Uh Looks like White getting a quick in and out here, but Reed and Talia definitely adding some space between Maddie and Dea's performance. You know, their decision making was on point. They're replacing scores and just in that flow out there. In the flow. Um, Do the dance, feel the flow. Wow, look at this little wave coming through right now. Sailboats on the horizon. Um, yeah, look at this. Wave. Here we Any go. I so clean. It, there'd be so a thousand clean. people out this morning. <laughs> so many people <laughs> out. Quick in and out for Ava. All right. So here's just a couple of the things happening here at the Jacks Pro. Um, Sharp Eye Surfboards. You could demo a board and uh, over at the Sharp Eye Tent. And you can also get 75 bucks off a new sled at Jack's when you buy one. Wow, that's oh. a great deal. Hello, Gavna. <laughs> um, we've got Hydro Flask down here. I have my bottle today. They'll put your name, they'll custom uh, etch your name on your bottle, and they also have some um, some designs plugged in that they'll etch on your bottle. Yeah, I don't think they'll allow me with my Yeti. <laughs> no. <you're cool. laughs> they might Tackle me. I'm you're, not you're part of the cool club, club, I guess. That's like a bad word around I'm etched there. out. <laughs> um, let's see. Spy, if you take the Happy Boost Challenge, you will be entered into a chance to win a free pair of Spy Sunnies. We all know everybody. You can never have enough pairs of sunglasses. Definitely not if you're an outdoors person. You, yeah. you need to protect those eyes. Especially with us, all the water and glare time that we have, you yeah, know, as surfers. I, I got home yesterday and um, you want good, those tridiums. Good buddy of mine, Kyle Matisse, sent me a bunch of sunglasses uh, from a company called Knockaround. Oh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, I saw Rain had a booth down here. Their shades are really nice. Thanks, Kyle. Trim. Um, yeah. So there is all kinds of rhythm, rhythm clothing. If you buy any rhythm gear at Jack's, you bring the receipt down and you could win a 6-0 vessel in a raffle. And Courtney, it take like it away. With, take it away with Reed. Love it. We have Reed down, ready for an interview in front of the glass. <laughs> 
Hi, Reed. Hi, how are you? Congrats. I love that you got this on your board. It, you definitely had that heat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, that He was so fun. I mean, the waves are insane right now. Um, I mean, yeah, I wrote this just, you know, when I'm paddling out, it's always a good reminder to stay positive and just keep going because everything happens for a reason. Yeah, and I saw you just before your heat this morning, and you were mentioning you were listening to some Drake. What else were you listening to this morning? Um, I have, like, a certain playlist that I play. I made it. It's, like, just a bunch of rap and then sometimes some, like, pump-up poppy songs. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. Very good. Uh, so you have another round coming up today. Same game plan, tides dropping. Uh, what are you looking to either keep or change in this next heat? Um, I'm looking forward to getting out there again and just trying to surf, catch waves. I mean, I'm glad to be surfing today because the waves are so good and I just can't wait to keep going and keep surfing. Well, you're definitely in the flow right now. Uh, what board are you on this morning? I'm on a Chris Bohr Seawolf right now. It's definitely an old trusty, like, I've had this board for a while. It's a little bit beaten up, but it definitely is my best board and I... Love it, and can't wait to keep surfing on it and lo as long as possible. So did you do that art, the snake on your board? Yeah, me and my friend Maddie Stanton did it on my board. Nice. Yeah, I like to do art on all my boards. Love right. that. Love right that. on, Reed. Hey, this is Chad. Congratulations. You are also the recipient of some automotive excellence uh, <laughs> heat winner prize pool cash. So yes, yeah. It never hurts. Um, any, uh, well, hold on. What are you riding? What is, what's the magic sled? What's the sauce today yeah. under the feet? Seawolf. Oh, the yeah. Seawolf. Oh, you guys Seawolf. already did that. Yeah. That's, I, I've, I'm living in a cave right now. <laughs> oh, um, good. <laughs> He's only one coffee in. I, I think know. I got to go get double chir. I got to get double chirped up. He's uh, not the shivers, not a, the jitters a, yet. Any shout outs? I know I got to get ready for uh, tomorrow today. I need another cup. <laughs> <laughs> any shout outs? Um, I would like to shout out to my mom. She's at home watching. She couldn't make it today. But um, just thank you for always supporting me. My brother, I think he's watching. <laughs> um, it might be a little early for him because he's in college. But, yeah, just thank you to the friends and family and sponsors, Bill Bong, and just thank you and have a great day. <laughs> Love that. Well, congrats, Reed. Super thank stoked. You. You're off to the round uh, 16. Yeah. See you later today. We'll see you soon. There you go. Reed Van Wagener taking the W here in the first heat of the morning. That's heat five in the round of 32 will find herself in the round of 16 later this afternoon. And then we'll wrap it up uh, with some heats of the men's. So Yeah, they're round both of today. 32 and 16 as well. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, Billabong, you stop by the tent, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 2 p.m. They're doing scavenger hunts for free stuff around the beach. Can't go wrong there. Ruka is holding a limbo challenge. You ready for that one, Courtney? A <laughs> limbo challenge. I would like get down. I can't sure. get up again. We Bang. thought I one of the brands is actually doing yoga. They didn't end up having the session obviously <laughs> yesterday with the rain, but yeah, they had a little morning yoga session. I'm sure they're ready for the limbo. Oh man, I uh, I was telling Brad if I drop in and grab my rail, and I'm kicking out grabbing my rail. <laughs> Fallen and I can't get up. See Bang. Sarah. Bango. Coming around the corner. Nice carve. Sarah has already a 517. Nice way to start the heat. Ava, 3.5. Linnea, nice snap in the pocket right there. Staying really close to the white water. Just a couple turns for her, but that first turn was really nice. Yeah, I'm so sure she saw the one turn with Talia getting the seven, and went okay, noted. Yep, you Sarah know. just lives right up the road, surfs for the Huntington Board Riders Club. Um, no stranger to Southside. I mean, this is uh, surfing Southside's right, um, you know, in line with a bowl of cereal in your toast. Like it's just <laughs> happens. It's just part of the program. It is. It so, is. No surprise to see her off to a pretty good start. A 517 opens up her campaign. And then. Uh, Almost have a score in for Linnea, just waiting on one judge. Yep. 567 for Linnea. Super great for her. Puts her in the lead. Uh, Sarah has her 517. Did you just get a new Excel wetsuit? Yeah, you know, it's what? like everybody thinks they got to grease the commentators or something. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at this thing. That suit feels 
great. Apparently, it hasn't even hit the market yet. Look at that. I'm like a team rider. People trying to blow me up. You got the black and gold, too. Yeah, don't you know who I am? I'm a huge deal in my own apartment. (laughs) Just ask me, I'll tell you. As soon as I walk out the front door, it's all over. But <laughs> all right, here we go. Fourteen, ten remaining. Linnea Mons five, six, seven. So that was a, that was that a uh, backhander, that first one. Yep. So great surfing going on. I'm so excited. All three mil hooded Excel. Happy days. They're on the sand running activations. I don't think they'll give you one of these though. <laughs> I know that's pretty sweet. You even have the hood. So yeah, we're waiting for three scores to drop on in, and ladies are staying busy in this morning round. Sarah's definitely taking more of the patient approach right now and just really selecting. She knows what to look for being a local here at Huntington. It's put plenty of time in at this lineup. We see a Linnea, just a quick setup turn coming around the corner. And um, nice snap to pull through, and then comes unglued. Oh, look how oh, buttery it is. Lay back there. So he good liked today. It. Alana. So good today. It's nice to just, uh, you know, it was kind of like yesterday. I think yesterday, I don't. We didn't really know what to expect, and it was super, super clean. And then today, like we knew it was going to drop. And, I mean, the reports for the win were favorable, and it's just so buttery. And and I'm stoked the girls got to get some of this because they were just thrown out into the chunk yesterday. They were. They were. But, like, the first day of the event, small conditions, grindy. You have to sometimes earn getting into these further rounds, you know, especially when you're a lower seed. It's part of, like, earning her stripes and uh we see alana she got a 4.5 on that last ride and linnea even with the fall of 3.2 so it's a close heat it's definitely on the backups right now i got a question courtney yeah <clears throat> um going back to your career what um how was the year what did you do on the qs when you qualified like results wise yeah. or just like the the grind of it what like what events were there I actually remember one US Open they forgot to put my name in the seed list so they had to give me a wild card <laughs> but I had to actually start lower than my seed that was meant to be in and that was the year I won in 2009 Maybe that was kind of what you needed Yeah so it ended up being I think it kind of allows you to gain that momentum so you're ready and you're like almost in the ring already um, warmed up and making your decisions or you have some confidence under your belt and so for me I was actually still in high school when I was gaining points to qualify for the tour so I did the ECSC some of the US Open started doing US Open when I was 12 and um slowly gained points to then have a high enough seed. You know, we didn't have the Challenger Series. That was more like the six-star. Right, but was there international travel involved back then? A little bit. Do you have to go to Brazil or do you have to go anywhere? I went to Portugal and France and ended up having some really good results there. Brazil didn't end up, well, we had some events down there. I gained some experience through ISAs down there. Uh, but Europe was more of the one. And then the Aussie events, you know, Margaret River. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but I actually focused more on the Open and Portugal and Europe to get the results, you know. Um, and then ended up qualifying during, while doing high school full-time, which was quite a grind. And then was on tour when I was 18. So, yeah, it was quite a journey. And then on tour my rookie year, I ended up doing a total of like 16 events because I was doing QS and CT. Holy mackerel. Double qualifying. Living out of the duffel bag. Yeah. yeah. I did that for the first three years um, just to make sure I quali- re-qualified for a tour, whether it was on the QS or the CT. Sure, sure. So, looking at scores... 
Linnea Mons out front. Alana Lopez, <clears throat> excuse me, currently in second. She is a second generation pro surfer, daughter of Corey Lopez. Fantastic little ripper from the East Coast. Sarah Freyer now on the hunt, has priority. Single wave score 517 in her score line. Just trying to add to that and improve her situation. And Wagster in third priority and fourth. Just uh, three five and a point seven, and we're under the halfway mark. Um, get down here if you're in spitting distance, <laughs> and all your needs are here. Taco Surf's got tacos, acai. There's acai bowls. Um, Sunbum's got free sunscreen. It is all happening. You can spin the wheel, like Brett said. Yeah, they've got these crazy goggles that kind of mess with your vision and you've got to like Whoa. hit a target so that's uh, wild yeah there's all kinds of great stuff um i know how to get my kids down here a little later today and and it's just uh this is where i think these brands kind of get to flex a little bit and just show that they're down here supporting the core and also wanting to put themselves in front of everybody Definitely. And I see a couple lines coming through. Sarah's been holding priority for a while in this heat. Curious to see if she'll pull the trigger soon. She's definitely taking more of a picky approach, you know, just picking the eyes out of it right now. It looks like a nice line's rolling in. Well, Sarah's got the right away of the lineup, and look at this thing. Uh, yep. Looks like she's going to pull the trigger. Nice setup. Bomb turn to start. Oh, she's caught the rail just a little bit. Coming around the corner. She's been sitting for a while, so I'm sure some nerves build up during that time. You know, so I don't know. I believe that will probably be in that three range. But uh, she has 7.18 on the clock now. More lines rolling in. There could be a bit of a shift with this set. So we'll see. Yeah, let's see. So she, Sarah's going to help her cause with that last one, undoubtedly. Definitely. She um, doesn't even have a backup right now. So we know that will definitely be her backup score. And now she has seven minutes to build on that. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's with the tide dropping, let's see, let's have a look. When's it going down? Um, it goes down to like three today. Oh, wow. Are we back in the negative negatives? Negative 0.6 today. Oh, just crazy lows. Yeah. But what it does on the dropping tide, like the it, these banks love that medium to high because it kind of condenses it and pushes everything up on the sandbars. Makes things a little steeper too. For a yeah, while. and it just gives it a little more oomph. And then as it backs out, it kind of pulls it further out the back and kind of flattens it out. Yeah. That first turn, she caught a little bit, just kind of a setup card to try to get back to this energy source. You know, it'll be a mild score, but could be enough to turn the heat. Sure. So right when we started, basically, was the peak of the high. It was a 5-3. And... Uh, Linnea it, dropping the one hammer. And then it falls out to 230 to yeah. a negative point zero six. At 230 today. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> So we're just waiting for one score. Look at this. It's right on the fences for Sarah. Two, nine, three, just short. I had a feeling it might have been a little thin because of that first turn. And then Linnea just dropped a 5.6. So she is improving her situation substantially. She has the two top scores in this heat so she's feeling pretty good right now there are five minutes on the clock plenty of time for the other surfers to turn this situation it's still a very close heat it's anyone's game right now yeah you know it's the battle of the backup right <laughs> definitely or for alana to try to get to first and make it a little safer for herself right protect the lead protect your protect Protect your position. Uh, definitely not safe sitting on a low of a 367. 
especially with capable surfers Wagster and Freyer just on the hunt for small scores a three for Sarah four six seven for Ava I mean it's I mean stand up do a lipper you're done yeah Sarah only needs a three and that's in her wheelhouse she could do that just needs to time that first section that wave would have allowed her it seemed like she had sat a little bit so she was kind of maybe rushing to the section as where i feel like at huntington you really need the wave to present itself and not get ahead of it yeah true here's a great line coming through definitely could that that looks like it has a little something nope no takers yeah, should be interesting to see what the conditions do within the next couple hours. I mean, I think these girls in the first few heats are really lucky, you know, to get, get it on that high before it Definitely. pulls. Definitely. Oh, wow. Okay, so Sarah's holding second priority. Linnea has first. She's There's enough spread between the two of them. She could go this way, but nope. 320. A three is such an attainable score. You could elevate a smaller wave or just do one single turn and end up gaining a 5-5. Five five. So. Take the, uh, the Swindoll route. Just the one big hitter. One big hammer. I always uh, found myself doing that here at the pier. Just one big hammer. All right, the buoy, <laughs> the buoy, uh, buoy on the loose multiple times yesterday. It's uh, had it, some of the top scores, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, wrote it. Uh, at least it got length of ride uh, points. <laughs> Definitely came all the way from Definitely. out the back, all the way through the inside a few different times yesterday. Yeah, just a quick in and out for Lenny on that. I don't know if that was a good decision. I know she has a bit of a lead in this, but. She was holding first priority. She could have definitely shook up this heat and um, just had a bit of fun playing with some strategy. <laughs> right. So down to two minutes. I mean, it's this has been a slow heat. I'm just wondering if we're going to fall into kind of the every other, right? Some heats just pump and some are slow. We kind of saw that on day one. Yeah. Yesterday, not so much. But uh, today, it just feels like this heat. I mean, a lot of... A lot of waves ridden, but a lot without very uh, much substance. Definitely. And you see Sarah, she was a little far in on that set where Linnea ended up going for the left. Uh, she's definitely put herself in a bit of a corner sitting and being more on the patient side. So hopefully she gets another opportunity before this heat's over. Linnea, just a quick turn. Uh, definitely won't go in her score line. I'm just having a read on our schedule. <laughs> yeah, we have schedules here. <laughs> we have here. schedules now. Oh, a little line coming in for Sarah as time trickles down. Oh, no taker. So in that scenario, that left had a three. The right was challenging for her to get to with where her positioning was. Hopefully there's another opportunity I mean, off the back here call me crazy but i would just it just feels like they're so condensed sitting together i would just be so far away from the person with priority it's right, sarah 45 seconds on the clock these are those moments you wish you caught a three 10 minutes ago yeah know, i mean but... sarah's on the hot seat she's gonna pull the trigger with priority chasing a three. Oh boy well Oh, no. Shocker. Yeah. That's tough. Like, you end up putting yourself in those situations. And, I mean, it's great practice to be confident in that scenario to where that moment you hammer that section, you get your 3-5. No one else has time. Right. Well, I mean, to you would. The heat, really? Courtney, you would know better than anybody. How much pressure do you, I mean, kind of indirectly put on yourself competing at home? A ton. You know, you're in your backyard. You want to have a great performance. Your expectations are high on yourself. And, um, yeah, so it's definitely tough to see her go out of the heat, but Linnea and Alana had great performances, and it was enough for them to pull through. 
and uh, stay with us after this round. Welcome back. Day three, Jack's Pro. Here we are, round of 32. I'm Brett Simpson, joined by Courtney Conalog. We got blue, Zoe Chait. In white, Zoe Kaina. In red, Sanoa Demphal Olin. And in green, Maddie Stanton. So another stacked heat. Great heat. Yeah. The last one was a, a tricky one. Linnea Mons wins the heat. Alana Lopez in second. Local girl, Sarah Ferrer, had a few chances at the end, just was unable to really pull it together. There's a lot of waves out there. I feel like girls might be overthinking a little bit. The last couple of heats, you know, one big maneuver can be kind of a, you know, average to good score. And, you know, there is these longer kind of slower waves that you got to really put it's, them together. Yeah, it's not always about length of ride, yeah. you know, and usually it isn't. It's about, you know, power, speed, flow, commitment, innovation, timing the sections properly. Uh, Talia, I really liked her approach on how she just put herself in the right spot on those waves and hammered her turns. You yeah. know, she wasn't overthinking it. It was in that flow. Read as well. Yeah, it wasn't looking for like, oh, this wave has to have a long wall. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm dropping in. Keep my speed. One major maneuver is better than three little ticky-tack ones. Yeah, definitely. I, You and I both agree. Uh, one big hammer is better than three little Tic Tacs. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one's definitely going to sting for Sarah because she, yeah. uh, local girl, surfs out here a lot. Ava as well. They uh, they just couldn't find that rhythm, you know, and maybe they were looking for something. Sometimes you're looking for something that's not there, and there's plenty of little waves to be had and definitely get scores. Definitely little baby barrels out there. Yeah. So, I would have been know. looking backhand. I I like I like smaller little waves. I feel like you can get tighter in the pocket. Um, there is there is lefts like on either side of this bank. I mean, majority of the waves have been rights, just with that kind of northwest wind swell. But there is still some cuppy little lefts, and especially if you're four or a regular foot. Yeah, and backhand's a easiest wave to gain an eight or yeah. some five. You know, and I feel like having this northwest swell, you have those against the grain. Here it left, is, right here. You know, Ooh, like that. That's gonna be. 
one turn. Even that, like one major maneuver. It's all the last heat really needed, you know, Sarah yeah. needed in the end in those dying seconds. So Yeah, well, they just, you know, from watching it, you know, up on the deck, they were just, I don't know, they were passing up waves and looking for something that, I don't know if it was there. Yeah. You know, and then being out of position and, and that stuff will cost you a heat, you know, so. Definitely. Yeah. Look at this set and maybe some of the positioning for sure, because mm. I saw a couple scenarios where it looked like they're a little far inside. They're, yeah, a little far inside and then not far enough out. So that yeah. out and in cat and mouse. So yeah. we're going to send it down. Last heat winner was Linnea Mons. Linnea, you there? Yeah, hello. Hey, congratulations. Good, well served. Couple nice maneuvers. What was your kind of game plan heading out there? Um, well, I've surfed a lot of Grom contests here in Huntington, um, and this is my second year doing this contest, so I know Huntington can be really slow, and it can like have super long lulls and go flat. So my game plan was just to catch waves, and if I saw a wave, surf it. Yeah, well, good job. You did well. You found a couple major maneuvers, couple linked, you know, combos on the backhand. Were you looking more right or left or just kind of going with the flow? Um, I was definitely looking at the rights because they had um, more potential for higher scores because there was a lot of rights that would stretch out down the beach and you could get multiple major maneuvers. But um, I wasn't counting out the lefts because earlier in the free service I saw you could drop in and get one big section. So I was definitely going with the flow a little too. Awesome. Well, great job. I think you're coming up soon again. So any shout outs to the family, friends? Um, yeah, I want to shout out to everyone back home watching, all my friends on the beach. And I want to shout out to my dog and my dad who are watching at home. Awesome. Well, shout out for yeah. the pup. I love it. What are you on today? Um, this is, um, it's a kind of, like old faithful but it's not very old and um it's the radius prime so it's kind of a newer paizo model and it's super high performance short board and it has a little bit of rockers so it's super nice out here awesome well it looks good under your feet congratulations again enjoy those automotive excellence extra bucks in your pocket and we'll be seeing you coming up soon thank you go get warm thank you <laughs> good job so back to heat number seven, round of 32. It looks like Sanoa got a four or five on four her previous. Five, yeah. yeah. Look He's at this. up and riding right now. A oh. nice snap to get things started. Well, just cutting him back, staying by the energy. Yeah, nice first turn. And yeah, some of the lefts are kind of fading out. So, you know, not getting that end section maneuver definitely. You know, the judges really like that finish. And so sometimes yeah. when you're kicking out on a small way, but this turn, let's dissect it off the bottom. Perfect Great timing. Snap. Yeah. yeah. Great spray. snap in that section. Lots of spray. 5.5 for this ride. Yeah. So they, they think it's her best, you know, and I think, uh, yeah, I agree. A little more. That turn comparative to the 4.5, almost... The four or five might have been a little bit bigger of a section, but she was she cut it short and was chasing down the line where that one was a he more brought it all the way committed. just stayed committed. Powerful out there by any means. No. Pretty soft. Here we go. Zoe Kaina, a local girl, slashes right there. It's in a little snap. Yeah, so a little little two turn combo. Almost looks like she might be a little more to the south because we saw the free surfers off to the left of the screen. So wonder if she's kind of more by Machado's bank. Yeah, she might be. It's tough to tell when we're when we're zoom tight, but she might be down the way. There's plenty. I mean, there sounds like I hear the beach announcer yelling at the <laughs> non-competitor, <laughs> yeah, so they Mitch, must be. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch is, is like, yelling. Hey, everyone, get out of the area, please. <laughs> Uh, so Maddie's still waiting to get this heat started for herself. There's already almost 10 minutes off the clock. Yeah, so got Zoe. Last of Zoe, 367. Here's uh, Zoe Chait. Nice turn there in the lip. Combo. Oh, they're going to like that. Three turns. Definitely like the little three turn. Nice finish. All in, in, you know, comboed together. No hop in, you know, the yeah. in-between. didn't linking the turn. No, like, in-between. Didn't have to, yeah, or... didn't have to wait or hop around. Kind of hits this one. One pump. Slash. No pump. Boom. So, nice combo. Yeah, definitely. 
and that's what you know makes us you know a, a good uh, score go excellent greens on a nug so a little cutty there that one kind of goes flat on her which is a bit of a bummer so blue they go four four three I, you know i understand why a little more horizontal horizontal yeah yeah and just the it's that thing where you're better off doing two turns than trying to fit in the third. Yeah. You know, and the so... tempo the tempo was good, but it was on the slower side. Yeah. And the and that affects and a little punchy where it wasn't like bringing it all the way back. Yeah. Uh, kind of always projecting for it a little. I think she has a lot of room to improve in that heat that wave. Mm -hmm. Um, but not a bad way to start. Four point four three. You know. Here goes Zoe. One big section. Boom. Nice. Can't she yeah. hang on? Yes, she does. So committed maneuver there. And this will be a great test to see what where that score goes. One big, you know, thinner to, you know, a three turn kind of mediocre combo. Yeah, we just saw it, you know, in the previous heats, the one turns getting five fives and seven, yeah. depending on how big you went. Exactly. So I think Zoe did a great turn right there. Well, and she's identified it. For being such a young competitor, she's watching and she understands. I think... 4.3 for the one turn. So it shows, you know... Yeah, I think the second heat, maybe besides uh, Linnea, didn't really identify that. Like, yep. you need something coming at you with a big maneuver. Definitely. Because the girls were looking for these waves that are tapering and they're flat and they're getting threes and fours. You yep. know, and the big maneuvers are garnering those, you know, good or, you know, better scores. So definitely you got to watch. You got to pay attention. That's a there's a reason to it. You know, all the madness. Yeah, there's a reason you come down here, you know, clear before your heat 90 minutes at least. And uh, watch what the tides do and watch what the other athletes are doing. Yeah. Observe the scoring scale of the day with the judges that was always an issue for me because i'm like oh i know what i could do like i know these conditions and then <laughs> it doesn't sometimes it doesn't matter and then me you know? the sand grab on yeah. the beach <laughs> you just get in your Anchor own way all day yeah. <laughs> a couple rashes yeah i just i always put so much time where i was like on the beach for two two and a half hours just because i like watching that pattern you see reed there psyching up yeah dia 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 as oh, well girl. looking in the lounge with those shades and the yeah. small beanie that's right it is a chilly morning court. It's, it's snippy. Yeah, it was a little brisk. Stoked I had my little puffy on. Yeah, stay warm. Yeah. Some waves coming through. No takers here. Just a perfect little left. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> kind of soft. Got to find the pocket. 11 minutes, 15 seconds. We have a bit of a right out the back here. I'm curious to see if we'll have any takers Tide, positioning. Tide's rolling out fast now. I think 8 o'clock was a high yeah. in that 5 range, and it goes to a negative again around 2.33. So Left. Let's see what happens here. So a on snap. Ooh, that was a cool. Little freeing of the fins there. Yeah, a little spicier. Kind of release. Weight on, weight off. You know, when you kick that with your, well, it would be her left foot, you kind of push, and then you put a little pressure on your right, Front, kind of yeah. hold that so the tail gets a little release. Yep. 10 minutes, 30 seconds. So Sonoa's still in the lead. She's been kind of having a pretty decent year. She, I think she came up a little bit shy of the challengers, but she's right on the cusp. She's uh, surfing really, really well. Her and her sister, Matea. They made the final, was it last year, up in uh, Morro Bay. They awesome. were both in the final. That's yeah, it was cool. super cool. Sister Fun to watch. Final. Yeah. I want to say Sanoa took it out. But, um, yeah, she's a solid surfer, her backhand. She's definitely, you know, I've seen a lot of improvements. She's putting mm -hmm. in a lot of work. Here's Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, a bit of a white water takeoff, a little snap. See that was a better turn. Yeah. You more know, commitment. so more commitment. She knew it was just the one hammer. Mm -hmm. So really put all her energy into that one turn. And we see Zoe out the back here. Yeah, kind of. Oh, that's nice, nice. Snap in the pocket. And then this Bring one. Back a little carve. It's kind of pedaling out a little bit, but yeah. did all the work out the back. Oh. 
Just a quick look. We'll see how that wave comes in because Zoe Chait had the 4-4-3 four, 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 for like the kind of paced, you know, combo on the one. And then she goes 3-9-3 three, nine, three three, there. 3 nine, 3 for that one, so. A couple, you know, one judge had it right there, 4-2. It's, uh, you know, it was a little bit rushed. It was rushed to the section, you know, because she had the white wire takeoff. And so it, it was more of a contact to the lip here it is right here and she comes up and yeah a little late a on little it. late and so she couldn't really snap into it not sticky but the the water kind of came up over her board, her board and it wasn't super clean yeah and that's you know how you have to that's get... what held the score back yeah then. that's what the judges are looking at that critical but you crispy... think that was one turn Versus the three turns, it's pretty close, yeah. you know? So yeah. it's like, all right, let's roll the dice on these big sections and find ways to get the maybe second turn after. Oh, you know? it looks like Maddie had a... Oh, just a little bobble yeah. at the takeoff. Kind of caught an edge, like inside edge, a little straight. Okay, some of that south wind starting to affect um, some of the reeds on it. For you sure, know? for sure. You think you have and time. And pulling out. You think you have Tied. time and they kind of run. Yeah. And you got to be right in the pocket. Yeah, with the tide pulling out, too, I'm sure that's why uh, you'll see maybe they're sitting a little too far in right now. Yeah. Well, you got to adjust. Yeah, you got to yeah. make the adjustments. Slowly adjust. The tide's pulling out really fast, too. Such a fine line in these conditions from being too far out and kind of missing the wave. And then there's those little runners on the bank that are in and under. So you really are that. It's not cat. You have to mouse. shark around. It's not cat and mouse because it's big. It's more cat and mouse. Like, hey, I'm I'm off the bank. I'm under. I I got to move out. This one might roll in. Yeah, yeah. I always find on days like today, I'll be in a little bit, but I'm attacking out. Yeah. You know, because I feel like your approach into the wave needs to be clean. Because then, especially at Huntington, you'll want to drop in kind of bobbling, and then the section's gone. You know. Yeah. Small waves. Most definitely. Goes for the air, so looking for the innovation. Maddie Stanton knew that thing only had one, you know, one section, but I'm sure she's been practicing that, you know, and definitely wants to pull it out. Like it's a it's a crummy little wave and you're like, Hey, if I could pull this off, they might give her a good score. So I like the uh, innovation there. The thought was right. Good thought process. And in you know in the late in the females have just you guys especially your generation court have really raised the bar at like aerials and and you know charging bigger waves and I know that's something that you've always kind of reveled in you know yeah. bigger surf and um, I think it's still evolving but it's really cool to see like how the girls now and the performances at Pipeline this year by a handful of them were pretty darn special. You know. Definitely. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, the past couple of years we've had more opportunities to showcase be in the bigger conditions, which yep. is always nice because then you can elevate, you know. Yeah. You could train all you want in great waves or heavy waves, but if you're not given that platform, it makes yeah. It's like why risk? And that's what's tough. Surfing the big you, waves. If yeah, you you're, get, you're risking injury. You know? There's a yeah. lot can go wrong in those that type For of surf. Sure. For sure. And Just, we're really small in the vast ocean, oh, you know? Oh, sure. So, but it does make it really fun when it's big. It's just a bigger canvas, you yeah. know, to turn on. Important wave here. Needs a 4.07 on this. Nice wave. Gets the fin release, you She's know. She's really good at freeing her fins. Yeah. She had know? the cutty, smaller wave, but we'll see, like, if that factors in she only needs the 4.07 i like the combination and it's gonna Definitely. be right there it looks like she's gonna get it there it is 4.43 that's awesome you know i really like how she, her technique is to do those little blow tails she decompresses her weight yeah as she's in the lip to just allow the fins to come free for a little bit and she then brings it right around very, you know smaller in stature Good but timing yeah too. timing how old is Zoe, I think? 12, 13 years old? Yeah, Somewhere really in that young. Range? Yeah, yeah, 12, 13. And I mean, pretty darn amazing. Grom, ripping. Board looks great under her feet. Yeah, um, I see her and her this. little bro. There's so many fun little waves here today.
Yeah, four minutes twenty. So that changed the situation. Zoe kind of goes into second. Zoe Chait now looking for a 4.3. Maddie Stanton, 6.33. Very attainable. Here comes a wedge. Sonoa. It's kind of might wedge her into no man's land. Yeah, it might yeah. be a little too peaky. Oh, Zoe's going back on it. She's mixing it up a little bit, seeing if she can get the backhand. I like going backhand. A little tighter in the pocket if you can get it. Well, and she's really heavy on her back foot, yeah. which is great for your, your backhand. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. Pivot point. Pivot point. You just coil, bomb turn, slam that back foot into the lip, you know? Yeah. She only needs a 4.3 to advance, so I I feel like it's pretty close. Let's see the start. Oh, she got Ooh. a little slash. Oh, yeah. Okay. A little slash and dash and another wrap. Definitely on her way. I feel like this is one of her best waves of this heat so far. And she gets to package it up right here, yeah. finish the wave off. Definitely one of the best waves of her. Her her, her exchange, yeah. yeah. Well, she already has a four four three with the three turns on the forehand, so she's looking for something in that range. Still coming in, three minutes. I have a feeling the judges might brew on that one for a little bit. Well, when you look back, you just got to go off of like the four fours. The four four her. And this four five that Sonoa got, and just kind of compare and the four. 4-3 four, three, and 4-3 four, three that Zoe had. Ooh, it's coming. It's coming right Low. there under. Just under. There it three, is. Three nine seven. I don't disagree. Little, yeah, it little was slow. Cool too. Little slow Size. in between it all. Yeah. That's a. That's a bummer. Well, she still has time. Two thirty. Zoe Chang. Plenty of time. I mean, look at you're dropping it on something like that. It, it's. Yeah, it's there's clearly out. swell out the back, you know, so that wave looked a little bit small. Or sections like that where you you have more emphasis. I think everyone's looking for the corners of these waves, and you want to look for a the closeout. biggest just, moment of the wave. Yeah, Slam big moments, you know. Yeah. You just need one to two sections today to really put a massive score yeah. on the board. It looks like we have a few lines out the back here. Some of that swell from yesterday. Well, Zoe's kind of by herself. She's wandering over to the right of our screen. Kind of has some nice space, which is awesome. With third priority, that's what you want. See this wave out the back? She sees this left. It could. A little late to the party, but. Yeah, could be on, but needs a major right here. Oh, no, no that was no. it. So I don't know if she was thinking, you know, something after that. She kind of, she's bombed, but she kind of, you know, didn't close it down and commit. She kind of was leaning back, and yeah, her board got a little bit flat. Yeah, so that was interesting. You saw she paddled towards the right of our screen versus up to the main part she's to take to off. You know, now she has to come because the start of that wave there was definitely a lot of potential. A Five five on that oh, wave, yeah. you know, and I mean, it would have let her into the party to like. She hammers not that, have to rush. She hammers that section even though it's like. Yeah. That's where I'm saying I, I don't know sometimes if they're the girls are or even guys too are understanding like that was the score, you know that wave had the that potential the just focus on that one major maneuver and you have it, but it almost looked like she might have been eyeing something beyond that and then got a little bit ahead of herself. Yeah. So that's very uh, possible. It's a beach break. It's beach break, you know, no more than a couple turns. You might see a three or four turn wave, but not good turns where today the moments are going to be more, you know, impactful that are going to be good to excellent range. So now this is where first and second will definitely sit on you. Yeah. It's pretty much good. And night, Zoe. Irene. We're counting this one down. This could be a little double up for oh, Sano victory on. lap. Oh, she took it on the belly. All right, so. She's saving the good rides for heat. Yeah, <laughs> looking like Sanoa, uh, Dempho Olin, Zoe Kaina advancing on commiseration. Zoe Chait, you know, Maddie Stanton, they're going to have to bounce back in the next event. And we're going to take a quick commercial break. And we'll be back right after these commercials.
Well, good Saturday morning. Welcome back. We are at the Jacks Surfboards Pro. We have round of 32, heat eight. I'm joined by Courtney Conalog. Up now, we got Rubiana Brownell, Kira Pinkerton, Kylie Pulcini, and Kaya Howard. So nice little battle here, Court. Yeah. You know any, any of these ladies? I know Kira fairly well, actually. And um, yeah, she's. I've actually shared a few heats with her. She's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Such a power surfer. Um, so yeah, I've had quite a bit of experience in a jersey with her. Awesome. Yeah, which well. is really cool. Um, and she has a quick score on the board. Very notorious for that game, the 5-3-3 to get things rolling. Yeah, it didn't waste no time. Looked like a couple big turns there for white and blue as well. So we got some high-powered action. Looked like Kylie Pulcini just slammed that section along with uh, Rubiana had the left with a little more of a kick. So And like scores Kaya's kind of out the back uh, soloing it, so she might end up scoring into one of these lines rolling in. Yeah, Kaya's a little weapon. I got to see her, was it last year, year before, at Trestle's USA Prime Championships, and here's uh, Rubiana's wave. So, slingshots across. Oh, yeah. she might have. So, so, that was her first wave, 2.67, then her next, and then this is Kira's first, the 5.33. So, nice pocket snap, transitions over the flats, and hits that one. So you could just see much bigger surfing timing. And then yeah. this is her, this is Rubiana's four, three, three. So nice. nice. Just one turner. Yeah. She just got... timed really well. Flared the fins out a bit. And then, oh, and then big one there for Kylie. For... Yeah. Kylie going for a nice snap in the pocket. So a little more horizontal, but her timing was good through spray yep. connected with the lip. Well, it'll be interesting to see where they go there. The bigger wave, I will say, her it looked taller to me, you know, by what we've been seeing. Here it comes, kind of in the... She might be smaller, though. Yeah, 4.03. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You never know. It was like when my brother was little and we'd be surfing. I'm like, dude, you're half my size right now. Yeah. But then when he passed me up, yeah. and just threw away past me. I do that with the kids. Here's a replay. Here's a so, replay. So Kira. Look, Kira got nice another one. Carve. Carves it Get up. things going. Just linking and flowing. Waiting for the wave to stand up. And it, it didn't it really doesn't. do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't. And it comes in as a 3-5. So we have a 3-5 for her. It looks like Kylie, her score dropped down as 4.03. So that's not bad to get Good things start. rolling. Yeah, the, only five minutes off the clock almost. And um, yeah, these ladies are moving. I like seeing that they're... Whoa, nice turn there for Rubiana. Can't she throw waves. it up? She does throw it up there, but her her body got a little stuck. She wasn't able to kind of rotate the shoulders yeah, there. It was a little back when she needed to be more over the board. Yeah, that could have been a solid combination, but nice first turn for Rubiana hailing out of Avianas, Costa Rica. Hopefully I pr pronounced that right. Avianas? Yeah, it looked about like right? Avianas, yeah. Almost well, like Javianas. You gotta roll. Down. You gotta roll it. You know. Javianas. Javianas. Yeah. So there's 1930. I like how at the start of this heat, um, uh -oh. they're getting busy and Kira with class, classic backside hammer right there. Yeah, they'll love that. They're going to love that. See how it was. Ti you, you see the timing and the technique on that was yeah. perfect. So. I'm excited to see where the judges go on this backside snap because a lot of the one turner scores we've seen have been for forehand. So and even the second turn, she was able to the board didn't get really stuck in the lip. She got the board above it right here. As, yep. we, as we pan over quick, you'll catch it because it was kind of it looks like she's to the southern peak, but was able to as we look, boom, right in the pocket and then here jumps up there. And gets the finish. And able to, like, kind of float across That's it. That's the ideal. You want to get that one big hammer and just try to fit that little finish. And we could see the scores already dropping in. 6.67 for Kira on that last ride. She'll be stoked with the start of this heat just to have a platform to build on. All right. So we're going to throw it down to Sanoa. You there, Sanoa? Yeah, I'm here. Congratulations. couple nice forehand snaps. What was the game plan? Were you looking left, looking right? Just adapt. 
Yeah, I was definitely looking right more before my heat, but I ended up getting all my scores on left, so definitely <laughs> changed my game plan out there a little. That's kind of the way heats go, right? You just have to be able to adapt. You did a great job. What's uh, What are you riding today? Yeah, I'm riding kind of the same board I've been riding for all the QSs the past year. Um, it's an HT2, a little bit wider, and goes really well in ways like this, and then also when I get like a proper section too. Nice. Yeah, well, it looked really good. Look really sharp on those forehand turns. What's your... What's the goal this year? I know you came pretty close, had a few really good events this last year. Are you looking to go Challenger Series? What's the plan? Definitely. That's for sure my goal this year. Um, I was a spot or two out um, this last season, so just, you know, obviously want to get onto um, the Challenger Series, but, you know, I still have so much I can learn on, you know, the regional QS and just kind of put more effort into my surfing and my competing and just kind of I don't know, get as good as I can, I guess. Well, we love to hear it. We've seen a lot of growth in you the last couple of years. So congratulations. Uh, enjoy the automotive excellence box, and we'll see you out there actually pretty soon. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> get, get warm. I will. Thank you. Hi. Oh, she's from Canada. She's not cold. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> I could drunk it today. <laughs> so Sonoa, Demful, Olin, advancing on into the round of 16. Kaya Howard looks like she's at a point break. She's been on this wave for a while now, Court. It's probably by Tower 3 by now. She might have to go to the Pasea <laughs> and get a coffee. <laughs> a little hot cocoa. That'll yeah. back out. Yeah, she's actually pretty young. She's not on the coffees. Uh, I was very young. Were coffee, you? By like 14. Really? Sure. Oh, I was always worried about stunting my growth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to stay small, so every day is a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Looks like Kira out in front. We barrels to, are bigger. Yeah, stand talls every day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a replay uh, on that last one of Kaya. It, she was on that way for a long time, so we'll see if it. You know, she had some quality maneuvers. Yeah, but, definitely. But Kira out in front, playing a strong game. Here she is. So solid cutty there, able to lean back on that foot. She kind of formed out, got the arms <laughs> all, out. got the arms all done up. <laughs> So goes over this flat section, able to carry her speed, carves it again, a little more of a back foot jam, and then stays stays rolling across and gets the finish. So 4.03, and then... 5.4 for that last one, yeah, so... I think that was a left for Kylie, so puts her into second. Yeah. The 5.4, and uh, plenty of time, 15.20... But it's nice for these ladies have 25-minute heats. Everyone's going to get a fair shake. Definitely. And there's a lot of opportunity today. Tide's pulling out, so should be more consistent by now. It's already done the transition. Um, yeah, so. I wonder what it's going to look like in, you know, three hours with way less tide. Is it going to be, like, in between? I feel like it might push on that back bank, you yeah. know. yeah. But we'll see. Rubiana. Swell is dropping a little bit. Nice turn there for Rubiana. It's a single little hammer. Yeah, she's looking for a 5.11. We'll see. It was a nice turn in the pocket. Good timing. When she did it, it kind of felt like she wanted more. Her yeah. body language. But uh, Kylie having another dig right here. She's going to go right. Oh, yeah. in and out. I thought she might go for a barrel for a second. <laughs> yeah, so this is the last tee of the round of 32, and we're going to go straight into the round of 16 of the ladies. Kira Look up and way. riding. This wave looks fun. Big blast in the pocket. Blast. And then she kicks out. It's one turn. She was able to, you could see her kind of set that wave up and the difference from the last couple heats and the vet, the, you know, her being kind of a veteran at this point. She's still young, but she's been doing this for a long time. But the way she kind of faded into that and her timing kind of dropped down on that turn and got her a little bit stuck, but still a big turn. Still a solid turn, and it looks like a 3.83 for this ride. Yeah, see how she... she she, she got a little stuck. Stopped the rail line yeah. and that caught her up at the top, and that's what didn't come out with speed. That's what held that score where yeah. it is. If she freed the fins or like carved you gotta push. down you gotta... and just push through that, it yeah. would have been right. Yeah, those are kind of like stop turns. Like they're 
it happens when there's south wind and you're a little bit short. Maybe it could be nerves. It could be whatever. Or just like super psyched and just wants to hammer the turn and you just automatically just heavy back foot. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So oh. Kylie's having a little She's meltdown. Going, Wait a sec. <laughs> Wave, you're not supposed to run off not like that. Not supposed to close out. Look at this. She's fired up. Yeah, I think it comes down to, obviously, <laughs> decision making. And when you're paddling into the wave, you got to look down the line. And if it's going to run for 40 yards, that's probably a closeout. <laughs> You know, yeah, so definitely the wave's not going to ever wait for you. And especially with the south wind, you are going to drop in a little bit slower. And I just, she was kind of dropping and looking back, looking down and straight. And you really have to be looking. I always at tell, the wave. especially beginner surfers, but like you want to look where you want to go. Your, your, yeah. your body will follow your eyes, you know. So if you're looking Perfect. down and looking straight. Uh, might you're be going a tough to go time. down and straight. <laughs> it might be a tough time. <laughs> unless you're wanting to go steep and deep. Yeah, unless you just want it to land on you. You're like <laughs> chiropractic. <laughs> yeah, then you'll be seeing Romine. You're like, I don't want to go to Romine today. I'm just going to go straight and just get one on the <laughs> neck. <laughs> lobster dive and take a lip to the spine. <laughs> oh. So Pinkerton just going to town in HB. She's had a couple events out here. Yep. She won the ISA. The one year I was able to like co uh, assistant coach with Simo, and she won the ISA overall. And the team ended up help, you know, winning the overall in the women's. I think it was two years ago, and that's what Katie Simmer's spot is now in the Olympics. So, you know, it was a kind of a heartbreaking moment because I think at the time Kira thought she was in because oh, she yeah. won the event, but the the way the whole thing shakes down at the spot actually went to the third highest american on the world tour yeah and that was katie so. yeah it's kind of a interesting layout but yeah you understand some of the decisions i guess but it, it'll be nice once uh surfing in the olympics opens out a little bit and yeah. allows more athletes to for sure on that yeah. olympic level uh we see why having a Whoa, quick look almost here got sucked almost over. got barreled so rubiana big turn if she pulls that they might go excelente for sure down in costa rica pira vida but i like the commitment i will say she knew she was only going to get that one and she, she might not have had to go that hard let's see this so lines it up low center of gravity Goes wango. She could have the freaking cover shot of the day. <laughs> yeah, if we still had mags. I know. <laughs> it's so print. We need print to come back. I love print anyone mags. Out there we still have Surfer's Journal. Anyone out there that's watching, that's motivated, and got some extra cash. Yeah. Boom. Okay. That was a confetti oh. pop. Did you guys get your umbrellas out? We got a small uh, I shower. I thought the rain was done. <laughs> Guess not. Kira's gotta, bringing it. We got a uh, ad rain advisory coming through. <laughs> Kara Pinkerton just went. Umbrellas are out, out. here. <laughs> Holy mackerels. That was sick. She might just come in. Yep, she's like, that. I'm done. No, nah, she's probably doing a little run around. Yeah. <laughs> it's a like cool little victory run to hear your 7.83 near excellent. I mean, I would have went eight. Well, that's pretty good for today. Definitely. So she's going to do the trot, trot across the coast. 805. She's rocking the 805. I like it. I love it. So 783667. Here it is. Boom. Yeah. Come around the corner and nice snap again. Kind of similar turns, but great timing. Timing. She's always been really good at timing the section, you know. And another. She lets fish. it present itself really well. Yeah, and her body language, her, her authority. Yeah, and just grounded, real solid. Yeah. So here's Kaya. She gets in it. Whoa! Oh. Hits it right there. Oh. Another snap. A little projection. And another. So a little three-turn <laughs> combo at Captain O'Landers. <laughs> Kaya, the start was a little funky. I will say it looked like her feet might have been little a little off. off. Yeah. Let's see what Kylie's got. She's got a big section. 
Oh, kind of throws it up the late, top. and then that one blows up on her. So this is going to get interesting here. Kai is looking for the five four one, and Rubiana needs the five one one with just about eight minutes to go. Now, have you had your Java Jaws today? I actually had Sea Tiger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I and made the some tiger. coffee at home. Tiger. Yeah. Well, we got so it, today is one of the best days yet. Obviously, the weather. So turn right there, hits it again, and then slams it again. So what do you think here? I mean, it's pre-projecting. So I'll keep the score a little bit back, but she, had, she got a four seven seven for that. She so. had the wave. The start really hampered her. Yeah. Um, because the start's so important, I, you know. I'm not sure what happened, but the feet, uh, the drive off the bottom got a little. The first turn's got to be the best to go to get up there. To six fives for sure. And it, it wasn't. It was probably the worst of that wave. So that's why the score comes in at four seven seven. She was. I don't know what it was. There was something. Her rail yeah. caught or something was for a little sure. off. Let me see. Kylie going back, Dorian. I think the south wind's throwing her off a little bit, just with the positioning. She's a little deep on all her waves, you I know. know. I, I'm wondering what she's seeing, but the the drop in and kick outs are are not, uh, you know, especially when you're serving heats, you're just wasting away, you know, whatever priority you're in. Maybe I don't know if she was third or fourth, but got to be a little more calculated. For sure, but there's still 6:30 on the clock, plan of time she, for. She's in second spot, only looking to better a 4.03. So if she does, you know, one big maneuver, she can do that. Easy. Yeah. It just comes down to wave selection, you know, and she kind of, the door keeps, the door keeps opening up for yeah. these other competitors. Yeah, and it looks like her and Kaya have the same backup right now, so. Yeah. Um, well, Kaya shortened her, her ass. She only needs a 4.67 now. Yeah. So she just got a Very four seven attainable. seven. So she's already done that. So this one's gonna come down to the old wire burner. Yeah, so Kylie definitely interested to see if she starts hanging in Kaya's area since she'll have priority over her. Looks like she might have got wind of it while the wind picks up. <laughs> but Rubiana has priority and she's capable of, of big scores and she might that have too. a Uluatu left coming her way. <laughs> That left looks actually pretty fun. Can she get down the line? Oh, she so kind of oncoming was section, about it big and, hit. Oh, a little late Holds to it off. party on that one. Might be a little late to that section to really get the 5.11, you know. Yeah. I mean, she did it. Bigger section, I will say, Court. I feel like she kind of stopped her momentum going up into the lip and got a little bit uh, hesitant. But, yeah, look at that little left. Plenty of little waves. Four minutes, 50 seconds. We'll have to see where they go with this. And it was, you know, more of a horizontal lip line float. Wasn't really a it was on blow out three, the back. Four, three. Yeah. Well, when she took off, it was almost like, oh, wait, was this the right decision mm. at the start? And it, when you do that, sometimes it puts you one pace out of rhythm. Yeah. And so then you end up being late to the section a little bit. So. No brains, no headaches. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she finds No brains, no headaches. That's the one. Take it out there right now and just go surf. Yeah, well, this is what happens right here. We got tide rushing out. All the water by the pier has to go somewhere, and all of a sudden it starts flowing right into the lineup here. So you could see the current starting to flow. I mean, there's only a couple feet of swell, but Huntington Beach is just renowned for current. Yeah. I remember people, we would go to the Snapper, we'd go to all these places and be like, oh, the current's so bad. I'm like, it's not even that bad. Like, I'm from Huntington <laughs> Beach. Like, every little swell we get is current. Like, always current. Big yeah, south. Definitely. Holy treadmill. Yeah. You guys Better not stop. Or yeah. Else you're 20 feet back. <laughs> yeah. You'll well, be fighting the current going backwards. Go. Your heat leader, Kira Pinkerton, she might go 
Big oh. burn. That's going to better the score. Just in form right now, you know. Bye. Definitely. Bye bye six six seven. And I think that's what kind of the other girls are trying to do. But it might take a couple years, you know. It might take a couple years to get to that level. And that's what we're seeing at this event. There's levels to this game, you know. For sure. And uh, it's good. These girls have a girl like Kira out there in their heat. She just wrapped her spot up for the challenger. So she's going to be heading over to uh, Snapper. Snapper Rocks. Up our rocks, so and hopefully some Aussie meat pies and some flat whites over there. I'm yeah, sure. she was. She got to surf um, <clears throat> in the Usher Cup for San Clemente, and she darn near won the thing. She hurt her hip, and she almost won it. She got second to Malia, but she was a standout the whole event. Eights, eights every heat. She was. Uh, yeah. So hopefully she can keep that flow going over there, and you know, represent the good old USA, and uh, hold up that trophy. That'd be awesome. It's definitely a nice way to start the Challenger series with a great result or any series of that. Uh, six, seven, three for that is one turner and by a hair. By by six, six, seven for sure. So two minutes on the clock. But see, one turn out here today can go into that mid, almost excellent range, and so yeah, and she's gonna don't go ignore again. it. Yeah, she's like, all right, Link, little... get a seven for one turn. <laughs> so she kind of faded it. Faded that a little bit. She might, you know, the work's done. She's saving her energy. She has to surf again today. Yeah, the work is done, and it's not a disrespectful thing. It's more just, yeah, surfing in a little bit. Highly unlikely, you know, the girls behind her getting nines out there. Yeah. I mean, you just got to be honest. And uh, here's a wave right here. So Rubiana snaps it right there, wraps it in the pocket. So a little more, you know, emphasis on that first turn, but that thing dies out on her. Yeah. Looking for that 5 one, one. Could see Kylie just moving in. I'm not sure where Kaya is, but she's definitely kind of coming coming towards uh she you know, only needs Rubiana. a four six seven yeah Kaya, so very attainable score time is winding down there's only 40 seconds on the clock now and um let's see if one last exchange happens wow so kai is gonna get a chance but oh it's not well, gonna be the wave waves like not today so Kylie did a decent job, kept an eye there, made sure yep. it didn't look like the wave that could do the trick. You never know with those little under underground runners, but ten we're counting this one down in five. Three, two. So now that, finish round of thirty two. That'll do it. And uh Look Kira, at definitely a standout in that heat. The, the Kiras and Kylie's in. Wow, we got the we brigade. The sheriff's in town. The sheriff is in town. Don't be doing anything Yeehaw. silly down here. <laughs> and we will be right back with the women's round of 16 that after so this fun. commercial break. Look at them. Stop.
Hello, hello, hello. We are coming at you live from the south side of Huntington Beach Pier. This is the Jax Pro kicking off uh, the round of 16. Heat number one in the water. Scores already falling. We have Leilani McGonigal, Ella McCaffrey, Zoe Benedetto, and Bella Kenworthy. Brett Simpson, this is an absolute barn burner. They're searching for the person with the 805 cooler. <laughs> <laughs> well, you find it, then uh, me and you will make it 806 and 807. <laughs> yes, this is. Well, see, look at this heat. Zoe Benedetto, Leilani already 5.67. That's been kind of a keeper today. Bella McCaffrey, just an up and down. Bella Kenworthy, 5.0. Who would have thought less? She just always starts the heat solid. Like that. Yeah. Just, just like that. Just like that. So we got the sheriffs in town. We're making sure the beach is patrolled. I don't know what we got going on, but it's a special day. It is Saturday down here at the Jacks Pro. Here's all the vendor village. You got all your favorite brands. Uh, what is it, 60, you say? Yeah. I, mean, I think you're mistaken. Could be 70. I will. Hmm. I will tell you outside on the walkway as you enter this event you will come across the visit hb yeah tent here it is u.s air force tent wingo wango Ooh, leilani yeah so this is the five six nice first turn and she just sent some spray into the vendor village bang so this five six seven right there judges liked it mm -hmm. and that this is bella Right in the blackboard. Nice first turn. Slashes back. So smooth. I'm going to kind of see if she can get the inside connector. Get that coveted finish. And she does. A little, little tail ditch. So that's a 5.0. I could see why they went there. But, you know, Leilani is a little more, little more zesty. Sure. And uh, Zoe having a look here. She... Lost priority just before this, so she's going to wait for this one to double up. Slams it right there, so uh, it's kind of her patented forehand hammer. And she's going up and over the woods and gets the finish. So they're going to like that, too. I think they might go They might go, uh, They might might go. go. berserk right is she, there. Is she coming off a win in Barbados? She did. There yeah, you she's go. She's Barbados. So, yeah, yeah taking out the 5,000. Back to back. And like she said in her interview yesterday, she... She came here last year after that event and kind of, per se, laid an egg. Didn't have a great result. So it kind of didn't start that following year off well for her. So she had to do pretty well at, in Barbados. Um, but, yeah, that wave right there I think is going to go pretty pretty well for her. Well, and Bella is coming off a double victory at the Ron John. Yeah, back right? to back. Yeah. Back to back junior and women's QS. Both qualifiers. There's the old Jacks. Oh, they got a bunch of stuff down here. The the comp merch. Wow, all the gear looking good. Oh, no. Cool you design. can get, yes, right here. I mean, even if you hit it with your phone, that QR code will work. Every vendor has 20 off. I like those blankets. Off. Those blankets look money. Yep, and you can go up to Jacks or um, jacksurfboards.com. Um, Okay. And get the discount with that card. Hydro flask. Booyah. Well, there's everyone. It's just kind of turning up right now. Weather's nice. It's going to warm up. It was a wee bit chilly this morning. White having a dig. This is Ella McCaffrey. She's she's uh, looking solid this last week. Carves it right there. Gets the rotation through the hips. Keeps the board speed over and gets the finish. She does. Gets a little bobbled up there, but she gets out in front of it. Well, she is coming off of the Board Riders battle, the Battle of the Board Riders victory with her team in Sanitas, and she was the leadoff yeah. every heat, and she would go out and... Snowman it? Just in a matter of a minute or two, she would come in with a pretty much very good to excellent score. Yeah. Then her brother would paddle out and do the same thing. Yeah. Well. And they would just tee up Nick Marshall, the whammy surfer for success. Oh my gosh. Wow. So we're just starting to find our feet here. Zoe might've taken out a new board poxy. We'll see. Cause she's kind of on her way to a heat win at the moment. She traditionally uh, lost mayhem. New, new of maybe a year and a half. New-ish. Or so. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's been a great. Obviously, she had a lot of years with Shea Lopez riding Lopez shapes, and I think it's been good for her. I think boards are always, you know, trying different equipment, especially like at the age she is. You gotta, you know, it helps you fine tune, you know. And I think it's it's been a good transition for her. And look at this turn. So, just I mean, hammered it. Pretty excellent in my book. Well, she just not only placed it, but pushed through it. Kicked it and got the nice finish. So yeah. what do you think? I think we're going to go up into the excellence. Um, her, Yeah, I mean, I... Her, la- her first was a six. I f- it, based on everything we've seen this morning, I feel like that one's got to go up into the excellent range. Let's open up the scale, fellas. Yeah, Let's just, open just it up. Crack that freaking score egg open. I mean, it's two to three foot HB. We got to open it up. That was a ginormous turn. And we got to stay stoked. We're always stoked. Zevin, yeah. Evan, it's Kevin, Evan. Kevin, it's Zevin. Evan Ashford. Come get your undies. Because we know they're probably not clean right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is so. The Zevin, um, amongst other uh, tents, is one that you will encounter on the walk into the event, as well as I mean, Taco Surf, Java Jaws, and the Acai Republic. So you can get your, you know, your Acai bowl or some tacos, or just hit the Java Jaws for some coffee. We've got Spy Optics, Nixon, Lay Right Deluxe. I mean. Donnie, the big boss comes down here. I'm pretty sure they give free haircuts away. I like that. That's killer. Oh, you get a tune up and Whoa. cut this mullet there, Breddy. <laughs> Look at this wave. Wow, nice two turn combo for Bella Kenworthy. 817. So we were on. Someone said nine. I was thinking, you know, eight five. But we're right there. We're right there. So I was wrong all day yesterday. I've been wrong all day. Fortunately, you're not paid to be right. <laughs> you're allowed to be wrong. So like, this this wave might come in nice too. A little check kind of gets a little stuck and then clicks it right there. That would have felt nice. Yeah, I feel like she's on some type of epoxy material. Yeah, carbon. just seeing like how kind of like uh, just real free she's getting in the lip and even not at with a great amount of speed and still able to kind of release the fins. Yeah, that little carbon pop. You know, sometimes it pops, sometimes it drops. You pop know? and drop, pop, lock and drop. Like, I don't know. I've had some boards like that where you're like, wow, this board. Like, every third wave is, like, really good. And I, I'm one of, like, I want consistency. And sometimes, like, you, you get one wave and, like, the, the board feels like it bends a little funky or it slingshots you into the lip and just catches you off guard where i don't know especially if you're surfing contest a lot i i want to know i really want to know what it's going to do rather than be a little bit surprised Ooh, oh a little funny. pocket right there but then would you say a little bit late perhaps yeah i mean you kind of want to get there early and that's how you're really going to get the fireworks off yeah you know you get to the lip late you don't get that explosion yep but that thing cupped out. It did. And it probably caught her off guard like, oh, I have time. And then, it, you know, she hit it and kind of had to, you know, hip check the lip a little bit more than kind of push through it. Well, also, Brett, uh, the tide peaked right when we started. Five ones going out till like 2.30, which is a negative point zero six. Look at that turn. That She's was got turn. the thickest style through her turns. They're all like so photogenic. That Slater kind of twist. Yeah, she nailed that first turn. Nailed. And then, boom, wraps it up with a nice... They just love that when you just finish. So we're in Florida. Florida Stewart is, is Beach. A, Stewie Beach. More towards Miami. Probably an hour from Miami-ish. Hmm. So, what is that? South? I have south, no idea. Like South Florida. I mean, what's kind of her local jam? Where's the? I think Stewart Beach. Really? Kind of where she surfs a lot. Yeah. Then if if it's flat there, I think they need kind of a certain type of wind swell. But she'll go to Ponce or Smyrna. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, Daytona. Exactly. Um, Jacksonville's also pretty consistent. More central, central yep. vibes. Oh, Guy Mansour, Fuwax Extraordinaire is in the booth. Good morning. 
Aggie. The FUAX, of course, the presenting sponsor for this U.S. Air Force Air Show, who we've got. Kolohe Andino is the front runner. Yep. Uh, Davi Toledo. Dwight Luke, Pastrana. Luke Weiler, Dwight Pastrana, Pastrana so far, right? Yep. And we also got the girls in the mix, too. Yeah. I just don't know who's qualified. We did have Maddie Stanton launch an air, but she didn't pull it down. So I think last year, if, if there's no airs completed, it really comes down to the highest performance maneuver, which uh, I don't know. Okay. Right now, you'd have to say... Zoe B might even be right there with that last turn. So nice snap there for Leilani. This is looking better. And another. And she hangs on. So cat-like reflexes there for Leilani McGonagall. It looked like she might fall at the back of that and just hung on. Strong, strong lower half. So Zoe Benedetto in the lead, 81760. She's feeling pretty cozy right now. Bella Kenworthy, 50557 on her second. So this wave is a 433. Well done. Almost lost it right there, but the dexterity of the knees and the hips and the ankles, she's able to hang on, but it only captures a 433. So she's still looking for the 4.90. I mean, it's a full battle for second. <laughs> it is. It is. 10, just uh, under 11 this minutes. This could be a final. All yeah. these girls. Yeah, these for sure. Red and green, Zoe and Bella are on the challengers. Leilani, did she make it too? Not or sure. came up? I know her and Ella maybe came like one or two spots shy. So this is a stacker. I might even just have to have to just re-up the rankings here for uh, a second. Investigative yeah. journalism. Let's see. Get in there and investigate. Um, I just know it was close because I knew Zoe had to do really well at Barbados. She ended up winning, which, you know, put her... Oh, I'm looking at some Margie River scores. Jeez. I'm all over the place. You know, when you got the iPhone 4 out, it gets tough, dude. <laughs> How is that old war horse? It's somehow still alive. You have a home button. <laughs> I know. That's a, dude, that's so 2013. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm not even looking at the rankings. Who's up next? Vela Mativ, Olivia Storr, Chelsea Tuak, Matea Demful Olin. Yeah, I mean, every heat in this round of 16 is a banger. Um, after that, uh, Reed Wagoner, Zoe Kaina, Linnea Mons, Kylie Pulsini. Did we just have that one? No. Yeah. No. No, that's coming up. <clears throat> that's next. Yeah. And then we've got Sanoe, Olin Dempful. I mean, are they twins? Are they is one older than the other? Um. I want to say Matea's older. Okay. Uh, Talia, anyone... Kira, and Alana. This. Look at this. Oh, no chance. So here's the result. Here's the the breakdown. It was Zoe won the you know the North American rankings. Talia Swindoll in second. Kira Pinkerton in third. Bella Kenworthy in fourth. Leilani McGonigal just outside. Sonoa Demful Olin, Noah Clapp, Sarah Ferrer, Ella McCaffrey. And, uh, so, I mean, they're just right outside the bubble. Yeah. So they only take four. They only take four. Wow, that's gnarly. Super gnarly, huh? Yeah, I was trying to think, like, is it? it's almost harder now because you got to go through the regional rankings, which is stacked. you got to make top four and then in the women's top seven in the men's. And then you got to crack the code. You crack the code there, then you hop on the Changas, which they call the Challenger Series. Is it seven or eight for the men? Seven in a wild card, I okay, think. Okay. Yeah. Because Dimitri got the wild card. That's what right? it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. And Tara was maybe number nine or one out. So, chance he gets into events too, but it's not like a guarantee. If you qualify, you're guaranteed those spots. So, um, yeah, it's a it's a challenging. Uh, I guess that's why they call it the challengers. Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, that one's truly the international grind. It goes everywhere. It yeah. kicks off in Oz, goes to Sydney. Then, uh, I mean, it's what? Brazil, Portugal, 
Uh, U.S. Open. U.S. Open. Like, it's a it's a proper tour. Yeah, last year they finished in Sakurama. I think they went, yeah, the two, two in Australia. They go, where do they go from there? B- uh, Belito. Oh, and Belito. Then, I mean, they yeah. come from, then they go from there to here, U.S. Open. And then they go over to Portugal, right? Well, that'd be Ribera, right? Ribera, and then and then I think they finish up over in uh, uh, Brazil. So I think there's six. But Zoe on the backhand, she's kind of joyriding. We got an important wave there for Blue. I heard some cheers. We'll get a replay, and uh, could be a keeper left-hander from uh, hailing from the land of the left in Costa Rica, right? Yeah. Yep. So. Very comfortable on her forehand. Also has a pretty lethal backhand. But this wave oh. could do the trick. She only needed the 4.9. Yeah, Danger Woman right here. Leilani McGonigal waiting on scores to drop. They do look good. This is going to put Bella Kenworthy down into third. All right. 6.43, Leilani McGonigal does it. Kenworthy on the hunt for a 6.53. In third, McCaffrey in fourth, chasing a near seven-point ride. And, uh, yeah, man, it's a battle. Every heat. I mean, these are like mini finals on their way to the semis. Or the quarters, actually. Sorry. Boom. Kenworthy. And again. Stop it. Oh, she came unstuck. So just under six minutes, tied on the way out, south wind creeping ever so slightly. But, you know, I mean, hopefully it doesn't get too nuts today. Oh, there it is, 643. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I was sleeping on the job. That is a keeper. That puts a lot of pressure on Kenworthy needing the 65. So, wow, 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 wow. Look at this wind. South winds here. You could see the men's might be launched some air. Mm. Air fest. I mean, Bella kind of could have gotten close on the last. She came unstuck on the last one. but That could have been it. Yeah, Dude. bang the first section, went fins free on the second. And uh, it, I think that wave kind of piggybacked another one. It didn't let her kind of roll over, roll back in. Yeah, like even if you pull the turn, it doesn't look like you pulled the turn. Because mm. it's just like, ugh. There's Olivia Storr heading towards the pier. She's going to use the paddle out over there. Next heat, Vela Mativ, Olivia Storr, Chelsea Tuak, and Matea Demfo Olin. Well, it is changing. We got t- we got the tide rushing out again, Wellesy. It's like it it's two foot, but there's a little bit of drift. You know, you can kind of see it in the ocean with the south wind and those rights are you know, they're they're chip chopped for sure. I mean, it's a big low again. Negative point. What's it going to look like in a few hours? Is it going to just stay kind of in this vicinity? Is it going to get really flat? Is it going to move out? I think it's going to move out and over towards the, the pier. pier. Yeah. Like those, that, those reforms might stand up a little more since it's not as big. So Courtney had uh, made mention to that area over by the pier is a bit plump this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, excellent use of an adjective with a full tide, so it's looking plump. Like but as it kind of drains, it opens up that part of the bank. Yeah. Um, there m- won't be much in the form of reforms, but like what Max Beach did, like that one kind of section that stands up off the rip and runs, runs through that through. deep part. Yeah, it could be so, the call. Could be the call for sure. We shall see. And sometimes with the tide running out, I will say that it's like a river wave, but it holds it up. Yeah. Like you're at least kind of weaving and keeping your speed. Where over here is going to get um, just flat, d- like sand, like real little mush balls. I feel like it gets too shallow. Too right? shallow. And it just kind of. There's, there's no oomph. No gas over there. And it's not plump. <laughs> oh, she could go for the air. I think Bella's going to have to t- find an air section right now and really pull it out. Well, I grab mean, it out of the hat. Yeah, she's in the hot seat. I mean, she's in fourth priority. You've got Leilani just going, hang on a minute. You know? Yeah. She doesn't want any. What <laughs> doesn't want to give her the chance? Good morning, Pete Mel. Is that Uncle Pete Mel in the house? 
That's what we love to see right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big fella. Morning, 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 morning. Well, here she is on the backhand. Uh-oh. Wow. Danger girl. Did she sneak this one off her? Because I think... She must have. Well, looking for the 6-5-3. I don't think it's going to happen, but nice first turn. I, You know what? It would not surprise me if she gets it. It might just be right on the number. Yeah. I mean, oh, they, I, go in, they went 4-5, they went it looks like. Okay, I was going to say... Quick. I've always been known to overcook it, but I like, you know, you're a bit high. <laughs> but when I score, I traditionally score low. Low, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like three fives, four eights all day long. We're in a different predicament here because we're seeing everything like super tight. I swear when you're kind of up and watching it from a from more of a judging angle, it's it, everything seems a little Yeah, different. you see the whole playing field. Yes. Like we're just kind of shoved into the TV. Yes, exactly that. See, Courtney's on her break, but she likes us so much, she just wants to hang out. She just can't leave. <laughs> or she just doesn't want to talk to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> or that. And the 805 lounge isn't open just yet. Yeah, right? So, it's like, what else we got to do? Watch some heat. It's minute 15. Oh, no, I'm up there watching people drink beer, and they're just looking at me. Why is he watching me? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you not drinking the one with lime? I'm living vicariously through you at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, set from Tibet. Looks like white, cotton side. I will say Ella's had, she has the 5-2-3, but she's just been unable to find the 6-8-7. Uh, and she's had priority at feeling like a while now. So... But uh, Leilani is just not going to allow Bella to get too far away. You know what, Brett? When I walked up <clears throat> this morning, I got here kind of late, saw a four-footer break out the back. I was like, oh, wow, there's still a lot of energy today. This could be it. <clears throat> Six, eight, seven. Uh-oh. Comes around the corner. Hammers it. So one nice turn. Will she get the little rebate on the inside? There it is, a little, little snap and a finish. So, yeah, this heat's in the in the books. But what I was saying is like, oh, there's still a lot of energy, but it's so it's kind of scattered mm -hmm. that it's easy to get out of rhythm. Lost. Completely yeah. like, oh, there's a wave over there, over there, and you just can't buy one. It's a little, it's, it's a day one version. Obviously, the waves are bigger, but, and there's, there's more opportunity. But it's still like, yeah, you with priority, like I said the other day, you could just be sitting there and waves are all over you, but you're they're not coming to you. You know, and your competitors who are under priority are getting scores and it's kinda can put put some pressure on you. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. We will be back with more women's Jacks Pro round of sixteen action after this break. surfing lifestyle that's developed, it's really the yoga lifestyle. You know, the purpose of yoga is obviously to, one, gain control of your mind. That's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you.
Welcome back. We are hammering out the, the heat here. And uh, as you can see on the screen, we are looking at heat two in the round of 16. Jax Pro 3000, Vela Mativ in red, Matea Denfel Olin in green, Chelsea Tuak, the Bayesian, wearing white, and Olivia Store in blue. And I feel like all these heats are like mini finals in this round of uh, 16, Brett. Yeah, well, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. There's no, you know, slacking around right here. There's Zoe Benedetto won the last heat. Um, that was a stacker. We're into another one. Looks like scores dropping in already. It's uh, fun conditions. That board looks brand spanking new. Here's uh, Vea's first wave. 517. So brought back the yellow board. I'm not sure if she was riding that one uh, yesterday afternoon. Based on the nose, I'm going to say that's the one. <laughs> Did she? Was it? She said, she said her dad just cooked the ding repair. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rounded it off a little bit. Yeah. Well, two act two right there, 4.5. So Chelsea. Well, and she's a former championship tour surfer, so she knows competition yeah she's been there done that she's super consistent um yeah she'll she'll uh she'll make these rounds and put together really nice heats well uh, brett we have an interview with the winner of the last heat zoe benedetto went excellent 8.17 hey what that looks like a brand new board is it uh yeah i just picked this one up um, I got four new boards, and this is the new epoxy. The old one was just kind of yeah. time to put it away. So, yeah, yeah, we we were wondering because I was like, man, that board looks brand spanking new. Is it epoxy? So it is. It looked really good. You went eight one seven. Were you? Uh, what was the game plan? I was it rights, lefts, this right. We're watching a replay right now. The first turn, it had to go excellent. It was such a nice turn. Was it? Uh, what were you thinking? Paddling out. Um, well, actually, funny about the board, I was palling out, and I was like, huh, first heat on this new board, hopefully I get a heat win. I was just wondering, usually, like, when I try new boards, if I haven't run them in the heat, I'm like, oh, if this is a good board, I'm going to win. If it's a good board, bad board, I'm going to lose. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of went out there. I talked to Simo a lot before my heat, um, and we actually noticed that right before my heat, it was really changing. Um, there was a lot of rights, but also just as many good lefts. So, yeah, just trying to find the peak. Uh, I think like it's pretty easy to tell which ones are going to wall up and have, like, multiple sections. So, yeah, just identify the good ones, get busy, um, and just adapt to the changes as it happens. Well, great job, great strategy. That a way to identify it. And uh, you're taking home some, I think, more automotive excellence bucks. So oh, yeah. it's starting to rack up for you here. And you're on your way to the quarterfinals, which we'll see you in quarter number one. And that'll most likely be tomorrow, correct, Wellesie? Yeah, yeah, we do uh, wrap this round up and then go into men's. Okay, okay. Well, Zoe Benedetto, go get warm. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow on finals day. Thank you, guys. See ya. Yeah, wow, fresh sled. Nothing better than hopping on a board and having it work. Amazing. Well, yeah, it, it is. <clears throat> you know, I think you get to a certain stage where, there's obviously a lot of trust in your shaper. You feel it. You're like, well, this board feels good. It looked great. I get worried sometimes with epoxy and a little bit of wind and chop, but it looked like it went perfect out there for her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, I, I don't ride epoxy as much. I have one epoxy surfboard, and I ride it every time I go to a Is that because Tim won't shape you? It? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's more me. I don't like the of epoxies. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's – once you, I think, really acclimate yourself to the feel of it, they're amazing. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. just livelier, especially in maybe more conditions where these waves, you know, a little bit softer. So she definitely – whoa, 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 whoa. She's just starting to rack up some big dollars. Bang. Automotive excellence. So Zoe heading into the quarterfinals. So a good way to start the new season for her. She'll be heading over to Australia soon. Anyhow, after this event, to, you know, start warming up at Snapper Rocks and, you know, try to really navigate this Challenger Series and get herself that big result to uh, give her chance to qualify for the World Tour. Yeah, well, speaking of Snapper Rocks, Brett, to change the topic, 
you went there for the Battle of the Board Riders, yeah. uh, like the global one. Usher Cup. Usher Cup. Yeah, those, it was the funnest thing. I think the level of surfing, I think there was 30 plus teams. There was about eight international teams from, we had, uh, there was a Japanese team, a, a team from Bali. Oh. There was four teams from here, San Clemente, uh, Huntington Beach, Encinitas. Uh, Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz, correct. And then we had Space Coast, and that might have been the old, only Floridian team. But it was so much fun. The waves were good. It wasn't perfect snapper, but it was really fun. We had, you know, finals day was probably the biggest day. And then it got a little bit, it got a little bit kind of crazy wins at the end of it, but... Um, the level was rad. We got to compete in that, in the actual board riders where it's, uh, three guys and a girl. And that part was, uh, really, it was a bit different than how we run it, obviously. And you're able to kind of just keep rotating a surfer and say, you jump out and get a six. I jump out, get a five, say, um, it could be Simo jumps out and gets a seven. And then, you know, the girl jumps out and gets a seven and say, I'm the one that has the lowest score. You could throw me back out and try to better your score. And you just keep kind of rotating whoever has the lowest score. Oh, that's score. pretty cool. Yeah. But you have to be on the sand before, you know, the, the hooter blows. Right. So, but, but, uh, the level was sick. I got a surf a heat with Parco. I had like a couple up and coming, uh, what's the kids? I'm I thought hard. they lowballed you on that one. I know. I thought <laughs> I got a score. I look back and I'm like, wow, that was a pretty good turn comparative to like everyone. I mean, Parco's obviously. He was lights out, picking the best waves. I was even in the heat going, dude, what are you looking for out here? Because it was, the waves were good, but it's still like snapper. So like what's in front of you isn't always the good one. You're right. looking 200 yards down the line, you know? And so, you know, I was, uh, I was kind of more in front of me and had a few big maneuvers, but didn't really have those long kind of linky waves, but it was fun. I was I was only there for like five or six days and hindsight, it would have been cool to maybe go a hair earlier and surf a bit. d was like, dude, that bank was pretty sick. And uh, Such a fun wave. So much fun. So we were kind of locked in straight in from the get go and didn't get a surf uh, a ton, but I mean, surfed quite a few heats and that was a pleasure for sure. All well, right. Back to this, Brett. Check this out. Wow, backhand slammer right there for Chelsea. And then it looks like we had blue on the right, uh, Olivia. See if she got anything done. But Chelsea's wave was good. Clo it kind of closed out, but she railed it down and threw a lot of spray. So still early days, 15 minutes. Uh, Vela with the 5.17 and a low of a 4.13. Chelsea's wave, 4.5. Matea. She's sitting on a pair of small scores that aren't really going to help the cause. And Olivia, I don't think she's opened her account yet. Well, that was her on the last. I think she went right on that last wave. So she does have a score sneaking through. But this is. Oh, so she was on the right on this yeah, one. Yeah. So that's a nice turn right there in the pot. You know, more of the pocket kind of carved down. And then here's Olivia's right. So slams it in the lip. And then I think she just gets a little bit stuck behind it right here and has to kind of kick out. So one turn comes in three, six, seven. So you're seeing these waves right here kind of peak up and go soft. Definitely looking for a wave that has that bigger facey closeout if it has the entry. Yeah. Hey, well, like Zoe said, I mean, uh, with an unfair advantage of Coach Simo in her back pocket, yeah, yeah, it is definitely on the on the switch. It's starting to drop and it's changing the lineup. Mm -hmm. It's moving those peaks that kind of condense themselves on that higher tide and, and Zoe has moving a good, them out. Zoe has a good backhand, but I think she's still more comfortable on her forehand. And uh, but that'll be something to kind of keep working on. She's had some excellent scores. I remember in Oceanside, she had a really nice combination. And I think in OBX, I remember last year, she had a really backhand turn, kicked the tail. And, um, but, you know, with like smaller waves and, you know, beach break situations, I feel like it, the backhand is, is easier to get more vertical and kind of fit more quality maneuvers quicker. And 
I think that's something, you, you know, as a competitor, you really, 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 really want to iron out to have in your arsenal. But 13 minutes. So Chelsea last wave 4.9. So that currently is a second best wave of the heat. Vela still has the 5-1-7, but the 2-4s have Chelsea in the lead. And uh, Olivia, 3.6. Matea only needs a 4.11. Still not a lot of big backup scores for second, third, and fourth. You know, it's going to be one of these things, I think, today, where it's going to be a lot as soon as the tide continues to yank. Mm. There's going to be those one or two really defining waves in the heat yeah. a lot of threes and fours a lot of searching yeah yeah rough <laughs> and I, I almost, think... almost was so motivated today i almost got up and went and surfed out here but then i'm like thought about it and you know that's ah, too cold Oof. <laughs> not that motivated right now well, i got brand new motivation hanging right there uh, all three hooded oh do you got a hoodie oh that's yeah. all three hoodie that's sick Mm -hmm. like courtesy of excel thank you very much that's, yeah there are some of the best suits out there here we go boom so uh, commitment is what we want to see and that was it right there matea they're gonna enjoy that turn now oh. it looks like vela on the backhand what's this thing got kind of fades it down there you go and then gets the hit so backing up that five yeah i mean matea needed that right she's just got to get the wheels going and well, now chelsea well she's hearing everyone get scores and then chelsea finds this one and is maybe gonna extend her lead a little bit we'll see but yeah when you're sitting out there you have a two five and you're hearing girls get five you know fours and fives and it's like oh i gotta get going so that was a good, good nice uh Nice pull the trigger, they say right there. Boom, gets the big hit. I think they're going to like it, maybe. From what I've seen, I love the commitment. Could be, could go up to them close to the best turn of the heat, in my eyes. But mm, Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Judges, uh, you know, the five wise men up there. Take these waves and... So she's uh, in the game, 3-8-3. Three, com three. Yeah, compare, separate, deliberate, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Lay down the verdict. So Red needs the 4-2-3 on her last left to take the lead. And then you also have Chelsea coming in with, I think, would you say her best? On which one? Chelsea's her, wave? Her last right? Yeah, I mean, I. It's apparently it was rewarded as such. No, she's got one coming. Does she? Yeah. She's it wasn't the 4-9. The 4-9 nine. Nine nine was, was the wrap. 4-9 was the backhand kind of carve thingy. Okay, I thought it was the wrap. So the wrap's coming in. Yep. She had two turns. She had two turns, kind of a lipper and then a wrap. Yeah, that may be her best. Whoa, and we might have missed blue 6.5. Hammer time. Unless that slid into the wrong column. But uh, so pretty sure we're still waiting on one for white. So nine and a half minutes remaining. There it is, 4.57. So actually only betters by 0 0.07, which in the scheme of, of it all now, Olivia just takes a lead with a 6.5, backs up with a 3.67. Then Chelsea has the fours. Vela on the hot seat, 4.3 looking for, and Green needs a 5.64 with... A wave approaching right here. It says it doesn't like it. looks kind of soft. Yeah, Brett. We um, are down here trucking people here at the Jax Pro. Come on down. It is spring break. It's a lovely Saturday. Sun's out. Gun's out. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's um, probably upper 60s, I think. Mid to upper 60s is the, you know, the high. But... Out here on the sand, we have amazing brands. If you go out on the right, we've got Futures, Quick, Rip Curl, Firewire, Catch Surf, Carve, Reef, Co Costa, Monera, Almeric, Hurley, Excel, Pizel, Cobian, Lost, Hayden Shapes, FCS, Salty Crew. Um, and then on the other side, on the left side, 
You've got Kate in USA, DeKine, Fuwax, Vans, Volcom, Captain Finn, Ruka, Luce, Billabong, Dragon, Ava, Rain, Slow Tide, Sunbum, Rhythm, Olakai, Rusty, Stance, Melon, Rourke, O'Neill. And all of these tents, they're doing giveaways. Get your booties down here. Yeah, I mean... Um, you said you guys have uh, some weird, crazy distorted yeah, glasses. Yeah, Simpo Vision. Simpo Vision. <laughs> Freddy's beer goggles. That's what I see when I'm, waves are coming in. And uh, up I mean, is down, down is up. You know, there's uh, the rhythm guys are giving a board away. You buy any rhythm product up at Jack's, you bring your receipt down, put it in in a raffle. Oh my lanter holy smokes she just absolutely scorched that wave teed off scorched earth holy crap that was sick white needs uh she's on the hot seat because she's definitely dropped a third after that and this is an important ride so nice two turn combo but green might go uh it's gonna go up there that third turn she's gonna go huge Issue is carrying that low. Hugo Savali. Look at this. Three, Look at this first turn, too. Bang. Pop. Nice timing. Good little triangle spray. Then wraps it right here. All different. And then this turn was didn't have to even be that much. Oh, she just chucked it. Oh, chuck a lupo if you're <laughs> out there. <laughs> is he running replays? There it is. Seven. Oh, it's the... It's the triple seven, the lucky sevens, uh, roll the dice. Jackpot. Bing, 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 bing. You can't. You've n No one's ever lost a heat with three sevens. <laughs> oh, the Vela. It's kind of starting to turn on. Oh, catches the nose. I mean, major uh, flip-flop in this heat. So now, Tuac chasing a 5-2-8. Vela, a 5-0-1. Chelsea does have that left coming in, the two nice turns. Oh, but that's Vela, right. This turn right there. Oh, might have been that ding repair. Yeah. <laughs> Blame just, it on Dad. Just kidding. Blame it on Dad. Just go through some of, uh, you know, this is uh, our housekeeping. Make sure everybody gets their pound of flesh that supports this event, you know. This is... Uh, is a very important thing for all these brands i mean to come down to put themselves in front of the public they don't some of these brands don't have this opportunity brett mm. to come out and and do an activation at a surf event you know i mean i've never seen rhythm at anything so it's good to see them down on the beach supporting jacks but um <clears throat> All kinds of great brands. Hydro Flask, you can bring your Hydro Flask bottle down here, and they will custom etch your name in it. So, uh, And they also have some other artwork that they can punch in. And they're making custom bottles, and I think they give one away. So it's all, it's, uh, there's all kinds of great stuff happening down here. Um, you free sunscreen. Sunbum's got you covered. Billabong, 10, 12, 2 o'clock. They do a scavenger hunt. It's free stuff lying around the beach. Zap! Look at Blue. Here we go. Store. So she's hanging on to the, the second spot, but that will not most likely better her her situation. So the store sisters, uh, east side, west side, midtown, where they, you know, where they... Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But they're spending a lot of time here now. So training and obviously a lot of the competitions this way. And, you know, the the cons I mean, there's a lot of waves up north. Obviously, it's very consistent. But I think just the consistency of it all, you know, to give themselves the best shot. And they're training with Christian Signs right here out of Huntington Beach. Right. And then when summer comes, you get two whole weeks to wear boardies. Yeah. You get two <laughs> weeks. Yeah. We might crack the 70s for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a month if yeah. we're lucky. Yeah. Get a couple hurricane swells going. Those are fun. Look at this. Well, your heat leader looking in form. Nice carve there. Hammers it again. So she's going to probably better that 3-8, I'd have to say, and kind of strengthen that lead, which was a smart decision there. Don't leave anything up to uh, up for grabs. 
Yeah, we're down to three minutes, and we have coming up in heat number three, uh, Sanoa Olendemful, Zoe Chait, Zoe Kaina, and Maddie Stanton. And wrapping up, oh, actually, wait, that is not the right piece of paperwork. Do you have it? No. You're going to have to do some housekeeping up here. Hmm. Well, I'm just lost in a pile of papers. <laughs> you are. It's, uh, it's it ain't very happening. frustrating. Okay, I am going to do major, major house cleaning here, get rid of all the uh, non-pertinent paperwork. But coming up next. We're kind of doubling up. Look at this wraparound right here, Olivia. Nice. I was partially right with a couple names. Uh, Reed Van Wagner, Zoe Kaina, Linnea Mons, and Kylie Pulsini is Heat 3. And rounding out uh, the round of 16 is Sonoa Olin Demful, Talia Swindoll, Kira Pinkerton, Alana Lopez. So that is going to wrap it up for ladies' competition today. And then we see the dudes take to the water. And uh, Jabes, we're cocky, will kick it off with Sam Reedy. Taro Watanabe, David O'Keefe, they are going to lead us off in the round of uh, 32 for the men's. All right, so paperwork out, out. So schedule Friday, out. Just doing major cleanup here. Oh, goes for the slob grab. Bela, yeah. getting after it. I like that. She's... Uh... She's been having trouble since that 5-1-7 to find that backup score. So Matea gets a 4-2-3. We're only got a minute left here. And the um, important wave here. Nope, doesn't go with priority. He needs a 5-2-5. Five, five. So here comes a wave right here. It looks like, uh, it looks like Chelsea's going. Off the bottom, hits it. Big oncoming section, hits it again. So gives it a little clap. You know, first first eye of it was, you know, might have had to go a little. Wow! Just she has the front side power gouge on lock right now. That was explosive. So important ride for White. I think the second turn had to be a little bit more like that turn Matea just did. So here it is. Goes up there, a little love tap. And then this one, you know, lip lines it nicely. But I think it just, for the 5-2-5, might need it to be a little bit more. Because watch this turn. Like, this is the surfing. Bang. Wow. Right? So heat is done and dusted. we got a score coming in for white. That's an important one. Matea looking about the 4-2-3. She's in the lead. Most likely solidified it right there. And, uh, yeah, the important ride. The important ride is for White. Looking for the 5-2-5. Green victory lap. Most likely taking the heat win. Matea, Demful, all in. Yeah, you know, on Chelsea's way, it would have been good to see her get a little more extension mm. on that first lipper, just yeah. to kind of set her up to yeah, there get into a lift with that second turn with more speed and uh, not enough. 4.75, so... 5.7? Stay close. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back after this.
Jack O'Neill just wanted us to surf longer. And that's exactly what these board shorts were designed for. Tough and timeless, the Traveller Enduro board short. And welcome back. And look at that. Courtney Conlog joining me in the booth. Yep, I'm back. Off we, break. Yeah, we are live here. This is the Northside Huntington Pier. And it, this looks like uh, the Royal Mounted Brocky Sheriff. No, I'm kidding. Um, I have wow, no is. idea what this is, but I do see some sheriffs down there. See some sheriffs in town, probably like Huntington Beach sheriffs. And it looks like, I don't know, maybe a club of some sort. Having a little western straw on the sand, that's pretty cool. Ha. All right. Yeah. All right. So, as you can see on the screen in this heat of uh, heat three, round 16, we've got the ladies Reed Van Wagener, Zoe Kaina, Linnea Mons, Kylie Pulsini doing battle. We have a dropping tide, fun two to four foot surf. And a very uh, freshening south, uh, breeze. southerly breeze. Yes. Definitely a great heat on our hands. Um, Linnea has been surfing well and Reed as well. So a couple goofy footers. We already have a few scores on the board. It looks like this is probably the 4-5. or five. Yep, 4-5 or five for Reed. Nice way to start the heat. She would have loved to have finished that, but uh, we see Linnea out the back here. Looks like the replay of the two. And this would be the 2.5 ride for Zoe. Zoe had a pretty quick turnover, you know, for from her last heat to right. this one. So she knows kind of what to expect out there in this heat. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think she is also doing uh, some duties for the Huntington Beach Board Riders Club nice. also, which is uh, very uncharacteristic, seeing that she, I do believe, resides in the uh, Newport Costa Mesa area. <laughs> yeah, Huntington would love to have Zoe, I'm sure, on her team, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Gained some points from Huntington, uh, definitely has a lot of great surfers. All right, so she's ripping. Yeah, no, she's gnarly and has some air game. Good job, good job. Yeah, all right, all right. Looks like Courtney Kincaid. <laughs> Salty crew. And someone shoot me, Ron, Bobby. I think it's Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Got Bobby. See Lance back there. I always cook it. Stitch it up. <laughs> So Linnea just dropped another three. She's getting definitely a few scores on the board nice and fast. That's a nice aerial shot of south side here. You could see all the sponsor booths. There's over 60 different sponsors for this event, if I remember right. And um, be sure if you guys are in SoCal, drop on by today or tomorrow. The sponsors have a lot of giveaways, fun games for the kids, stickers. We have some acai bowls on the beach. Jax has a killer booth, hydro flask, you name it. They're here. That was I've Ron. Hi. <laughs> Wait, nice. No, that wasn't Ron. That was, was Bobby. Ron? That was Bobby. Bobby. But yeah, be sure to drop on by. And uh, you could definitely see the tide pulling out right now. You see the south wind from the flag right there. Anyone just tuning in, we are on heat three of the round of 16 for the women. This is vying them to get to the finals day tomorrow. Look at those peaks in the distance. You know, still super contestable. And I mean, I'd be frothing if 
I didn't have to sit here and yap about it. I'd be <laughs> out there already. Yeah, out there on my little twin fin. Having a field out. day. See the horses crossing under the pier right now. Yeah, you know, I mean, it could be a little bit of training, possibly, you know, with summer coming up. Yep, maybe those are all sheriffs practicing, uh, learning the route. Wow. Zoe looking spicy. Have Reed on this wave. Just trying to get around the corner. Doesn't quite happen for her, but she'll be right out the back. Yeah, these girls did have a pretty quick turnaround from uh, their last round. I'm just blowing the speakers out on your <laughs> yeah, <you are>. headphones. <laughs> Sorry if uh, you have a hearing problem in the next six months. You know what it came from. I, I will call you, Wellesley. I'll be like, dude, my ears. I have surfer's <laughs> ears, so at least I have a little bit of that divider from your <laughs> Have you had it drilled yet? Mine got, I, no. dr I drilled mine uh, last year, uh, my left ear, my right ears right i gotta get that one done yeah they d used to do the like hammer and chisel and that's what my dad did on one of his ears and i i think i'm a little scarred from that i know they had the <laughs> laser version but uh yeah so i haven't done that but i could still hear pretty well i feel like if i heard any better i'd be hearing <laughs> like mice. Well, you're gonna hear people <laughs> calling you off you don't want to hear that hey, hey courtney <laughs> i didn't hear you I uh, can't hear you. Yeah, no, mine got infected, and then I went to the dock, and they gave me some drops. They're like, we can't even see in the thing. Yeah, They're just like, the water's getting stuck on your ear. Yeah, that That's was not good. last year, and they were like, you haven't been to see us since, like, 2014. You've done pretty good. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, the day you told me my ears were cooked, I started wearing earplugs. And then, of course, the day that I, I just stitched my ear up, I was body surfing with my kids out in front of the house, <laughs> got sand in it, and it just... That uncle festered and uh Getting yeah some little salutes from the police and sheriffs and then i got it drilled and it was super easy just couldn't surf for a few weeks that's not too shabby Nah, not bad looks like we have a 517 from zoe in blue she'll be stoked on that plenty of time to now replace that two five but yeah kids wear your earplugs the wind and cold air. No joke. Cold water and wind. Northwest wind for us SoCal individuals. Well, you know it's crazy. It was my left ear, which is the south. Huh? Yeah, it was the south wind ear. Well, this one's 90, which I'm sure it's probably <laughs> like almost 100. But yeah, it was my left ear. And they're like, honestly, it's a lot of people, it's left ear. Like, really? Who oh, knew? Interesting. I would think that northwest wind's usually a bit colder, you know, so it would... End up uh, building up a little more. Well, it does, but <laughs> it's just it's a, it's just a matter of which uh, oh, when which one goes. Sweet. How was that first half? And a little blow tail to finish that off. Zoe's feeling the vibes right now out there. The waves are fun for her. definitely well overhead. <laughs> you see what uh, type of board she's nice riding? This thing looks insane snap. under her feet. That carved snap looks so good to the finish. Can you tell what kind of board that is? No, I just love the orange rail, though. I love a little color on the side, you know. I always feel like it makes the board look good. Yeah, I mean, she's just come out uh, firing just right out of the gate. 7.0 on her last, and that uh, betters the 5.17. I mean, she's out to a solid lead. Yeah, she is. And uh, as I've said a million times this event, it is a battle for second place now. <laughs> it is, for sure. Zoe would be stoked on that seven-point ride. Let's look at this again. Nice drive off the bottom. Carving it through that lip. Just looking so in sync right now. Nice blow oh, yeah. tail as well. Well, that board looks magic under yeah, her does. feet. A little eye wipe claim. Oh, uh, she nailed it. She's like, I'm, I'm so stoked right now. She's having a great appearance here at the Jacks Pro. Film that. Small in stature, big in maneuver. Zoe Kaina just nailed it. <laughs> Fully nailed it. All right, so uh, one more heat left in the round, then we're jumping over to men's. 14.25 remaining, and as you can see on the screen, we do have that 
southerly breeze, not crazy white caps. Hopefully it doesn't go too bananas. Keeps things contestable. But um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of surfing left in the day today. Definitely. The entire men's round of 32. Yeah, a lot of great heats in that 32 round. Tell us some of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we ended up having quite a few. Will Dean's going to be a great show, have a great showing. Kolohe in Heat 5. We have Alex Lima in Heat 3. And Michael Dumphy to finish out the date. Uh, day with uh, Carlos Munoz so that's going to be a really fun heat to finish out the day but yeah these heats are stacked I mean we have eight heats with four athletes in each it's going to be a action-packed evening that's right and let's throw it down to Matea Olin Dempful are you there Hi. <laughs> how was that right hander were you just wishing that wave the whole time Kind of. I kind of <laughs> blew, like, the whole beginning half of that heat. So by the time I got that wave, I just wanted to rip. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, oh, sh this is the one she's been waiting for, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, it definitely felt good. The end turn, um, yeah, I kind of didn't read the beginning half of that wave good. But then the end turn, I think, is where most of the score came from. Got it. Congratulations. Let me ask you a question. Two questions. One, where in Canada are you from? Um, I live in Tofino. Um, so I'm Vancouver Island, British Columbia been living there my entire life so i'm pretty sure you're very uh well versed with the brewweiler brothers yeah yeah we know them really really well um, <laughs> a couple <laughs> legends is actually kaylin brewweiler oh there you I go i spend a lot of time with them they've definitely inspired everyone our entire lives growing up in Tofino. oh yeah no the, the the boys are legends up there uh also second question the board looks magic talk to us what is under the feet um this is a 5.9 driver 3.0 I've actually had it for about a year now. I've kind of only been riding it when I've been competing, but it goes really, really well, and I love it. It's been kind of hard to get boards up to Canada, so definitely don't have that many boards right now, but I've been ordering a lot for Mayhem, and they feel really, really good. Yeah, well, put that thing on ice. you got more work to do this event. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. You are the recipient of some Automotive Excellence bucks for the heat win, and uh, before we sign off... You're done for the day. What's in the what's in the cards for you for this fine Saturday? Um, I've actually been working with Matt Myers, so they have a really um, kind of gnarly heat coming up. They have three. Matt has three guys all in one heat, so I'm going to stay down here and cheer them all on. That'll be a really entertaining heat. All right. Lastly, any shout outs before we sign off? Um, to my family back home, I love you. And, yeah, good luck to my sister coming up in the next heat. All right. There you go. Thank you, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day off. Matea, Matea Olin Dempful hammered that yeah, heat we'll winner. Yeah, we'll see her in finals day. That's yes, the winner of your heat number two round of uh, 16 moving yep, into the Zoe quarterfinals. Still wanting to heat up this heat. Oh, oh, backhand hammer. You know, it's crazy, like, watching uh, girls like Zoe, just so young but so savvy. Like, very, very in tune with... Uh, what needs to be done. Yeah, but also, yeah, like... fun. Knowing, like, just generating speed, loading yeah. and uh, unloading, and, like, the timing. It's just... Her timing's great. Incredible to watch. Here's the replay. Oh. Almost. <laughs> Almost had a replay. You see that rip. Maybe that rip pulled out the replay. <laughs> Looks like Linnea just having a look, kind of trying to get out into some clean water. Here's a replay of Zoe. That last turn was so great. Really brought it up over that lip. Yeah, know? yeah, and just perfect timing. Great timing. Then we have Reed here. That's a nice, quick two-turner. She'll be out. And then, yeah, 9.45 on the clock. Plenty of time for... Linnea and Kylie. Yeah, I mean, we're just under the halfway point, and the battle for second wages on. Yeah, you Look. can see Linnea is kind of in that rip right now. Um, interested to see if maybe she's a little lost in the lineup. You know, it's hard because we kind of see the condensed version, and we yep. don't get to see the entire playing field. 
So um, we don't really know where in the lineup she is exactly. I feel like maybe straight out and a little bit south, perhaps. Yeah. But it's hard to tell without a, a landmark. For sure. But we're down to nine minutes, and I mean, everybody's just really trying to find the one. I mean, Zoe's just went full barn burner out of the <laughs> gate. It's like, later. She's like, bye. I want to make sure I'm on finals day. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, pretty much at this point, solidified a spot into the quarter finals with a 13.50 total. I mean, this heat is nowhere near done. Anything can happen. But she is looking good at the moment. Definitely. You could see uh, Green was utilizing that rip to pop out, so maybe they're a little closer to the pier. Mm. Could be that little zone with the low tide. Yeah, and I think, you know, Brett and I were chatting about it earlier. Uh, on the low, it will open up towards the pier more. It's yep. just like you said, it was a bit plump this morning. <laughs> yeah, a little plump, <laughs> a little full. 5.1 uh, ensured that. Yeah. So Kylie's looking for a... Uh, 5.2 on this ride. We'll see what it comes in as. Quick in and out for Zoe. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what she's riding. I mean, Zoe? We yeah. Yeah, we don't have the live chat on, so... Um, I don't think the board would work well for us. It looks a little small for Oh, us. yeah, <laughs> slightly. <laughs> we might need two. <laughs> so if anybody's trying to message us, we can't even see it, so um, we're just kind of clueless, but... Uh, very uh, curious to know. The board looks magic under her feet. She's definitely having a heyday right now. Definitely. Seven and a six five. I mean, what a great start. She's only ridden. Let's see. Zoe's put back actually a lot of waves, but uh, her throwaway is a five one seven. Not a shabby score. I mean, that would still be the highest single score out of the three already. Yeah, I feel like the other three would have loved to have that throwaway in this heat. Right. Um, it looks like Kylie, she narrowed what she's needing now. She ended up turning in a 4.9 on that wave. So she's now only looking for a 4.13 to advance out of this heat. And Linnea, she's dropping a fourth, needs a 5.3. That's definitely in her wheelhouse. Just needs to find the opportunity. That is the name of the game, opportunity. Especially in these heats, is just trying to give yourself a chance. Yeah. See Zoe. She's going to punt. She wants to win the air. I could see it. She was telegraphing. <laughs> I'm taking to the air. I want to teleport to the moon. Yeah, she was ready to huck it. Ladybirds. She definitely wants the air superpower. Uh, she's got it, too. Pretty sure she's a uh, pretty uh, savvy skateboarder on top of being an amazing surfer. Here we go. Click. Hucked it. Maybe just didn't have uh, as much speed as she would have needed for yeah. that. For the section. All right, White, Linnea. Oh. So down to six minutes, come on down. 10 o'clock usually is around activation 30 down here at the Vendor Village. And that was Green putting one into her score line. Will it help? I don't know. We'll see. So, Courtney, favorite maneuver in surfing, what is it? And don't say getting barreled because that's not a maneuver. <laughs> it is. Well, it's not a maneuver technically. <laughs> um... Gosh, I really love laying down the rail. Just a big power gaff. Power carve. Just going mock speed, just carving and hol holding that rail all the way through. That's probably one of the best feelings, especially when it's seamless. And yeah, I love doing that. Airs are really fun as well. It's just there's so much variety you could do with a carve. Sure, well. sure. Well, but airs are fun too. I think holding a very long rail carve or even a very tight pocketed tight gaff is one of the hardest things in yeah. surfing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, there's a lot of people who do it really, really well. You were For one sure. of them on the women's <laughs> side. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, anything with more size, big open face turns always feel really yummy. <laughs> did you like Sunset when you were on tour? I did. I did. I had a couple really fun moments. Uh, and he always had better free surfs than heat surfs. Um, 
just because of in those moments, you know. Which is bizarre considering the crowd out there. Yeah. Yeah, but there was like the sneaky little spot that I would hang up to the right of everyone. And you would wear sets if you weren't keeping an eye out the back. But I always found those ones gave you the opportunity to even get barreled sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's always nice to start away with the barrel and the big carve. We have Reed up and riding here on her backhand. Just a little cop behind it. Nice little snap to finish it out. Just a one-turner. Um, I don't think that will go in her top two. Trying to just replace that 4-5 on the mission. Just protect that second place. Yeah, definitely. And the ladies in third and fourth right now are holding the main priorities. So um, it's good for Reed to be looking for... A replacement for that four or five. The ever ongoing hunt for the backup. <laughs> it is uh, waging, it's a war out here with three minutes left. These ladies are doing battle just on the hunt. I mean, and it's at this stage, it's more almost of just running out of time, you know, and, and trying to place yourself in a position to be able to snag that score. Yeah, I mean, Everyone stayed super busy in this heat. There's been over 20 waves ridden, so between the four of them, plenty of opportunity out there. A lot of ones and twos as throwaways. Uh, I'm sure they're just having looks on those. And we see green of Kylie. Whoa. Nice snap through the top. Whoa. She's like, hey, I feel like I got it. What? <laughs> Four oh. one threes needed on that ride, so we'll see what the judges think on that. Well, she was like calling the judges out right there. <laughs> She's like, "What? That was it. <laughs> we'll I, th see." That was a great maneuver. Let's, it was a good turn. Uh, we'll get the replay. I mean, replay she on it. She threw some spice on it, bang, and then laid it back. Didn't really get the explosion. You know, with the... Uh, How's that? Like, looking at the judges while walking off the board. Right? <laughs> but like, she didn't get the know. explosion with the liquid confetti, but she yeah. did manage to pivot and Tweak get the tail out. out. Yeah, bit. she tweaked it. I mean, it was for what she had to work with. That was crafty. I think I'll be... Highly skilled. We'll wait and see what that one comes in as. I mean, she's chasing basically a mid four, so 4.5, right? A 4.13 required. And uh, it was There's kind of a taller thing. wave, too. It was a taller section. It was. We have a couple judges. It's going on each side right now. Uh oh. Just under. Just under. Oh. She got it. She got it. Slim, he got it. Now Wagoner's on the hot seat chasing a 4-5-5 five, five with only a minute left. So She a, is holding second priority, though, so it's not totally ideal. But no. ball's in her court to be able to make a good decision. It doesn't look like Zoe's yep. in her zone, so... I mean, we are under a minute now, and it is Reed Van Wagener on the hunt for the 4-5-5. Five, five. Linnea Mons, a 5-3-4 down in fourth. And, uh, you know, time is um, time is the enemy here. <laughs> or the angel for <laughs> <laughs> Kylie, who yeah. just turned the heat. And just with 30 seconds on the clock, it's a good scenario for her. As long as the ocean goes sleepy and Reed's like, please, I'd love another two minutes on the clock. Reed's having a look at this one. Could be a little bit of a low road left. This is it. Do or die. Bottom. Uh, kind of got caught. Not, not enough. I'm going to go out on a limb. I don't Yeah, that was I mean, enough to uh, flip the heat. Yeah. But we'll leave it to them. Smaller wave. I don't think it's going to go. So unofficially looking like Zoe Kaina. Zoe Kaina, Kylie moving on. And unfortunately, Reed Van Wagener and Linnea Mons missing out. Don't go anywhere. More live action from the south side of HB coming up after this break.
So today we're here with this morning, we we're checking out the glass shop for Paisel in California, seeing where all the boards are shaved. I've been working with uh, John pretty much my whole life, my whole surfing career. We've created a pretty cool relationship in uh, building these boards. Um, I can kind of give my feedback and my feel of what I like in the board and he's really good at articulating that and, and creating the shape from that. But it's pretty fun because we can just be open, you know, and I, I like it because it's, it's hard when you're creating product if you can't be open and truthful to the people that you're working with. And so for me working at Paisel, I can very clearly tell them, hey, this board does not turn very well at all. It's heavy. It's or this board was really good, this is the one. And be really excited about it and like, let's, let's do this again. And being able to give those emotions, positive or negative, it's always very useful. Introducing Do your thing. Welcome back. Here we are. Sunny Huntington Beach. What a difference a day makes. I'm Chad <laughs> Wells, Courtney Conlog, bringing you live action here. Round of 16. Sheet. Heat number four. Last heat in the round of 16 for the ladies. Tomorrow we will see them in the quarter finalists. So two out of these four will make up uh, one of your quarter finals. Sonoa Demphal Olin, Talia Swindall, Kira Pinkerton, Alana Lopez set to do battle. And no scores yet coming up next right after this. Okay, look like Talia. Talia, I don't know. You tell me Talia, how to set. Yeah. Uh, Talia, she, here's the replay of this four or five. Uh, well, it's still dropping the score. but mid Quick start, four. though. Great start. Nice carves in the pocket. Oh, came unstuck on the last turn, but did enough j damage to get the heat going. And then we see Sonoa on this. Couple nice snaps, snag the finish. She'll be out the back. No time. Ooh, a little got... flurry here. This is a great heat. Sonoa, Talia, and Kira. Bang. Some power surfers and Alana. All these ladies did great this morning in their first heat, so. All right, we'll let the judges get that sorted. And then while we do that, let's kick it down. With Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, are you with us? Yes. You've got Chad and Courtney. <laughs> are you, hey, I'm dying to know, what is this surfboard? This thing looks magic under your feet. Oh, yeah, it's super magic. I've been riding this. Um, it's a RS50. Works really good. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there you go. I was wondering who made that board, and uh, yeah. the proof is in the pudding. You are ripping. Thank you. You got off to a great start. I mean, um... Talk to us. How are you feeling today? Obviously good, but I mean, what were you thinking going into the seat? It was a big heat. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, like, start off with a good wave and, like, back it up and, like, keep on getting better scores. Well, you did exactly that. You're ripping out there. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed seeing those fins out the back. Oh, yeah. Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> Super fun out there. Awesome. Well, congrats. You are taking home the automotive. Excellence. Excellence. A little extra cold, hard cash. So stoked on that. You'll be able to get some hula pie at Duke's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have the day off, the rest of the day off today. What's uh, what's on the books? What do you got going? Um, probably surf again. Just chill and get ready for tomorrow. Well, Love that. Awesome. Congratulations. We will see you in uh, finals day tomorrow. Any shout outs before we say goodbye? Uh, yes. <laughs> thank you. Um, I would like to thank my family, my friends, and my sponsors for supporting me. 
Awesome. Yeah. Love that. Don't drop the five dollar or that fifty. You got like seventy five bucks there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of the day, and we'll see you for finals day. All right. Sweet. And Congrats, Zoe. That was your winner, Zoe Keen, at taking out Heat 3 in the round of 16, moving on into the quarterfinals tomorrow. Such a little grom. So I much uh, so much surfing life ahead of her. Probably so much stoke every single time she hops into the water. And, you know, it's funny when she said, when she thanked the people that support her, I'm thinking, man, great job supporting her. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they've done very well. She's on her way. And this was during our interview. Talia. Talia. Zap. Getting a four, five, seven on this ride. Nice carve, really linking those turns. She got the finish on that one, and it went a little bit higher than her first ride. Nice Ooh. layback from Alana. Tweaked it. Expressing a little power on that finish. Brett. Nice. Brett's down there. He had to get amongst the action. <laughs> oh, yeah, with Pops and Jack Boyce. Yeah, Pops. Just the HB Hooey right there. Oh, geez. Oh, Black Bear. <laughs> Love it. Seen him in the water over the years. Oh, yeah. Pops is always fun to surf with. I love it so much. There's the automotive. Well, that was Andrew Harris of Automotive Excellence that was yep. just popped into the screen. So thank you for supporting these women Absolutely. and giving them a bonus incentive for winning these heats. And we see green up and riding right now. Nice snap to finish that off. So that was... The replay of Lopez 4.10 for that maneuver. Kira's got a wave coming in. Well, a she lot of action. Well, she had the five, so she'll have that coming in. Talia's out in front, pair of pocket fours. And then is kind of sitting on the best wave of the heat so far with the 5.67. That's your surfer in red with the... The high of the five six seven. That's the replay, Kira. I mean, that finish. She's going right to the lead with that thing. Bang. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So much has happened. A lot has happened for sure. At the start of this heat, only ten minutes off the, just a little under ten minutes off the clock, and uh, already seven rides ridden. Actually, more than that, like ten. So, quick start for everyone. This is good. Love seeing it. Yeah, good scores already dropping. We uh, we are pushing ourselves uh, through the day into the men's. And we have, man, some crazy heats coming up. Uh, James Rakaki, Sam Reedy, Tara Watanabe, David O'Keefe. That is heat one in the round of 16 for the men. Sorry, round of 32 for the men's. Heat two, Jet Schilling, John Mel, Luke Weiler, Nolan Raposa. Heat three, Luca Messinas, Owen Moss, Alex Lima, Kevin Schultz. I mean, every single heat is nuts as we chisel away the fat to get to finals day. Definitely. And it looks like... Today, they have the four surfer priority rules established, which are pretty typical with the qualifying series and challenger series. And uh, they get a three-minute paddle out, not a five-minute like yesterday. Yesterday, I had a little more size, so you don't need as much time to get out the back, especially with the tide dropping. Um, yeah, there's definitely some good waves on hand today. Ladies are putting on a great show this morning, warming up the heats for the men that will be following in the round of 32 and round of 16. Yeah, if the wind doesn't get any stronger than this today, I'll, I will be a happy camper. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to get too much stronger. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Here in SoCal, South Wind. Um but, yeah, it'll be great for the guys having the opportunity to go for the air. You know, they have the air show tomorrow for finals day. Air Force is 
presenting it and uh, the top six surfers that have the highest scoring airs will be on finals day with the opportunity to be in the air show final and have a $1,500 up for grabs for first. So, Wow. Huck a punt, make 15 hundo? I know. Let's go. Pretty awesome, right? I, don't, I mean, I don't even know if somebody gave me 1500 bucks. I don't even know if I could land in air. <laughs> Psyching <laughs> too hard. <laughs> I don't think I've done one. And I, the only air I catch is from the top of the lip to the bottom when I'm eating it. <laughs> <laughs> or fly out uh, of the back. I told you if I thought falling was part of the new criteria, so I did it on every wave. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 13 and a half remaining. You know what? That one of Kira, that was her um, 483. That did take her to the lead. Talia in second. Pair of fours. Looking for the 526. Uh, looking for anything, really, just to protect that second place. And then you've got Alana Lopez down in third looking for the 48. And Sonoa chasing a 323 in fourth. So, I mean, it's uh, this is anybody's ball game at this stage. Definitely. Tons of time on the clock. Waves rolling in pretty consistently, so there will be a lot left to turn the heat, I feel like. We see a few waves rolling through right now, no takers. Everyone's kind of just paddling back out and aiming to hold that position. It looks like the current's picking up with the tide pulling out a bit. Yeah, you know, I mean, having an extra set of eyes... Um, with a coach on the beach on a day like today probably is super helpful in just identifying your scoring parts of the lineup, you know? And, For sure. And I mean, it's, contest surfing is hard. It's hard being a, a pro surfer, you know? It's like there's so many millions of things to worry about that to be able to have someone in your corner really just kind of trying to, hey, like, do this. The ju- This is what we've noticed the judges are doing, you know, to kind of minimize the guesswork. And then, too. yeah, and then, hey, look at this part of the lineup. Like, there's everybody's getting their scores here. Just simple stuff like that just goes such a long way. And noticing adjustments happening in the lineup, we see Talia here just drawing off of that knowledge she has for the Malibu right handers, just ripping this one all the way through. I was speaking to her earlier, she's super excited, head to snapper soon. And uh, really looking forward to the Challenger Series and definitely looking on our way. Surfing really well. Boards look good. Um, well, and Snapper will suit her really well. Coming from Malibu, just having um, the, you know, I mean, I don't know if, like, when we do our board riders and we, we compete against Malibu, it's, you can see it in the approach, you yeah. know? Yeah. A lot of times, like, they won't commit to the first turn, but then they'll get in front of it. And then I'm talking about Malibu, our, our event at Malibu, not anywhere else. But their approach to Malibu was so clear-cut, um, so much different than everyone else. Anyone on our squad. We're all, like, beach break people. We're like, first turn, lip, down. Yeah. yeah, you know. And, or they're flowing, linking. Yeah, getting stuck while they're driving up and over and, like, through that first section and then getting in front of it and just really kind of drawing more beautiful lines, so to speak. But, yeah. Yes. I think um, Snapper will suit her really well. It will, and I'll be her first time to Australia, so I, I'm sure she's looking forward to the new adventures that lie ahead and there's a lot of great waves there on the Gold Coast. You know, you have Diva, you have Ingol, you have all these different beach breaks up and down the coast. Palmy, and then Burley. Oh, and my Snapper. gosh. It's so just wave heaven. Wave after wave. And you can see why there's so many great surfers that come out of the Goldie. You have Joel, you have Steph, Fanning. The list goes on, you know. So, um, yeah, it's really nice and i'm excited to see what she does over there well it's a, just the breeding ground for great style yeah for sure and she got a 537 on that last ride so she is sitting in the lead probably the home of one of the worst sunburns i've ever had <laughs> <sighs> mine was waikiki on the south shore oh really like nine. 
Classic. Surfed all day at Queens and came in with like second degree burns on the back of my thighs. <laughs> So yeah. I'm not really. I remember going for a surf and in, in such a rush because it was good, out at Snapper, putting sunscreen on my face, having a surf, you know, putting in a few hours, getting dropped in on, doing a bunch of uh, walk of shames. But, um, <laughs> but then coming in at night and I'm looking at my face after I've showered, I'm like, what are these streaks on my forehead and my like cheeks? And it was everywhere that I'd missed with the sunscreen was burnt. It's like tiger striped face. <laughs> All just time. rushing out to get waves. All time. Like, just having stripes. Oh, uh, just blowing it, you know, not even really knowing how powerful the sun is over there. So. Yeah. Anyways, good times, good times. 8.50 remaining. And, uh, well, Talia's doing the job, but it's everybody's score is looking super similar. Sonoa, she's the danger woman sitting on the high of that 5.67, down there in fourth, needing a 4.16. Very attainable yeah. for Sonoa. But it's slowed down, right? Like it's, um, there's what, let's see, four, six, eight, ten waves ridden in this heat. Um, and I would say out of those ten, there's been substance, you know, decent scores. Definitely. We but, see Alana up and riding here. But it's, uh, it, we might side. be in the every other, you know, like yep. the 20 minutes on and 20 off, which... Oh, man, being in the 20 off hurts. <laughs> it does. We've all been there. When you're like, oh, the waves are firing you, get out there, and it's flat for 20, 30 minutes right after the heat's over. Yeah, but right after the heat's over, you end up seeing the flurry come through, and you're like, oh, if that only came in like two minutes prior to my heat being over, could turn the heat. Lost to heat. Never lost to heat. Never lost to heat. Just ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that happens at Bells and some of those big wave spots. Because of the long period, you end up having longer lulls. And uh, you'll have those 30-minute lulls where it'll be one heat on, one heat off. It happens at Pipe as well. All right, we got visitors. Howdy, howdy. Oh, easy on the sugar. All right, seven minutes remaining. And, uh, yeah, it's just a love fest in here. We're just making it happen. Everybody's throwing shakas. Jamie Buell and Shannon Buell making guest appearances. We love it. They're up in uh, my neck of the woods. So Talia out uh, in the lead with this, f oh no, wait, what did I miss? Sonoa went 4-5 and jumped into the lead. We are just having major distractions. My apologies. So fourth to first. Gentlemen, can we... See a replay of that last red. <laughs> Trying to catch myself up here. Mauricio, anybody? Somebody? Last red? Yeah, Red turning the heat with that 4.5. Yeah, right? I mean, she needed it. She was sitting on the single high of the heat and needed the backup. Yeah. Now Kira answering back. No, nope, that one's not going to do it. She used priority on that one. Chasing a 5. I mean, everybody needs about a 5. Alana looking for about a 6. They all would like a 5, honestly, for their backups. and then. Oh, well, here we go. Wow. Wraps it back, hides herself under the lip. That was crafty. Definitely more on the creative side. That was fun. I was like, oh, she comes out of that and uh, combos it up. She could be on her way to the score. Definitely. That, that didn't that. happen, so, unfortunately. <laughs> Four minutes, 50 seconds, and now Talia. Bang. Nice little snap. Super well-timed. Looks like 
scores came in for Kira's last wave at 2.3, and then Alana's a 2.87. Doesn't change the situation for her, though. She's still looking for a 5.84. Just under five minutes on the clock, and uh, let's see if we get another little flurry in the ocean. Yeah, I see, to, a little, I see some motion. Let's yeah. uh, Hopefully it transpires onto the banks and just morphs itself into something couple of fireworks in the heat that's always fun to yeah. close out this round of 16. it's looking like talia's wave it's rolling in we're just waiting for one judge it comes in as a 4.5 so that's a throwaway first still right you know i mean the better they get the better we get <laughs> <laughs> yeah so true <laughs> Just a quick little setup turn and a nice finish on that last turn. A little foam climb. All right. Kira, All right. up and riding. I'm curious to see if she did something out the back. We have a nice little setup carve. Just staying with the energy. Oh. oh. See, maybe the nerves. Kicking in a little bit. You know, it's such a weird one, like, coming off the back of a tail pad. Yeah. You know, it's like, were, was your foot too far back up on the kicker? You know, it's always a weird one coming off a tail pad. Definitely. I've eaten utter, uh, eaten it badly doing that. <laughs> we, were talking, we were talking You're about it yesterday, me. yeah, <laughs> over on Northside. Northside HB's had a trifecta. On me. <laughs> Torn hammy. Torn hammy. Blown my knee out. Ended up in knee surgery. And uh, did my back and ended up in back surgery. Northside HP. Jeez. Just, you name it. You a lifetime the doctor's a, a, office. A, a, a lifetime of surfing slabs and seal. Never once gotten hurt on Southside. Never once. HP. <laughs> bang. Just wrecked. Well, it goes from like kind of semi mushy to hollow <laughs> really quick. As we're seal, you're always like kind of set and ready to just pull into some beach breaks, shore breaks, and yeah, get thrown I mean, and sand crab onto the beach. And then, yeah, seal <laughs> is back just out without your leash on, just point and shoot. You yeah, know, get getting, spat out of barrels. If you're doing turns, it's usually not any good, but <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I've had just fried myself on north side a bunch. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> like it. You had the three bangers, though, so oh, yeah. maybe you're done. <laughs> Two surgeries and uh, one that kept me out of the water for about three months. Oh, yeah. Okay, a minute 50. Sonoa did the job with that 4-5. Um, Talia didn't replace anything. Still chasing the 4-8. Oh, Kira, and then I'm you've got get into this thing right here. And Kira's a danger woman, only needing a Whoa. five. Oh, this isn't good. Slamming some water. This isn't good if you're Finish. Talia Swindoll. That might be right there. I'm interested to see where the judges go with that. It was a smaller wave, but she did hammer two nice turns. Yeah, I mean, realistically, what are you thinking? Mid four to a six? Mid four to a six. <laughs> Trying to cover How's my that score gap. Try, trying to cover my bases <laughs> here. Oh, I like it. Zap the first turn. It's kind of a slash though, but Bang. she did displace a lot of water in the lip. So oh, that's where it's like there it is. Five yeah. seven seven jumps to the lead. Oh. Well, time winding down. Swindoll finds herself in third looking for the four nine four eight one. And Lopez still on the hunt for the six zero seven. <laughs> that spread four or six. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know? Yeah, three to a seven. <laughs> <laughs> One to a ten. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know with these guys anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Same it's more more about the uh, certainty of my scoring. <laughs> yeah. Now I really liked how she was pushing her turns, like throwing everything at him she knew she needed to elevate that wave and she barely scratched into it we see talia oh wow she, i don't think she got up before the horn but no. definitely not going to be the score well, anyways so. there it is court kira and sanoa looking like they're moving through into the quarters and unfortunately for talia and alana 
their run has ended here at the Jacks Pro. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more live action after this. What does it mean to live the search? Oh, well, um, I think to live the search is like a probably the biggest blessing in the world because I think everyone on this planet like in some way lives the search. You have a choice to go searching, just getting out of the bed. It's like, you wanna get out? Or you wanna get out of your house? Oh, it's nice, eat your food, you wanna stay cruise? Or, or you wanna like get out and like, or what do you want? And then boom, you start getting on this journey of finding it. We set out to create the highest quality headwear in the world. We like to call it better headwear for better adventures. Our hydro hats are built to perform in and around water and utilize technology designed to reduce sweat stains and easily rinse to keep you looking and feeling fresh longer. We partner with the most elite athletes and adventurers on the planet to push our products to the limits so that no matter where your adventure takes you, your melon hat is guaranteed to help you have more fun. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. We're into the round of 32. Heat one. Jabe Swarkaki in blue. Sam Reedy. White. Taro Watanabe. And in green, David O'Keefe. I'm Brett Simpson, joined by none other than Courtney yeah. Conalog. Stoked to have you in the booth again. Oh, it's been a fun day. Here yeah, we go. Look at Taro. Nice turn there. Kicks the fins. Um, he's going to stay with this one. So big first turn, kind of going over the flat section here. Board looks nice. Everything looks connected. Wow. Cracks it again. And mm. another. So, oh, no. He even glued on that. So most of the work was done. It looked like he was on his I way. Six, seven for a white on his first ride. Mm. Okay, Three, well, six, seven for red. So not a bad start for Taro. It, the waves have gone to a point in the tide where it's pretty start-stop. You know, big turn, kind of got to weave around the flats, find another section, weave around the flats, find another section. Yep. So it, uh, blue looks like he might be white as well. we got some riders. So this one's kind of coming at him a bit more. Whoa. Nice turn there, Court. And form, forming out. Yeah, he looks mm. uh, he looks fired up. Good start for Definitely. White. And yeah. Blue also had, they were both kind of dropping in different peaks, similar times. So it'll be interesting to see. We, we got White's live. Might have to see a replay for Blue. Here's White. So wraps it back right there. Power pocket. And then this one. Bit, That's the money turn right there. Bit better. Yeah. Time all those turns really well that second turn was definitely the one that'll add the excellence to that score and then here's sam's wave in blue little slash a little nice more vert. vertical there just working his way trying to stay next to that energy source five three three for white on his last ride yeah, so see. pocket fives he's in that 11 points that's a pretty solid start in the first Three and a half minutes. Yeah, great start. He'd be happy with that. Sure, he was looking at those previous heats before his the end of the round of 16 of the women and seeing the waves having those gaps mm -hmm. and having to link them, you know, yeah, find the one with the wall. He almost went on another one there. So he's just kind of rolling the dice, staying busy. Looks like Sam Reedy in blue gets 393, so... Taro in the lead, Jabe and Sam with the threes. 
David O'Keefe, he's pretty dial a bomb. So David spends a lot of time I sit with priority from Newport Beach, California, lifeguard. So water savvy and uh, yeah, looking good. All right, so I think we're going to throw it down. Kira Pinkerton kind of crawled her way from third to first in the last couple minutes there. Kira, you with us? Hello. Hey. You? Yeah, I hear you. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, that was, uh, it looked, you know, <laughs> it was kind of a roller coaster. Like you had the five and then you were searching for the score, had a couple moments where your foot slipped. And then all of a sudden, I think that was under priority too, if I'm not mistaken, right? That last wave? Yeah, that last one was kind of like a whitewater takeoff. And then it, I could tell it was going to reform in the heat before that girl, Zoe Kaina, I think her name was, she was getting those reforms. So I was kind of looking for those, but my game plan completely changed. The waves changed completely in that heat and the waves I wanted were not coming in. So I had to change it and just kind of reset. Well, good job. That's part of, yeah, that's part of like the, that next level adapting and making it through these rounds. So good work there. Um, what's under your feet? Thank you. Um, this is a driver. No, no, sorry. It's a stub. It's a 3.0 stub. It's actually a new board. I've never tried it before. It's a 5.7, a little smaller than my normal boards. And kind of working good i think i need a bigger board though it's yeah. pretty soft out there yeah well no the board you look nice you've just your timing and everything looks on so keep it up you'll be on to the quarterfinals tomorrow so get some rest and uh congratulations enjoy those automotive excellence dollars you gotta actually you're making some cash all right i'm stoked don't go spend buy some it dinner. <laughs> yeah don't spend it too fast all right I try not to okay good job we'll see you tomorrow thank you and then uh, straight into Mr. Hey. Who I Said. David. Called the dial. He hit the dial. Called called the wave gods and bang. There's just a... willed that wave. That left looked really good. Rapid Love fire. Love to see the replay. So clicks in Sarah. Look out. up. Yeah, it goes carve. flat. And this reform on the inside just provides. That snap was so clean to a nice finish. The judges are going to love how he linked those turns. Looks like it came in at a 5.43. Yeah. So great way to get things going for himself. He has 18.30 on the clock and uh, wide up and ready now. Taro's staying super active. Just a quick little throw away. So Davey gets himself in the mix with that 5.43. He surfed the wave, you know, quite possibly as good as he could. It was kind of a, you know, snap up and over. The wave went flat. He had to really flow to kind of connect the dots. So yeah, the wave wasn't, definitely. you know, a, a great wave, a decent wave to keep his speed, though. And that gives him the 5-4. So he's in the heat. Solid. Yeah, he's right in it. He's in the mix. Yeah, it's the it's the second highest wave, uh, you know, right. currently. Jabe. Yeah, I like nice how snap to start. He's looking sparky. Yeah, I like how Jabe surfs. He's pretty coiled up, hailing from Ventura, oncoming oh. section, slams it right there. So bigger turn, biggest turn on the last. So we'll see. You know that'll factor into the score, but uh, he's got to get off the Schneid. He's got a three six seven. So it's gonna be fine. You know, it, you come into these rounds, round of sixteen. Some of your, you know, in form athletes. And, you know, you're guaranteed, you're going out there, you're thinking 11 plus points yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. To have a two five fives. crack at it. Yeah, so we'll let that, the start was a little, you know, a little start stop, had to kind of stay with it. And here goes O'Keefe on a right hander, wraps it and doesn't like what he sees. So he gets out of there. And, it, and that's the tricky thing with the waves right now. It's, it's tides moving out. The bank is a little flat, so the waves aren't, you know, by far, you know, f far from being punchy. It's yeah. kind of very slopey. So really important where you take off your speed in and out of the your maneuvers. And you're looking kind of, you know, the waves are longer, so you're almost looking where, you know, down the line is there going to be some power pockets that you can kind of bounce off of. Ooh, a couple people. Green. Yeah, O'Keefe under priority. Going to roll it. Comes around the corner. Snap. Oh, right in the pocket there. 
Wow, Blue was trying to get over there, and the wave kind of broke on his back. And Davey, in fourth priority, just scoops it up. But that thing goes into kind of a trench. Yeah, I think he did a little damage out the back, so I'll def definitely replace that 167. Yeah, he's not looking for much. Three point, what is it, 3.21, last wave of Jabe, the left, 4.97. So the big end turn, the, the exclamation mark. And then this one, best one's the first turn. I definitely. will say a little bit flatter, but nice cutty there. And not much he could do different because the wave was flat, you know. So. Yeah, he did what he could with what he had on offer. I uh, ended up receiving a 4.4 for that ride. Yeah, so puts himself into second. Taro still out in the lead, looking in form. <clears throat> He's probably going to slow it up a little bit, maybe get a little more picky. Yeah, especially since his last wave was kind of a throwaway. He's probably like, you know what, I want to get in that higher priority, be able to have the pick of the litter. Yeah, and then you're like, you're in the heat, you're in control. You want to be typically, a, you know, in that sense around other competitors. So you're taking waves off, yeah, taking off oppor them. Exactly. Yeah. And I think sometimes young competitors forget that and they want to go out there and rip and they, you know, they're thinking about better their scores, but that's not always the name of the game. There's a lot more intricate detail than just going out there and ripping. Yeah, I mean, if you're sitting right by your competitor and there's only one five five that roams in and you have first prio, you take that off of them. And that, that makes their life five even five higher. less. <laughs> yeah, because you remember, <laughs> you know? like, sometimes you're sitting out there for three, five, seven minutes and you take that wave, they might have to sit for another three, three five, seven minutes. So it could be over by then. Yeah. So anytime you take that chance and that opportunity away from your competitor it's always a positive and when you up the ante and increase your score line it just strengthens your situation and puts them in a case where they're a little more vulnerable and a little more at risk yeah, to not get through we'll just start feeling that pressure too yeah pressure can create a little bit of a panic and get in between panic, the ears and the panic can create uh you know pressure does make diamonds but it also makes disaster <laughs> definitely definitely hopefully you're the one that loves it and turns into a diamond in the rough yeah bottom. some people end up being the rough <laughs> well sam getting a connection right here oh. oh that was well done the the oh. inside part of that wave was nicely timed and uh let's see He's looking know. for a 5.9 on this ride, so... Yeah, this heat's tightening up. So let's hear the start. Nice cutty, opens Potter. up the shoulders. Yeah. And as we were talking about, waves are a bit flatter through this middle section, so the goal is just to stay <laughs> I need as some help. close as you can. You don't typically want to do that, but you had to. Snaps it there, and then this one doubles up even more, Court, and he just yeah, goes. Yeah, this end section, there's two really nice turns on that wave, so... Best being the last. Yeah, the last turn was definitely the best. So we'll see what that wave comes in as at for Sam. Searching for the 5.9. Yeah. Hey, he did link a few waves. He did what we were saying earlier. The start stop's going to cost him. You know, the flow of the wave will cost him. But definitely. It, it's coming in. There it is. Seven. Yeah, so 5.07. And, and, you know, for people watching at home, the, the end turn was probably one of the bigger turns. But it was right on the shore, you know, end of the wave. So yep. typically, you know. About the backs where you want your exclamation and then add it well, that's at where the end as well. The highest risk, too. It is, because you're laying it all on the line out the back. And then I feel like some of the flow was lost in that in between. So that would have compromised the score. Yes, the wave did mush out, but that's due to his wave selection as well. Yeah, he made that a score. He like, made it a score. He could have easily just, when he was hopping through that middle trough, fell at the back and doesn't have a five. He has a yeah, two five. Yeah, he surfed that up personally, and it's a five zero seven. Now he's only looking for a 4.77. So he made the situation a little easier for himself. The seat's tight. It's tight. Yeah, this definitely. This is one of those heats, Court, where we were talking yesterday, where it's so tight that a six by 
second, third, and or fourth, or two of them could flip the whole thing. Yeah, and this know? is where white and green should be by Sam and Jabe. You yeah. know, just taking that one opportunity that could just make things a little easier for them off the table. That was a nice snap. So O'Keefe rolling the dice here, looking to better as 4-4. Four, four. Snap to finish. That was nice. Could be on his way. The interest is what is riding. Usually a Tim Stamps rider could be on the Habanero. I would love to see if he's on a hobby. It makes sense. It looked like his board was really sparky mm -hmm. off the tail, and that hobby really does that well. It, it like gets through those flat spots too. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but he, I know he has in the past ridden Tim Stamps, who we both ride. Oh. So nice turn there. Gets the fin release. Kind of. I think right. that's that's a complete. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not ideal complete, but it's on the line for sure. So definitely some scores. Looks like blue got a ride. Red kind of out the yeah, back. Yeah, we're waiting white. for three scores right now. Things could flip right now. 9.40 on the clock. Okay. Taros. O'Keefe's looking for the 5.58 five, to jump into the lead. We'll see where that last left goes. Yeah, Taro's kind of, he's holding first priority, first place. Would love to replace that 5-3-3, I'm sure, with a higher score than the 5-6-7, just to make the cause a little bit more challenging. Yeah, it's got to better. Because then these guys are getting active kind of on this inside bar. Yeah, it looks so. like a bit of a flatter one, but it looks like it's linking up on that inside. Wow, nice arc there. Climbs the whitewash, high risk, low reward. But it does connect the wave. If you do it proper, it connects the wave. And, you know, he surfed that wave really well. It gives a little fist pump. So trying to sell a, you know. Yep. Non-competitors. Benji. Yeah, Benji Lang. Yeah, he's getting some waves. Got to take Warming advantage up. of your trip. He made a few heats in this event. Make, looks like Dimitri. Oh. His free surf zone's kind of flaring up. So we got scores coming in for green, yeah, they're taking blue. some time. It looks like they're... All just, right. 5-3-3? Five, 5-1-3. Three, three? Five, three. Five, three. So he does improve his situation just a little bit, making the cause harder for Sam and Jabe. Yeah, O'Keefe is uh, super consistent. He always paddles out and gets scores. All these guys. At this round, it's 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 the top of the top. Round of 16. So Heat won. Are we around a 32? We're around We're a 32. 32, I'm yep. I'm stripping. <laughs> I, was, I was still on the women's side. Yeah, round so. of 32, but yeah. You know, it's... Uh, uh, well, who we got next? Jet Schilling, John Mel. Luke Weiler, Nolan Raposa. So Myers Mentorship's got three guys in one heat. <laughs> wow. That's when First you just tell killing. everyone the same Good deal. Luck. Good luck. Shake hands. You guys have done all the work. Yeah. You know what to do. Go out there and do your thing. Shake hands and may the best man win. Yeah. Or get second. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the top two out of the three get through. You know, yeah, that would be ideal for the Myers camp. Most definitely. Um, but yeah, time's winding down. Clock's probably feeling a bit fast for Jay right now. Yeah, it always does when when you're searching for a score and you might be sitting. Well, he's in second, but he's gonna sell Taro on this one. Nice and little sell. So wraps it around off the start, Taro. Throws it up there. He won't replace his score no. with that. So he's giving himself some room. We have Sam here. Nice crack to start things off. Carve. Wow, working this, through the inside. This is a nicer wave. This wave's down the end, and he's uh, he, just, he just got the ride of the heat. 
He's fired up. Yeah, because his l previous was a 4-1. They didn't. Yeah. He didn't get it, and that one. 5-4-9 is what he's looking for on this ride, or better. Really gonna keep him honest. So here's Taro's replay. Yeah, Taro, just playing a little defense, you know. I see that it could at the end of this heat if... I wonder if anyone else was around this, but found him. Sam found himself in the beautiful some space. spot. Yeah. yeah. I think he was, you know, you could see the non-competitor, so he's definitely to the south bank, and that thing ran the whole thing. And I feel like a lot of the competitors don't go to that south bank because they don't understand where to sit in that zone, and you could get lost pretty easy. The thing is, northwest windswell typically sh uh, shows itself more to the south anyways. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> local knowledge. But, yeah, yeah right. it is. It, you feel a little bit vulnerable being over there. Just, just. Uh, but you can get but some really great opportunities on best, best wave of the heat. Yep, six eight three. So, so now he's in the lead. Taro ended up deciding to pick a wave that he utilized his first priority, didn't replace. It could at the end of this heat end up costing him. We'll see what happens. Yeah. You know, Jabe and David now have the reins with Pryo. And they don't need massive scores. They only need a five point five eight and a six point zero three. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are the heats you got to find your way through because, you know, fives and the next thing you know, you're in the round of 16, could be the quarterfinals. Or those are the heats that are you know, could be a could be the difference on your way to your first monumental win or maybe your second, maybe your third, but a huge start to the the Definitely. new US season. All right, so Sam, rhythm surfer right now. Speed float, just took the lead. Has gonna... fourth priority. He's probably working his way over towards the other athletes, getting out of that zone where he snagged the highest score of this heat. Because why give that little zone away? Well, <laughs> in this situation, when you take, I feel like you take the lead. I think it's with 330. He did all his work away. Now it might be time to come over. And kind of, and kind of just trying to sell people maybe on waves that aren't the score, and then hold the primary you, priority. And use then, car salesman. Yep. You want this like, thing? I'm going. I'm going. You want it? You want it? I want the 50 bucks or 75 bucks from. And that's kind of what Taro's doing right here. He's next to Davy. Davy needs the 558. Davy has priority over him, but it's just you're kind of in the vicinity. It makes your decision a little like harder you're yeah. not as you know you're not as comfy yeah definitely and here comes sam he says hello everyone i took the lead it's like okay now i'm going to come play with you guys and yeah you want this one you. you want this one you want this one are you going are you going i want it are you going i definitely want this wave yeah <laughs> and then they're like oh that wave was so bad and what you do you get them to look at you not the wall what's down the line yeah so you, you Ideally, you want to be on their inside, so they're looking at you, not the wave. Because they have to make a decision. And then they don't see what's happening down the line. Yeah. Pick a dud, possibly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's hanging by Jabe, too. So. So we're down to two minutes. Had a bit of a heat shift with Sam. Turning the heat with that 6.83. Creating some opportunities for himself. And, uh, well, we're hearing whistles. Waves are coming in. So the surfers that need scores have first and second priority. So yep. that's going to you know, bode well for them. 
now in this situation, right, Court, you're just looking for a chance. All you want is an opportunity to kind of drift through. Yeah, and right now, no matter if you're holding first or even second priority, first priority, that other athlete, they're just like a gnat. It's that's like a, a, a remora, you, you know? like on a shark. You want to <laughs> zone them out. You look at what you need in this situation where Jabe, he needs a 6.03. So whatever Sam's doing at the moment, it's just distraction Yeah. to pull you off of the sandbar, yeah. sell you into a wave. So you need to pull down to your knowledge, your decisions. Definitely and some waves. There's some waves out here. So interested to see what... Jabe decides because he needs just a, a little slightly above average score. Might be too deep. Too deep. Green might roll in. Green's doing the white water takeoff to a little foam climb right here. There's a nice wall in front. Just a little layback. A little foam climb. He's looking for a 5.58 on this ride. See if he gets a little bit more on the inside. Definitely working his way all the way through. So he's gonna he's making him think about it. Red gets a wave too. Curious if Red did something out the back on this. Yeah, well they both and rolled Blue's the dice. Up too. Sam's up on his last one. He needs to improve a five zero seven. Nice snap to finish. So wow. Taro could be on the ropes. Yeah, Taro didn't end up getting in that exchange. We'll, we'll wait for some scores coming in. He, uh, you know, quick start, kind of went sleepy through the middle, back half of the heat. Uh, green, red, got some opportunity at the end. So we're going to kind of let this one decipher out. It's going to end on the beach. Scores, I'm sure judges upstairs still watching they're going to replay, see the key moments, key turns of the those those waves. So yeah. here, a little foam climb, a uh, little more horizontal. Didn't really, it was Lay like the rail. It yeah. Was kind of a projecting layback. If you look at the board, it was a section Just where he could have maybe twisted it back down. And, uh, but he was going fast. You know, he was traveling down the line with a good amount of speed. And then this is Red's wave. So Red scooting across here. Oh. So nice little click. Slash right there. And then clicks it. So they'll be comparing this ride of Red. He's looking for a 5.93 right now. They'll look at the 5. Uh, 5.13, 5.43. Looking like they're in, I think. 507, so, so just under for so red. Looking like blue, Sam Reedy, and red, Taro Watanabe through. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back right after this. White.
Good afternoon. If you're just tuning in, you're here at the Jax Surfboards Pro. We got a stacker heat just about to start round of 32. Heat two here in Surf City at the Jax Pro. John Mel, Jet Schilling, Nolan Raposa, Luke Weiler. So ready to do battle. You got Matt Myers mentorship has three of his athletes out there up against the San Clemente world junior champion Jet Schilling. So John Mel, he won this event last year, Court. That's amazing. And he started this heat off really fast with the three eight three and it looks like Nolan was right with him with the five eight three. He got the best of the exchange. Nice little carve right there. Yeah, he's looking in form. Looks like he did switch equipment. Oh, that's uh, what cost him. I was going to say, it looks like he's well on his way Nolan. here. Noel, nice jump, little jump climb kicker. Lays uh, it back. So a bit bigger turn there. And they like that. 5.83. So just below the good range. A um, couple of the maneuvers were... You know, the wave was a little bouncy and bobbly that, that yeah. kind of held him back, but he made that wave of score. So Yeah, that layback to finish was really nice. Yeah, that was kind of the the biggest moment. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so 21 minutes, these 25-minute heats. If you're just tuning in, we're right here. Surf City USA, Jack Surfboards Pro. We're into the round of 32, so... No more seated surfers. We're, you know, we're past that. We're, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're going to end up running the rest of these, uh, you know, the, there's eight heats in this round. And then we're going to head into four heats of the round of 16 after that. So here's Jet Chilling speeding across this section. A couple nice foam climbs holding his speed. Nice fluid transition and throws it up there late, unable to hang on. So... Yeah. Was looking in form, surf. You know the wave. The wave wasn't anything of quality, but his, his speed and projection was looking good. Definitely. Let's look at this replay. Just a nice speed climb. You know those aren't high high scoring maneuvers, but they can be in a sense. You're connecting maneuvers together with speed yes and, and they're important and and like i said earlier they're kind of high risk low reward because they don't really score but but they make the difference between an average and an excellent score when you're seamlessly utilizing your rail instead of hopping going flat you know so yeah um and that's you know you he's see definitely it. on his way he just needs a better wave yeah so that's a 317 he gets yeah. the finish there and even you know, it might be a four, four, five, but Nolan, Nolan. goes to the sky. Oh, and I mean, it's stuck. A little bit in between, like, did do I get... reverse it or do I just straighter? Keep it straight, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna throw it down. Previous heat winner Sam Reedy went. Did you go down the beach, Sam? We were a little confused where you were catching <laughs> these long grower rights. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling at the start of the heat. Couldn't really find my position. Um. But I was very thankful to catch a wave and kind of and go um, further down the beach. Well, heck yeah. Look at that money in your hand. I'd be stoked, too. <laughs> <laughs> some some uh, Lay Right Deluxe Bucks. What's up next? You are going to surf again a little bit later today. Um, any change of plans? Just kind of hang out? Um, no, I'm probably just going to hang out in the competitors area, get an acai bowl, and just reset for my heat. All right, buddy. Any shout outs today? Who oh. who we? Of course. I want to shout out my mom who's watching, my nana and grandpa. I know they're all watching back home. My aunt and uncle were able to make it down today as well, and the fans here supporting, so I super appreciate that. Un saludo a todos en Costa Rica que están viendo. Vamos, vamos con toda la ronda 16. Eh, me siento bien, me siento motivado y pura guía. Well, great performance, Sam. Stoked to see you doing well, and uh, let's get ready for the round of 16 coming up soon. You! You! See ya. Good job. Uh, what a way to turn the heat right there with the highest score yeah that's like he like Clutch. he said he kind of was having a tough time they build scores on him and then he scampered away to the south peak he pivoted and, and, and found yeah. his rhythm you know yeah. and sometimes you need to do that knowing when to decide to make that move was he did it really well turn the heat and then got back over with the other athletes and closed the door 
Yeah, sometimes you can't do that until you ride a wave, but once you ride that wave and maybe you get to the end, that's when it makes the decision a little bit easier to kind of go there. Yeah, you see it, you're like, oh, okay, maybe it's hard I should to, investigate. Yeah, it's hard to be sitting somewhere and then paddle over there. You it, like, I feel especially at a beach break like Huntington, you want to kind of surf your way into that next little spot. Yeah. And Sam did that the best that he where Taro got the really quick start fives which saved him at the end of this yeah. because there was a couple the difference was there was a couple quality more quality maneuvers that sure. stood out a little bit more when you're battling fives that's what it comes down to and the judges look and go okay out of these fives whose two waves were or the best exactly and that's you know if if you're watching at home it's sometimes those scores can get skewed a little bit at the end but what they're really trying to do is make sure the result of the overall heat is right. Is the best. So they might mess up here and there where they go a little bit higher, a little bit low. But they're going to end up trying to make sure that the feeling of who had the two best waves, that person is getting Gets through. through. So it's is it always right? No. But I think they do a pretty good job at that. We're human. The average. You know, it's not judges. There's five judges. You have a high and a low go. Yeah. Oh, he's digging. He looks like me golfing. <laughs> he's kind of trying to chip into. He's trying to chip and charge. Oh. oh. Come on, baby, get in there. All right, he'll get a free hat anyways. He's got to scoot up. You know, if you're chipping, you want oh, your feet. Wow. You want your feet in front of the club. You don't want to be behind it. Yep. Driver behind it, chipping in front. I'm pretty sure if I'm. Yeah, if mistaken. you. Yeah, you want your chip. You want the club. Kind closer of to you foot or yeah. back foot depending if you want to lob it or have it run a little bit well, more let's not act like we i don't really know enough, but <laughs> i do like watching i've been golf playing a there. little bit more but doesn't mean i'm any better i just have fun playing the game <laughs> i like the, the commentator's voice on a sunday morning or an afternoon it's a great nap you know sport <laughs> take a nap wake up uh, you're still on hole 12 yeah, someone's well, gonna win 1.2 million dollars Oh Maybe gosh. even 3.5. Crazy. Crazy yeah, I was stuff. watching some of that full swing deal, and I saw their Pre first place prize purse. I'm like, 3.5 I mean, are million? they that Whoa. talented to make that much money? I mean, I don't know. I mean. Surfing's way better. But they don't have the millions of dollars. But who's this right here? Luke Weiler's kind of the Wiley Weiler's getting loose. He's got the, we got the drone up. We got the drone up in the sky. So the eye in the sky is there. This heat is well underway. Raposo with the 583. Looks like Mel, couple 39383. Three. <laughs> I was just imagining if we had the golfer commentator voice. Oh, or... so he just so... hopped it in from seven feet out. Catches this wave out like the back. It looks like Raposa might Raposa roll into this one. off the bottom. <laughs> Cracks it off the top and Quiet, working please. his way around. Quiet, please. <laughs> Yeah. Is up. Now I think we have the million dollar vibes over here. Woof. Wow. So he's carbine. a little black beauty. I wonder if it's carbon. Be interested to see if he gets his heat win. We'll ask Definitely him. Blacked out that yeah. board. So flows through that one. How do you keep wax on that? It looks like he actually has. I think he's a deck. double grip. Yeah, you have to with the black boards. Your wax will just melt. Yeah. I did a uh, twenty with the black deck and that thing. You kind of have to put it in a bag, and even then, yeah, it like you it still melt. Leave it in the back of the car. And yeah, this thing's cooked. Totally. Nice little wave for Nolan. Staying busy, dynamic. Blue, driving. So that's better for John Dor. So fluid. John Dor's a tall can, guy. Yeah. Lanky, lanky he surfer. He really well though, and utilizes that length to his advantage. Yeah, and has enough uh, pop and spring, which you got to have in smaller conditions. So let's see. Up and riding jet. Oh, that's a nice turn. Snap. Flowing, clicks it again. Right, so he's right. he's on his way, Court. Up and over the woods, Machado style. Um. Oh. And he, Machado, we we say that because Machado had his peak to the south, and he was the best transitioning over that up and over flat bit. He yep. just kept his speed. And here's John 
big John rap. Just driving through his turns. You know. A little blow tail reverse. Well, that's the two turn combo we talk about yeah. where carve straight into the finner. Yeah. No link. No. Gap. Bobble, hop in. You yeah, know, even having to even having to pump somewhere, it just was like yeah. wham bam. Yeah, it's nice to have that seamless transition. It looks like a ways dropping in. Pretty nice score for Nolan, a five point four. Okay. Yeah. So five so, four the one he rode all the way to the shore. Five four all the way to the shore. Fives. Yeah. Five four to the shore. So we got scores coming in for red. Jet looked pretty sparky there. Didn't have the necessarily the big finish, but they're gonna. They really liked it. They like the flow, the, the transition. Flare. Yeah. I like that flare. He pulls in a 6.83. So Jet will be very thrilled with that. That puts him in second place. He just, needs only a 4.4. Just mature. It was mature surfing. Here's here's John holding his rail. We still have a wave. Wow. Of John dropping in, and he's uh, already up and, and out on that one. Yeah, so John yeah. score dropping. That carve was beautiful. Just a bummer. It didn't really let him so kind five, of. 5.67 for John. So that. Narrows his situation why he needs to go in a second. He's looking for a 4-3-4 now. Wide up and riding. A lot of action right now in the ocean. So nice turn there for Wyler. More vertical. Oh, he Speed. just missed oh, that one. And you could it. the body language. That yeah. was a big opportunity to have a good score. And he's going to... Because the first turn was nice. Vertical setup got a lot of speed. And then hits it, but kind of... Kind of like in he didn't know if he wanted to blow tail or carve it all the way yeah. back. And yeah. when you do that, sometimes you just need to pick one, mm. you know? Decide before you hit that section, not during it. All right, so it's a little throwaway for John, a 3.33 on that last ride of his. Beach is filling up a bit. Sun's out today. It was rainy and cold and... Had that northwest wind. Snap from Jet. Yeah, two seven three. He could have had, you know, something in the average to good range. He connects right. Here's Jet. I think this is his going for the blow tail. Oh, reverse. so he kinda Yeah, he he most likely knew that there was only one section. Turn. Yeah. Looked like he just finished something there. So let's see. Little yeah. foamy takeoff. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Carve at the start. Then clicks the fins. A nice fin ditch. So he's going to back up that 317. Yeah. Throw that away. You know, most likely needs the 4 4 to jump into the lead. I think it'll be right there. Maybe. It'll be close. I think he gets it. They're really digging his surfing. Okay. Oh, here's the past champions. 2017, he's a Nomi Batero. 2018, Kevin Schultz. Uh, 2019, Crosby Colapinto. 2020, canceled because of COVID. 2021, Nat Young, Katie Simmers. 2022, Keanu Singh, Sawyer Lindblad. 2023, Johnny Mel, Sawyer Lindblad. And will we have a new champion? We have past. Well, for the ladies. We have a couple past champions in the draw still in the men's. And obviously Sawyer is over in Margaret River trying to keep her hopes alive on the world tour. So uh, last of Jet, he did get it, huh? Yeah, he did. He received a 5.9 for that last ride. Not the throwaway one, but the one that we watched a minute ago and uh it was turn the heat and now he's sitting in a pretty nice spot he has the two top scores of this heat with a 683 on 5.9 there's bobby i'm psyched to be down there bobby one of the owners of jacks hanging <laughs> out with his, maybe his grandkids just hanging out enjoying the event great thanks to them for sponsoring this in the first place inviting all these brands down here and Nolan ropes racking it and laying it down. So ropes trying to better some of those fives could be on his way. Oh, what yeah. a finish! 
Yeah, I think he's definitely he's looking the, at improving that 5.4. He's on the long hair, don't care. Long tour. hair. There the shot of vibes, yeah. spark plug, just... What do you think, Court? Up and over. Definitely replacing that 5.4. Those turns were way bigger. That, Unless he got a little bobbled, but fortunately he It almost set him up. Yeah. It almost kind of set him up better. He's like, oh, I have to do a little bit more now. So um, that last turn was really nice and clean, too. It was almost the high-risk, low-reward foam climb. Almost costed him. <laughs> it almost but then it costed. stayed swizzly enough to connect that finish with the finner, and he gets... Oh, it's not in yet. I'm seeing things. <laughs> but what does he need to take the lead? Six? He doesn't need much. A 6.9. Uh, is it the best wave of the heat? I think what he's going to do is improve on that 5.4. If it's the best wave of the heat, he jumps it, because Jet's got the 6.8. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, he's at the Vulcan 10. He's trying to break. Bobby's like, don't do it. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So we're just waiting for this last ride of Nolan, because it could either make things a little tougher for John and Luke or push him into the lead. So we'll, we'll see. I think it's definitely going to make it a little harder. Here's Jet. He's going to show us his backhand. This is kind of what flared him up in the World Juniors. Oh, Gets a little, a little stuck. Yeah. So kind of... He didn't really, I think he thought that wave might have a little more pushback and kind of went a little short, and then he needed to drive it a little bit more. Yeah. Here we go. Swizzling. Boom. Nice first turn. Even gets a little release. And then that one. Nah. Got you know, a little hung up. South wind chop up the face. It's always going out to see those rights right now, so yeah. always catch you if you overcook it a little. Well, here's a cool view. We got a little brown patch at the end of the that's it's probably that that's rip the, just turning well it's the, the sand. rib turning the sand yeah and that shows how you know hard it was kind of pulling out because the swells in that range it looks like ropes might get the best score of the heat yeah for sure so we got a seven seven two, seven seven two seven takes the lead so now he's in the lead he's stoked on that well he had this feel a little safer he had the speed and a couple bigger maneuvers. Manuel Salmon and the boys kind of dialing it in. He's up next. He'll be up there, out there versus Luca Messinas, Owen Moss. Actually, I'm tripping. He's in heat four. So he's got some time. Just making sure he's looking at the right waves. But uh, Jetty, little Jetty Schilling right here. Not so little anymore. Definitely, bit, you know, he's been growing in size and putting on some strength so power whoa ropes is flying down the line <laughs> oh, i love it nolan's all or nothing man he's always going so fast he's either flying over the handlebars like that or pulling a huge air yeah it's like kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time when you're watching him for sure and his style is definitely more spontaneous so you don't know what's going to come out of the bag you know yeah i, I you know, he works with Myers. I got to work with him a few years ago. I know he's worked with Simo and many of, of guys. And sometimes I feel like you just have to let, like, set Nolan free, where if you try to confine him too much with, with the, the original type of, like, surfing a heat, yeah, he, he, it can be a little bit tight. So you got to let the, let the man, let the butterfly fly. Yeah, so this is Jet. This was this was the best wave of the heat, 6.83, until Nolan got his last 7.27. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break, hand it over to Chad Weld. <laughs> yeah, Chad, back it, in the booth. Freddie's been ejected. <laughs> We hit the eject button for Brett. Yeah. He's frothing so, so hard. <laughs> sorry, everybody. You're going to have to endure me for a little bit longer. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. We're back. Wow, what a heat. Raposa, Schilling, Mel, and Weiler. I mean, three of these guys are Matt Meyer's mentorship guys. I know. he's His odds are up. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, uh, even if, uh, you know, whoever doesn't make it, the good thing is he's still getting paid. <laughs> True. All right. 240 remaining, and it is Nolan, one of my Seal Beach board riders. Looking like he's got a commanding lead, 727583. Happy days for Nolan. He is looking sparky. I like it. Yeah, his waves are... He's adding that little bit of pizzazz and that flair that I think are it's giving him space between these other scores. Jet, his 683 was really nice as well. So uh, we have a shot of the Jack shop here on Main Street in Huntington. If you guys live in SoCal, be sure to drop by. They have the Walk of Fame there uh, every year during the Open. They put a star for multiple individuals that have been um, impactful in surfing. So, um, yeah, Jax has been here since 1957. They have quite a few shops here in Southern California. You got a star yet? I do. What? I was Woman of the Year in 2019. Radical. I know. I'm very grateful. So, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you could step on the plate. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that's my star. <laughs> yeah. Down there with some tooth, the Just brush. buff it out a little bit. Courtney, what are you the... doing? I'm buffing out and buff... giving my star Polishing a polish. Star. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, Jax has always been there, you know, one of the core surf shops for a long time. And they have a lot of brands down here, a part of this event. A lot of booths if you're here in Southern California today and you're in a stone throw, definitely come on down. We still have quite a bit of action here. We will be running until around 4.30, and uh, there's 60 brands that have booths and uh, games, giveaways, discounts. Hey. With lots that, of swag. With that being said, just to name a few, O'Neill, Rourke, Melon, Stance, Rusty, Olakai. Rhythm, sun bum, slow tide, rain. Ava. I call it Ava. 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 Dragon, Billabong, Loose, Ruka, Captain, Finn, Volcom, Vans, Fuwax, Dekine, Caton, Salty Crew, FCS, Hayden, Loss, Cobian, Pizel, Excel, Hurley, Almeric, Monera, Costa, Reef, Carp, Skateboards, Catch, Surf, Firewire, Rip, Curl, Sharp, by Future Fins, Quicksilver, thanks for coming. That is your vendor village out the front. The heat has expired. I'm still rambling. Raposa <laughs> with the win. Johnny, no, Jet, Jet Schilling. Schilling was second. Yeah, and so there it goes. Unofficially. Yeah, John Mel and Luke will be going home today. Their end or their run has ended. And uh, don't go anywhere. We'll bring you more live action after this commercial break.
Wow, Owen getting this heat started. Scores are dropping in right now. Start of this heat under three minutes. He has started with a bang. And Alex just with a minor score of a 2.5. So we'll wait to see what these last two judges drop in this score for blue, Owen, as. But uh, it's looking pretty. Wow. Luca on a heater. Yeah. Getting after it. These guys are bringing in the spice. So uh, everyone out there in Webland, just Here's to, a replay. to uh, be clear, we've got Owen Moss right there on the screen on the replay in blue. Eight point ride. Hammered it. This kid's on the Challenger Series. Um, Alex Lima in white, Luca Messinas in red, Kevin Schultz, former event winner here in green. So this is going to be a battle. And Kevin's a firefighter, right? He is a firefighter. So... It's nice to have him out here. He rips in his free surfs always. And, uh, he got the wild card. A joy to be around, yeah. About the wild card. Looking forward to seeing how he does in this heat. This heat is heating up fast. Owen with his eight-point ride. Lucas, Luca, we'll see uh, what this score comes in as. And Boom. green right here. Schultzy. Hammering it, Schultz. Ooh, bonus snap off the foam He's right like, there. I'm not done yet. You know, I mean, bringing the fire hose. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, the beauty in this round is you really see people's competitive savvy and just the urgency <clears throat> and intent in which they're attacking their waves. Whoa, that was Moss coming unstuck. I mean, he's a grommet. He's a, he just took a double win at the Ron John. He took the junior and the men's. Wow. Double victories. So did Bella Kenworthy in the same event. So they're coming in on a high right now. And uh, we see Kevin Schultz looking at this wave. He has some urgency about him right now. You could see it in his paddles, carving, getting things going. Such a quick surfer off the rail. We're going back again. Looking well, solid on this ride. Yeah, one of the Slater designs, boys. And uh, just ripping on this sled. And the, you know what, Courtney? They haven't scored that first one. That was his second. Also, Luca Messinas's wave, he's got one coming in they have not scored. Yeah, they all have some rides oh, going Luke's through. Oh, Luca's got another one. So yeah. uh, the judges got a lot of typing to do. A lot of replays, so it might take a while to see these scores start trickling in. Oh, yeah. White right here, hammering that air reverse to a little foam climb. Score, color, enter. Score, color, enter. Or is it color, <laughs> color, score, enter? I can't remember. Bad joke, kid. Huh? Someone call the fire department. Uh, <laughs> this heat's on a heater. <laughs> uh, we're getting corny in here. Take it easy, ladies. I just had to. Uh, Schultz being in the fire department. Uh, it was just so funny. The door was open. Courtney put her foot in it. I there had we go. to. She had to. Uh, I can't not. Uh, we just went into corny. Wow. Time. That's all right. We're <laughs> corny. We're, we're, we're corny all day long. But, wow, these scores are dropping in. Lucas. Has a, a 5.83 and a 4.17. Luca, sorry. Luca has a 5.83, 4.17. Owen with his 8-point ride and a 3.17. And Schultz with a 6.83. Okay, so 6.83 for his opener. I wonder what they're going to chuck him on that second score. I don't know if it was as good. Uh, be a good backup, but I mean, Owen Moss right out of the gates with the 8. I mean, he uh, went to town. The judges did not hesitate throwing him the excellent score on that one. Yeah, this heat is going to be pretty close for that second place. 
There's a little space with Owen, but he needs to improve that backup. All right, let's kick it down to Nolan Raposa, the winner of that last heat. Nolan, you're on a heater. You there? I'm here, yeah, Chad. So what? That thing's magic, huh? Talk to me. Well, this one's a different one, Chad. I know, Most I know. I, I saw. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this is actually the one that I've been psyching on the ride for this contest. Yesterday, that's why I got a little confused on like, what, what I should ride because it was bigger. But uh, today, I was like, oh, pulling out the Magi uh, front pad, which I usually like out here. I mentioned yesterday, yeah. this one's full epoxy, blank, and glass. So I'm um, really lightweight and really fast and um, ready to rip. Yeah, we're watching a replay of you right now of you just lacerating this left. And uh, I want to say, did you just like sign a new sponsorship deal right there on the sand with 805 Beer? <laughs> I did, yes. Beer for, for life now. All right, <laughs> sick. I'm going to be at your house about 5 o'clock every day. I got you, bro. <laughs> the new cervezas. <laughs> Let's go. I'm all about the limers. Yeah, they're Salt good. Lime. Uh, so that's insane. The, the froth sled. What fins are you running? I'm running the um, AM, the AM2s, the large, the large CI ones. Large? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess for all that power in those hoofs, yeah? Yeah. So you're done for the day. What's on tap uh, for the rest of the afternoon? I'm actually not done. Oh, wait, are we another do round. Are we round doing quarters? 16. We are doing 16. Yeah, round of 16. Round of 16 don't, after Don't this. get me in my oh. mind going like that, Wellsy, bro. Holy I'm, smokes. Okay, <laughs> like, I'm well. off? What? Uh, oh, I still got a job. No, you, you know still what? have some work I'm ready to go get some, some cervezas up at the 805 town. I'm man. not doing my... After your round of 16 when you get the W, how's that? My, <laughs> uh, I think my apologies. I was... I failed... solid. Failed to do the clerical work and look at the schedule that epoxy though looks really sparky out there it was fun to watch you on those lefts thanks courtney do you ever ride epoxies out here at hb i do usually not as much when it's windy but today the conditions look like pretty doable for the epoxy it just allows you to have that little flare out of the lip huh for sure yeah no i like that extra speed i get so definitely stoked. definitely well stoked to see you in this next round we get to watch you again today so, uh, yeah, get some rest and cervezas later. Yeah, thank <laughs> you, Courtney. And, uh, All right, see ya. Deluxe Bucks, well deluxe done. Deluxe Bucks. Thank you. All right, there you go. Winner of heat number two, round of 32, Nolan Raposa. Marching on into the round of 16, which to my new news to me, we're doing the round of 16 today. <laughs> Chad's like, these days are oh, a little man. long. <laughs> it is just a blur of babbling and... Uh, Action. Actually, you know, it is really nice today. I was just on the sand. The beach is pumping, by the way. It's warm, too. Out. Get down here. It's warm. Thank goodness. And <laughs> Meanwhile, we're still yeah, in puffers in the shade. Still in puffers <laughs> in, the, in the cave down here. But uh, the wind hasn't gone bananas, so it's still super clean and contestable. Scores reflecting that. The boys are ripping. Um, so Schultz is back up. Four, eight, seven. Took him to the lead. Moss now in second, trying to replace the three. Once he does that, certainly it'll change uh, the situation, get him back up into the lead. Messinas now third place, looking for the 5-3-5. Five, five. And Lima down in fourth, hunting a 6-1-8. You see Cole there getting ready for his heat coming up. Yep, Johnny... Uh, John Daniels, super coach from and Oceanside. Lucas and Nat. That's going to be a really good heat in Manuel. Yeah. It's going to be a stacked heat. Looking forward to seeing this action, too. Yeah, all these heats are just bangers. It's a full barn burner fest here in the round of 32. Um, coming up after that, let's see. Manuel Selman, Cole McCaffrey, whom you saw. Lucas Osten, Nat Young. Heat 5, Kolohe and Dino. Blair Barton, Blair coming off the win in the junior in Barbados, uh, William Heddleston and Corey Arambidi. I mean, these could be finals in their own uh, events. Yeah, like easily every heat out of these uh, this round could be a final. Definitely. Yeah, Kolohe had a great performance yesterday with that right hander where he hucked the air, super inverted, came out clean. He was mentioning he didn't anticipate doing that air but the way presented itself and then with the wind the way the direction was at that moment throughout the day we had like three wind shifts where it went from offshore northeast to south and then went to northwest 
So he happened to be during that south heat and yeah. hucked the air, came out clean, 933, I believe, or around that. Just unbelievable. Did a unbelievable. check turn and just launched. And the photo, the still photo of how uh, tail high and above the lip he is. He's, and mind you, it was a good size set wave. He's so gifted at those. Yeah, incredible. Um, he, and he is the front runner for our U.S. Air Force air show presented by Fuwax, along with uh, Luke Weiler, uh, Davi Toledo, and Dwight Pastrana are also in the running. And I, if, mis- if I'm not mistaken, I heard Talia Swindoll is also in the mix. Nice. So there you go. Happy days. 12.20 remaining. We are live here on the south side of Huntington Beach Pier. Sandbars have been insane on this side of the pier, I must admit. And uh, yesterday, I mean, we had some pretty unruly wind swell. Didn't really gutter things out too badly. And it's still good contestable shape today. We see the tide fall out to negative 0.6 at, what, 230 so it's going to fall out all afternoon. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we're doing it. And tomorrow is finals day. It is. Tomorrow we will start off everyone at the quarters. So I think we'll be finishing up around 3, 3.30, depending on how the heats lie out and uh, the final amount of time. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great day tomorrow, but today we are blessed here with the sunshine and SoCal. It's starting to feel a little more like spring now. Yeah, today. I thought I saw the high was like 65. 65, water 56 or 57 still. It's but pretty, I'll tell pretty you, cold with that northwest yesterday. It feels like 70 out there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, So, yeah, if you are around the SoCal area, we still have quite a few more hours of action. So be sure to come on down, check out the boost, check out the action, cheer on your favorite surfer. They love getting the hoots and the hollers off the pier and on the sand. And, uh, yeah, if you have little ones, come down, check the action, let them get inspired. Yeah, I need some inspiration. I got a brand new sled that Tim made me. (laughs) <laughs> um, what size did you get? It's a six. So it was funny. We were having a beer and uh, at the pop shop, and we were just kind of talking. He's like, really? "Man, I got a, I've got to carve a hand shape for a video project for someone." He's like, "I don't even know what I'm gonna make." And I like look at him. I'm all, "What do you mean? You're gonna make me a new six O?" And he's like, <laughs> "I am." I'm like, hand yeah. shape. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's, uh, did he cut the outline? Yeah, no, he did the whole thing. Length? Oh, wow. Start to finish. So I was like, Lucky. Yeah, and he's like, Okay, what do we make? And I'm all go 6 0, 20, 3 and a half. Just pull, make it a just a plug, but don't go too nuts in the tail rocker and uh, make it a round tail. So then uh, when I got it, it was a square tail. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, And he might have thrown in a half liter extra foam. But uh, it looks like it's just going to be super fun. So I'm just ready to uh, ready to rep. It's always nice to have those magic boards under your feet. And it looks like Owen has one for himself right now. Oh, no. He was saying this board's like the 10 grand board. He's won everything on this thing. That's awesome. You could definitely tell he looks super confident on it. Not overthinking. Timing sections really well. Here he has an 8. He'll be replacing that 317. He only needs a 3.7 to take the lead. And look at that. 5.3. He turned the heat. Kevin's now in second, needing a 648 to take the lead. Have you ever had a magic board that lost its pop? Oh, yeah. And it's like the realization. I read it literally to like death. <laughs> the realization that it's lost its pop. You're like, no. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Luca hammer i had some boards where it was like i wanted to surf on them so bad in the free surf but i wanted to save them for the heats to maintain their pop so i'd put them on ice and just pull them out for the heats right might have a warm-up but yeah i had the habanero model i do Um, that with the whiskey at home i keep that on ice (laughs) <laughs> whiskey wellsy <laughs> but yeah so i ended up putting the habanero the one that i won the open on i put that one on ice for 
the in-between events, and then would just pull it out when I would need it. Nothing like a magic board, I tell you. Yeah, it's so challenging to not surf them in the free surf, though. <laughs> All right, Luca, quick oh. jam, quick lipper, big nice. jam, and a strong finish. Uh, well, I don't know if they've scored it because there's a point two three and That's scores. That's pretty tough. What Lucas is doing right there, skipping rope on the sand. Not an easy task. The worst part, I trip out that guys do that because when that thing hits your toe, if it hits your toe, it hurts so bad. <laughs> Especially those wire ones, the really oh, yeah. thin, fast with the ball, uh, the ball bearings. Ooh, Lima. Lima just cracking it off the top here, carving it back. Had a good snap out of the gates and a wrap. I mean, it's going to help his cause. He's sitting on a low of a 4-2. I think it'll be a little bit better than that at that the very the least. That was the 4-2. Was that the 4-2? Yep. Okay, so uh, Luca's Wave, 7-3-3. Owen Moss just uh, going from strength to strength. Opened up with the 8, backed it up with a 5-3. He is in the lead. Luca chasing a 5-9-8. It's all right there on your board. Our uh, past event champion, Mr. Kevin Schultz. Looking for a 634, sitting with priority. So, for all of you that don't know what that means, he's got the uh, unimpeded right away of the entire lineup. He can take any wave he wants. You can't even look at it. <laughs> yeah. Just don't even look. Don't even look. Don't even paddle. Do not cross my line, or else you shall be interference. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, snap off the top to get things going. Just a throwaway for him. I <laughs> just. Hey, Taking Luke, a little peek. Yeah, Luca's coming off a big win at the 5,000 in Barbados. He's on the Challenger. He's had some major success in uh, some of those Olympic qualifiers. And I'm yeah. pretty, I'm almost positive he's uh, locked in. He's a lock for the Olympics in Tahiti. Nice. Yeah, yeah I mean, I could be spitting out mistruths, so don't quote me, but uh, pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> Just, yeah, you know, some embellishments, no problem. <laughs> yeah, so Schultz with priority. He is now sitting in third. Not a massive task, 5.30 on the clock, plenty of time. Yeah, there is definitely enough time for both Lima and Schultz to turn this heat around. Uh, and it just comes down to opportunity. Yeah, it's a higher task for Lima. He needs an 8.16, so he's going to be looking for something that's even better than Owen's ride. So um, he definitely has a harder task at hand, but it is possible on a day like today. Maybe he'll go above the lip. And uh, Schultz right here. Ooh, punches the, fin the tail. Coming unglued. Oh, well, he's uh, well-equipped and well-versed in the air, so. That he is. You uh, always see him at lowers doing those. Yeah, definite danger man given the ramp. So look for fireworks from Kevin Schultz just uh, if he finds the one. And, I mean, 6-3-4, not a lot. Oh, wow. And Lima, 8-1-6. I mean, that's a much taller order for Alex. Um, but not impossible. I mean, he's also super capable. As, uh, as you would think, finding yourself here in the round of 32 on our uh, fine Saturday, you uh, definitely are no competitive slouch if you're in this round. Definitely not. You know, every heat stacked. All these guys, they have the potential to win these heats. It's whoever puts themselves on the best waves and makes it happen in these 25 minutes. Yeah, tide, though, is a factor. It um, is. Fear might not be a factor, but the tide is definitely a factor. Going out until 2.30, zero, negative 0 0.6. I mean, that's low. It's going to be uh, towards the end of the pier today at some stage. Whoa, Lima, full head of steam. Glides up and over. Bottom turns, clicks it. Ooh, didn't get the release on that one. He's out of there. He just, you know what? It didn't give it to him. He's just got to go sniff out another one yeah for sure it looked like he was definitely on the prowl there a little heavy on the front foot just attacking towards those sections uh, got caught a couple times off the bottom so he'll be out the back looking for that 8.16 well he's a veteran so he knew 
you know, you've got to be going fast. You've got to do something big. Yeah, you have to go big. You're not going to safe surf your way to an eight. Luca Messinas, well, I'll tell you one thing you don't want to give this kid. It's a left. <laughs> <laughs> Hailing yep. from Peru, the, he's got a lethal backhand. Whoa, food guys. Special delivery. And Pete, we got, oh, my gosh. We got, we got Pete, Pete Mel, Mel, too. Uh, Pete, are you serving the food for us? Uh, he's just unplugging things. Are you charging stuff? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm grabbing some tacos. What do we got? Tacos. <laughs> oh, hey, tacos. Big surprise. Big surprise. Brought us some lunch. I could smell his tacos. You're out right on. there. Safe drive, Pete. <laughs> Good seeing you. Always a pleasure. Former Big Wave World Tour champion. Yep. Charges, commentates. Wave of the Millennium. Yeah, gosh, I would love a wave like that one he had at Mavs. That thing was mental. I, you know, when... when would you paddle into that? We'll see. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, from here I would. <laughs> right here you'd mind surf it? No, I swear. I, I mean, I've talked with Pete about it. But um, when you watch that wave, like he chips in behind the bowl. And then as he comes into it and goes to the bottom, there's that little reef lip ledge yeah. where his board kind of... <laughs> Kind of incrementally drops from under his feet uh -huh. and it's like that was such the critical moment on that thing like making it over that step for sure and then he just parks it <laughs> and i mean his view he probably couldn't even see any lip it was that big <laughs> yeah yeah your peripherals <laughs> came and capture it because but yeah the lips so every, every time i come across that one on the gram i watch it over and over i'm like it's just unbelievable it's amazing that he was able to find a way of like that there well, in his it's a wave words, of a lifetime. Yeah, in his words, he's like, I, he's he's seen that wave, he's envisioned that wave, and it actually like popped up, and he was like, this is it, you know. And then to have your kid in the channel just watching it, like that's even yeah. better. So incredible, so special. So one minute remaining, Moss. Wow, it's a tightened up ball game up there in the Ooh. top two, thirteen point three zero versus uh, Messina's thirteen one six. Schultz chasing 6-3-4. Lima, big, uh, bigger ask, 8.76 to get out of fourth in 40 seconds. Well, it's uh, do or die. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Are we at noon yet? Yeah, 12.43. All right. Yeah. We're, uh, we've, uh, we've passed the lunch hour. And uh, for all of you people out there, come oh. down, watch some great surfing. And in a little shore. protection happening with Luca on that wave. A little uh, tactics. A little jockeying with Schultz. So I'm sure he's like one less opportunity. He knows Schultz hasn't that score in the wheelhouse. You know, Schultz already has uh, six eight three. So if he matches that, he would turn the heat. Heat's over though. There you go, unofficially, Moss and Messinas moving through into the round of 16. Schultz and Lima in third and fourth. We are losing 16 surfers today, and they are part of uh, that 16. Don't go anywhere. We'll, we'll be right, right back, back with more action after this. You.
Introducing Do your thing. Welcome back. We are here in the round of 32. This is Heat 4 in the water, and I can tell you there's something going down because I could hear Brett Simpson on our commercial break calling it. So somebody did something, and we will wait to see what scores fall into the score line. 25-minute heats, and it is Manuel Selman, Cole McCaffrey right here on your screen, Lucas Osten, and Nat Young. Nat, a former event winner here. Actually, uh, I do believe... Um, was it the last one we ran? Natty won? Maybe. I'm not sure. But... Maybe I'm tripping. I'd have to look at our past champions list. But, yeah, Nat is a former event winner, though, here. And, um, yeah. Cole, six, six points. points. Yeah, you could see Lucas out the back. He was watching Cole riding that wave. Fellow teammate last year at the ISA Juniors in Brazil. Ooh. And you see Manuel just tagging that section, just working his way through the inside right now. Well, you've and got the, out. yeah, you've got the two grommets and Cole and Lucas taking on the journeyman. Uh, you know, Nat Young, former event winner, former world tour surfer. He's an absolute hammer. Like, and Manuel Selman, these guys are vets. They are veterans and tons of experience out here at Huntington as well. Nat definitely knows how to win and looking forward to seeing him get some scores on the board and see some more action. That last heat was definitely a heater. Great surfing and uh, looks like someone's looking for a situation. Yeah, good totals. I mean, uh, you know, 13 point totals uh, came through that heat with um, Messinas and Moss. So, I mean, that's, uh, you know, they're, they're still out there. They are still out there. Coming up next, I mean, who, uh, who do we got? I think it's Kolohe, Blair, William, Corey. So, yeah, we have four more heats after this one in the round of 32 and then into the round of 16. Bang, Osten. Osten, just a quick ride for him. He'll definitely want a little bit more than that. So Manuel's wave, three points. Cole, that opener, six points. Um, quick one for Lucas. And Nat Young now with priority, just waiting patiently. Yeah, and Lucas, just a small score, two-point ride. He'll want to throw that one totally out of the scorecard. Yeah, that is not uh, something you want to be hanging on to in your score line. No. Definitely not. We see a couple little waves trying to inch its way over to the pier bowl. This drone shot's really nice. You kind of get to see the way the bank is working. Yeah, it definitely gives you a lay of the land Yeah. here on I south side. I love those side. Pull, pull out shots where you could kind of see the scene that the athletes are working with right now, their playing field. All right, so Nat putting one into the score line. Let's see where the judges take this. Pretty early days here. 25-minute heats. We're down to under 20. The grommet, click, bang. McCaffrey is part of that Encinitas mm -hmm. crew with his sister, Nick Marshall, and uh, Caleb Crozier, who came out here and just dominated <laughs> the Battle of the Board Riders on Wednesday. Love that. So yeah. they're feeling in form. Oh, oh this so. wave of Nat. First turn was great. Classic Nat surfing. It's clean on the backhand. Just sharp. So sharp. I think the judges are going to like that one. I yeah, mean, they're... right now, best wave of the heat so far, in my opinion. But um, I don't really remember what Cole did on his six. He hammered it that pretty is... well. It's a 4.9 for Nat, so just oh, really? a bit under Cole's score. Uh it looks like Nat's kind of in his little zone by Machado's Peak. 
Almost. Just trying to find those sneaky rights. Alright, we saw a couple heats ago. Uh, Sam utilized to turn the heat over and get that 683. So, it'll be nice to see Nat over here have his own zone. Right, okay, here we go. We have a paddle. This looks like Ostin on the backhand. Oh. And another. And another. Such a powerful surfer, you know. Uh, finding himself on the better waves will definitely help him unlock a better performance. Sure, sure. So uh, let's throw it down. Mr. Owen Moss, are you there with us? Yeah, right here. Hey, what a... Uh, a great heat. I mean, you drop the eight. Does that just kind of take the pressure off a little bit out of the gates? Um, yeah, a little bit, but I mean, not too much because uh, all those guys in the heat were were pretty gnarly. So I knew they could get two sixes, two sevens, pretty easy. And uh, yeah, I was just kind of focused on backing it up and uh, kind of got a little rushed for a little bit, but uh, got it together at the end. I got a five and. Yeah, pretty stoked. Well, you're looking very at home here in Huntington. Do you have a lot of experience out here on Southside? Yeah, for sure. No, I did all the NSSA stuff growing up and uh, surfed a lot of heats out here, and it feels good to finally get some rhythm going here. I, like I said yesterday, I hadn't ever made a heat here, so it feels, feels pretty good. <laughs> so is that the same magic as, as uh, the other day? No, nah, no, nah, I switched boards just a little uh, inch shorter, basically the same, just a little wider, a little more grovelly. Um, yeah, it feels super fast. feels good. So what do we got here? Xanadu? Yeah, Xanadu SW21. So the board I was on yesterday was an X21, better for good waves, and then this one stepped down a little bit. Gotcha. Let me ask you a tough question. I don't yeah. see a lot of stickers on your surfboard. Yeah. You've made the Challenger Series. What is the plan to... Uh to accommodate this uh, pretty heavy travel schedule? Um, yeah, so just I've got a couple of things kind of trying to work on, and um, yeah, just kind of it's all self-funded, and then I have some people supporting me and helping me out at home, and um, yeah, just hopefully get a sticker on the nose of the board though soon. Yeah, well, anybody out there that works for a brand, you heard it. This kid is an absolute hammer. Let's get him sponsored. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah, let's you. Let's support this journey. Good yeah. luck on the Challenger, right. too, but yeah, you still sure. have a heat today. So. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, hey. reset, get back. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. great surfing. You are the recipient of some Layrite Deluxe Bucks. And before awesome, we yeah. sign off, let you recharge. Any shout-outs? Uh, yeah, yeah, just shout-out all my friends and family. Same same thing. And, uh, yeah, thanks for supporting uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Right on, Owen. We'll right. see you later. See and it. there you go, people. The winner of heat number three, round Thank of you. 32. He you. has no sponsor, no major sponsor. That is Owen Moss. And if you need the Rolodex or the resume, well, he won back-to-back -back events, uh, the junior and the pro at uh, Cocoa Beach. So there you go. Bang, bang. Let's go. Yep. Let's, let's get <laughs> this kid sure. some support tough out there you know oh it's uh it's not uh, i think it's the hardest it's, i think it's the hardest it's ever been yeah oh lucas just hammer after hammer we see cole just so smooth on his forehand linking these turns carving it's crazy he's got like a little blend of yeomans and machado Ooh. and like some crazy lostness whip in the backhand. Yeah. Just the spice doctor. <laughs> yeah, so so smooth out of those turns. So, and uh, Cole, 6-7-3. I bet Owen's stoked. A little bit of extra cash helps. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not the first seed he's won this event. Miller too, you know. Sure. Um, always nice to get the little extra bonus. Yeah, Cole McCaffrey, no stranger to Huntington. Is just coming out and doing a number on the boys. Six, seven, three, and Aww. a six. But look at this. This is experience right here. These two turns back to back just teed it off. That was perfect. Oh, Nat just looking to bookend a couple big hammers. And bang, there it is. He oh, knows he what he needs for a good above average score. And, uh, yeah, I think he's on his way to a nice score right there. It'll put him right in this heat. And it looks like Lucas on his last ride got a 5.7. So That helps the cause. It helps his cause for sure. I think Nat's going to be right on all these guys' heels after that ride. 
Look at this. That first turn, and then this turn, how he timed that section super well. Just spray for days. Big blast, big slash, came in and just solidified the score, hammered it shut with this little combo. So Nat Young, I mean, currently sitting in fourth, I'm going to say that is going to rocket him yep. up into the uh, lead. 7.5 for Nat Young's last ride. Okay, I, I was a bit short. Second. <laughs> <laughs> so he landed short. 7.5 for Nat. Puts him into second. If he wants the lead, he needs a 5.23. But, you know, he has the highest score of this heat now, and... That always makes things a little bit nicer, knowing that you have the highest score, because then you improve that backup, you're going to put yourself in a nice spot. Well, it's the confidence too, right? Yeah, he looks the, so solid. Yeah, and just the and then being on the other side of it, having being a, a competitor, you're hearing your your fellow competitor get the score yeah and you, you could know? see cole to the bottom right of your screen he's moving down a little bit yeah with third priority i'd be like a mile away from those guys <laughs> give yourself some space so you can work on your bottom score you know yeah i mean cole sitting on a pair of sixes uh he's done a great job six seven three and a six point zero pretty quick too you know and that's a shot of the beach setup right here. I mean, that is uh, the the bird's eye view of our half of our venue towards the pier, and you can see all of these A plus brands down on the sand, ready to embrace you and give you stuff. Just come entertain them and their fun games, and you may be rewarded with some awesome gear. Yep, and we see Manuel on this. Oh, this is what Manuel needed. Sitting on a pair of threes. He just... Oh. Uh, it's always nice to finish any wave clean. You know, he did some work out the back here. I like how he comes from behind the section, snaps into the lip, brings it all the way back. Like, these turns are great turns. But the wave is a little on the small side, a little on the soft side. So I'm sure he's going to want a little bit more than that. It'll definitely replace that three. Ooh, hammer time. Possibly the three, five, seven, you know. But Osten. Osten. Looking dynamic, keeping the speed, connecting through. Caught a little bit there. Okay, knocks that one down with the closeout. Bash, he is trying to replace the 3-4-3, three, three, needs a 6-7-1. Is it going to be the near 7-point ride? I don't know. But I think he needed it's to gonna put help. himself on a better way. Yeah, it's going to help the cause, right? Yeah. It'll, it'll decrease the deficit. I really like the way he carried speed nailed the first That was time. a really nice first turn. A little white wire foam climb. A lot of dead section in through here so but he kept the rail moving caught a little edge there and then bangs it shut nice so. finish curious to see where this goes you know there's that gap but he finished it solid started pretty well and so it's going to be better than the 343 is it for gonna, sure it will it eclipse the 57 hard to say How's the weird color change of the water right there by the buoy? Yeah, all the rib pulling out with the tide dropping, turning out the sand. Yeah, you could see the clear water just past the pier. You know, Brett and I were talking about this zone that after it uh, kind of stopped being plump um, is going to be an option because it has that depth mm -hmm. and comes kind of off Ooh. the off the rip and, and over the Not young. deeper part of the bank. But in it, and out but it doesn't like have that low tide like flat kind of yep. keeps the transition going yep so manuel's wave five four that helped his cause i think a little bit and six then, for lucas so he did so that gap section they didn't mind it you know so. that's his best well he nailed the first turn he was really quick and hit that second one which was key yeah for that score but so dicey 
because as he came out of it, that wave flattened out, and then he stomped Completely. through, yeah. got the finish. But yeah. uh, Lucas Osa navigated that wave really well. He now needs a 6-4. Manuel in fourth needs a 7-0-1. And Nat oh, Young. Oh, Nat Teen, it's so solid on that first turn. A little bit of a dead section through here. Boom. Hammer. Boom. He really finds those moments on the wave. He's just smooth, you know? Those transitions are solid. He finds the, the lip and just hammers it. Well, time tested and perfected on the... Exactly. You know, Fine-tuned. The reef and point breaks of Santa Cruz. Yeah. Like, that wave died out pretty solid through there. I mean, the fact he generated so much <laughs> speed right there was unbelievable. Good surfboard. Bang, again. So, okay, Nat, is he going to blow out the 4-9 with that one? I'd say so, judging by how Lucas's score came in. I think the 4-9 might be, you know... On, but so is it gonna be well, ooh Manuel? I mean, is it gonna scrape the seven five? Judges got their work cut out mm -hmm. for them. That's all I know. Yeah, they do. So I'll leave it to them. But we're catching this action from Manuel. Nice left. We'll see what this one comes in as. Manuel down on the bottom in the four spot, looking for a seven oh one. We are down to just over seven minutes. The Gromit, McCaffrey, sitting in the driver's seat. Okay, Nat Young, this score is uh, could shuffle things up. Yeah, Nat's going to... Scores are looking great for Nat here. They're loving his timing and how he really explodes through the top of these sections. Yeah, I mean the show... Just how sharp he is. The show of uh, power... Can't be denied. Yeah, he's just snipering these turns. You know, he's like, this is the spot, bam. Okay, waiting on this last. Scores uh, spanning from a 6-9 all the way to a 7-5. <laughs> Not the two points. 7-3-3. Doesn't eclipse the 7-5, but definitely is a nice uh, pairing. Yeah. The 7-5, so that's 7-3-3. Puts Nat up in the lead. Look at there's your fat bank over there. <laughs> yeah. All by itself. Look at that da, left. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I just wonder what's uh what's over there. Remember Max Beach dug one out over there the other day. He did. Curious. I mean we don't have we only can see what's on the screen. Just like you guys at home, so we're looking at this peer view as you do. Um it looks like Cole's moving over to where the other guys are. Now, he's not to the south end of the beach, and uh, Manuel's kind of off camera. Might be towards Machado's Peak right now. Nat's feeling pretty comfortable with those pairs of sevens. Oh, there he is. Manuel's actually kind of around that pier bowl zone. Might be looking for that left that goes into the right from the pier. Well, oh, somebody took my paperwork, <laughs> and I'm not happy about Look at it. That left. Well, that's how we fluff the feathers here at the Jacks Pro, is with our literature, so we <laughs> get things accurate. Now I'm gonna have to run off of memory, which is a dicey move for me. But if you have not made your way down here, and it's in the cards for tomorrow. You are going to be blessed with the finals day. You are going to also be blessed with a massive carnival-esque uh, setup with also all your needs here. There's uh, food. There's tacos, taco surf. There's acai. There is um, the 805 VIP. There's beer. Um, I mean, it is. there's everything you need, and there's free sunscreen at Sunbum. Come down, play some carnival games. There's every amazing brand down here from wetsuits, surfboards, accessories, eyewear. It's all happening. Ship footwear. Come on down and get amongst it. Get your kids. Get some autographs from some pro surfers. You know, shake hands, kiss babies. Take that free swag. It's on offer.
So, uh, yeah, please come on down. Massive props to uh, the boys at Jack's, Ron, Bobby, and Jamal, and the whole crew. They've upped the ante here. It's a 3000 for the men's and women's. Also massive props to Automotive Excellence and Laywright Deluxe, supporting the heat winner prize pool, and also Automotive Excellence with the hand-cooked tires for the highest combined total. Wow. Free set of tires. Kidding Free me? Free tires? That's insane. Jeezo. We see some dog fighting happening between... Uh, Is there Cole some cat and mouse? And, yeah, with Cole and Lucas right now. It's neck and neck. Le- leaving him all alone. 733, tall order, but not out of reach for Manuel Selman. Definitely not. Um, this wave, conceivably, trying to replace, you know... The five to try to maybe lighten the load here, but time, again, is winding down. It's the battle for second. Nice snap at the start. Really Ooh. carve this. I have a feeling that 5-4 might be replaced, at least as the highest score, you know. He didn't get the finish, though. I'm sure he would have loved a little bit more there. Yeah, just the That's bookend slam, right? Yeah. Always. 5-3-3. You know, so just under the 5-4, it does and that doesn't, doesn't help do the cause. much for the cause, but ooh. All right, here we go. 140, it's the pointy end, and it could be Cat and Mouse with Ostin and McCaffrey. McCaffrey's just going to pull the trigger. Yeah, I mean, Lucas kept him honest, right? Like, all right, I got him out of the way. I got 90 seconds to try to make it happen. That was a good call, though, uh, Cole. That wave looked like it had some score. Lucas isn't looking for a massive score. He only needs a 6-7-3. So I definitely saw two big turns if timed well where Lucas was positioned. Could have been definitely a threat for Cole. So you have to make those decisions. Not always an easy one, but he backed himself, and now... Lucas only has a minute to make something happen here, so he is holding first priority. Yeah, he I mean, does it, like a battle. If I was Cole, I'd just go sit there and just be a pest. <laughs> well, yeah, you still put your energy in his zone. Just don't give him freedom completely because it's still you could play with what's between the ears. Exactly. Yeah, you put just, yourself where you're like right in his field of view. Just be a pest. Yeah. Hassle him. Don't cross his line, but just get in his head. Look at that over there. The plump bull. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney's plump bull. <laughs> All right. Down to 20. This just might be it. Uh, mm. This goose could be cooked. Is this Selman up and riding? He sees a little something out the back. Lucas. Up and out. Lucas had his eye. We'll see if he stands up before the buzzer. Cole's up and riding. A little snap here. Foam climb. All right. For the air rebound. Bang! Ah, oh, a little front heavy coming, turning, finishing that reverse out. Nice pop, though, for that little section. All right. Well, don't go anywhere. We're going to put a fork in this heat, and we will be back with more live action after this commercial break. Welcome to Huntington Beach, California. I'm Kelly Miller, President and CEO of Visit Huntington Beach. Known as Surf City USA, Huntington Beach boasts 10 miles of coastline and the most consistent waves on the West Coast. Huntington Beach has it all with endless summer weather, year-round events, outdoor activities, and oceanfront resorts and spas. So get ready to be inspired, be connected, and be here. Huntington Beach, 
Plan your visit at surfcityusa.com. And we are back here in Heat 5 of the round of 32. In red, we have Chloe and Dino, Blair Barton in blue, William Hendelson in white, and Corey Arambini in green. We've already had a couple scores drop in. Blair dropped a 3.5 during the commercial. And uh, we see red dropping a low score of like a 2. We'll see as the scores continue to drop in. Nice little backhand snap there from Blair. A little hammer didn't quite ride out. That's why that score was held back a little bit. And then Kolohe, oh, same kind of deal, just a little out of rhythm at the start there. But a little sharpen it up on this next exchange, I'm sure. And then we have Corey Arambini getting things going for himself in this heat. All right, Cord, I just, I'm just not going to let you ride solo the whole heat. <laughs> it's all good. I know we were, like, trying to swallow these tacos. <laughs> Flying solo, just speed-loading taco surf. Yeah. It's all happening. My goodness. All right, so Blair Barton in blue, Chloe Andino in red, Corey Arambidi in green, and William Heddleston in white. Scores coming through. Arambidi's opener, two. 0.87. Blair Barton, 3.5. Another small score coming in for him. Kolohe, 217. So uh, this heat is still very wide open. Nobody has cracked the egg of a good score. And we are running through, let's see, what do we got here? Three more heats. Um, Will Dean, Tyler Gunter, Al Cleland, Luke Ginaldo, heat six, heat seven. Parker Cohn, Wheeler Hasbro, Taj Lindblad, Ryland Rubens. Heat 8, the final heat here in the round of 32. Uh, Michael Dunphy, <laughs> Wesley Santos, Dylan Horde, Carlos Munoz. And then we will bang out four heats uh, of the round of 16. Then, so we shed 16 surfers in this round. The next round, we're going to shed eight surfers, and it will give us our eight quarter finalists. And from the quarters to the final, we go man on man, mano y mano, sister y sister, or whatever it is uh, for the ladies, um, hermana y hermana. So uh, person on person heats from the quarters on. First place here, uh, 3,000 points, 9,500 bones. Sec wow. Second place, 2,340 points and 4,700 bones. Not a bad payday for a few days of surfing. Definitely not. Definitely not. We only have one more day left of the event after this and uh, looking forward to seeing finals day tomorrow for sure. But we still have so much action. We do. We There's do. So it's. Uh, I mean, we've got about uh, six, six, seven heats left. Yeah, so in the Oceanside, my brother's actually just completed his uh, a half Ironman down there. So he so what is a half? What's a half Ironman? Uh, the total amount, I'm actually, if I'm totally not honest, not sure. He did his first full Ironman, which he did that in Sacramento recently, but so full run, swim, bike. run, swim, bike. Yeah. All right. Okay. So down here we have Nat Young, ready for his interview. 
Natty Young. Yeah, Nat. Yeah, guys. How hey, are you guys? Did you uh, switch up the board for today? Yeah, I did. I um, I, I came down this morning and I wrote a short board and it felt fine. But when I came back down for my heat, I noticed that the swell had kind of deteriorated a little bit and the conditions were a little, uh, it just looked a little softer. So I, I grabbed an epoxy. Right. That thing looks like it's got a motor on it. What uh, What's the model? Uh, it's a Fred Whip. It's kind of a model I've ridden since I was pretty young with CI that I'm familiar with. And uh, it's actually a board I kind of just usually ride this type of board at Huntington just because I always feel like I got seaweed stuck on my leash out there. So I need some epoxy, <laughs> something to... That shouldn't be a problem, Dan. Yeah. That's, that's more of a home problem than here, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Everyone from Santa Cruz is pretty lead-footed, so we got to do what we can. To... Yeah. You have some power waves up it's there. The old, it's the old <laughs> HB maple syrupitis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, luckily this board kind of gives me some some pop and some uh, it just gets me over the flat spots, so it felt good. Right on. Well, it looks great. It looks like an extension of, uh, of your body when you ride it. Um, congratulations. You're the recipient of some lay right bucks. We'll let you go recharge. You've got a little more work to do for the day. Um, right but, yeah, any shout-outs before we sign off? Oh, just what up to all my friends and my wife, Tia, and my daughter, Rocky, and uh, my sister, Rachel. I think they might be watching, so. Love you guys, and uh, see you tomorrow night. Awesome. Great job, Nat. Good job. So there you have it, people. Nat Young marching through his round of 32. Heat 4 finds himself in the quarterfinals later today. And Heddleston, bang, up and over, up into the lip. Ooh, can he ride out of it? Yes, he keeps the board going. This thing's gone super flat. This is a replay. I'm getting so excited on replays. (laughs) I'm all fired up. The coffee's worn off. Now we're just uh, tapping into the crazy gene. Loving Kolohe's suit. The neon green bringing him back. Don't be afraid of color. Nah, never. Oh, love it. All right. Kolohe locking one in. I mean, this is a gnarly heat. You got Blair coming off uh, the junior win in Barbados. He's also... uh, Perennial stalwart in any East Coast event. It's just a hammer. Yeah. But uh, hailing from the Virginia Beach area. Pedalston. How to surf small waves then? Yeah, I mean, you got William too, who's just a. He's also kind of in the same boat, but from Florida. Yep. Absolute East Coast hammer. And then Corey, the journeyman. And uh, Kolohe, just uh, elite, elite athlete by all accounts. Yeah. And a fresh 30-year-old and a father of two. Yep. Doing it all. In the nucleus of the 2% crew. I've always had the highest respect for Kolohe. You know, we kind of grew up together in the NSSA days and uh, competing against each other when we were mini Groms. And, yeah, it's amazing to see just how he's evolved as a man. And um, him and his family are so beautiful. And... Love seeing him still getting after it, surfing these heats, grinding his way back uh, towards the championship tour. Really stoked for him, and we'll see how the season goes. Right. What's Brett telling Lucas? More cowbell? <laughs> yeah, probably wave selection. You know, I feel like sometimes that's what holds Lucas's performance back is just being on the right waves. You know, he takes these losses pretty hard. Um, had the opportunity to coach him when we were in Brazil together for the ISA juniors. And that was just one of my observations was him as an athlete. He has all the tools to rip on these waves. He has the fire in the heart, you know, it's just giving himself those waves that unleash the opportunity to win. And he did it there at Morro Bay, which was really exciting right after ISAs. And he'll take some notes. He has a long season ahead. This is just, the Kickstarter, obviously a QS 3000, so he would have, I'm sure, loved to have done better here, but getting the rhythm going. Hey, for the most part, he's still really young and excelling at a high rate of speed. I think he's got a lot of gas in the tank. Oh, yeah. And you take these losses and learn from them. You know, and uh, he's got a big future ahead of him. So, I mean, you definitely take your notes on on what you could have done, you know, and obviously you leverage the the tutelage of of the Brett Simpsons and Ryan Simmons and and take that into account and try to just, uh, you know, 
not make the same mistakes. Yeah, I think the biggest thing when you have a loss like this, you take notes, you learn from the experience, you add that knowledge to your base of what you learn yeah. through one-on-one -on -one <laughs> hands-on heats, and uh, <laughs> then you move forward from that, you know, and that's all you can do. You don't want to look back at the past because that ends up, you end up wearing the biggest backpack that loads you heavy. I don't know who's in, who's out. Yeah, I think I'm... <laughs> Court, you're out? Yeah, I'm going to take right. a little break, eat some more tacos, yeah, the tacos serve, so... Speed load, get oh, it yeah. in yeah. Everyone knows I love a good taco. So, awesome. yeah. All right, I'm going to pass this off to Brett. Okay, Ooh, Heddleston. couple backhand turns, just keeping the board flowing. Um, I don't think that one's really going to be a keeper. Bretty, what were you telling Lucas? A little more cowbell? What was, uh, what was the jam? No, I just... I love how that kid surfs, and I could see how bum, you know, disappointed he is. I just said, look, there's a lot of losing in this game, and you don't want to ride the roller coaster too heavily. Sure. So focus on, hey, you're surfing good, you're putting good numbers up. He lost with almost 12 points, but it's like, hey, you you just have to keep knocking at the door, and those wins, and he, it'll turn around for him, you know, that consistency. And you know, he's young. He's 18, just yeah. like wants to win. He wants to prove himself. And it's, you know, it's just seeing him, I could tell he wants it, which which is a good thing. You know, and he's one of our hopefuls. It's all about there. the passion. Yeah. He's trying to control it, but you could tell he's just like wants to burst out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, at, at the end of the day, he's uh, he's progressed at such a high rate of speed. You know, well, we got the five wise men um, and women. Yeah, and he, I'm, I was just saying, like, he's got a long road ahead of him. And just, you know, you take take these and losses. And, and that's what I told him. I said, look, this this is a long haul. Totally. You, if you think one event's going to – one event could change your life, but it's going to be such a long process. Don't – I said, take whatever you had from this event and you move on to the next one. You know, and that's all you can do. And he's a he's a stout competitor. It wasn't like – People had to beat him in that heat, you know, Natty, and he had some top, you know, Cole surfed a really good heat, and that's, here we go, looks like Blair Barton. Yeah, no, exactly, he didn't roll over in no, that he's, heat. No, that heat was very good, I mean, obviously we're in the round of uh, 32, high level, bang, Ooh. right there. So look at this wave, grew some legs through this inside, he had to kind of hang around, it looked like the thing was done, and then just doubled up. Still enough water in the pool for that. It is. It's far out there. When you when you get the pulled back view, it's kind of like, man, where do I? Where would you sit? But here it is. Gets the first turn too, which is which is which is major to get a good score right now. He's on his way right here. He's kind of weaving, bobbing right here. You're like, what's it gonna do? You just don't know. Yeah, I mean, especially with the wind swell, right? The thing fully turned like going out to sea right here, but then ran into the bank and stood back up then this turn boom is this the best wave of the heat uh right now i'm gonna say perhaps yeah. i mean brother has the Kaloe has a five five Corey has the four three three yeah looking like a good score in the good range yeah like really didn't do anything uh to overcook it just a very well surfed wave yeah. Hit every section. There it is, 617. Yeah, nailed it. That's keeper right now. Yeah, hit every section, kept the board speed up, so there wasn't really any boggy moments, you know? And there's Mitchell Salazar, a co-commentator. Mitchie on the mic. It's MC uh, Salazar. Yeah, we got to have the pleasure here of, uh, you know, really dissecting. Mitch is just, you know, guys are throwing their hands up in the sky. They want to hear the scores. They need to know the priority. They, there is a board that shows priority and there's time, but they really need to know the situation. So you find yourself just nonstop breaking down what third and fourth need, what first and second need to better is really what they want to hear. And they are far out there, I will say, from where we're posted up to it looks nice right here, but it's pretty far. So I think with the wind and the distance could be a little bit hard to hear sometimes. 
Totally off topic, Brett. How much uh, weird political spam have you gotten in the last few months? I just it is the season, isn't it? Uh, election like, season. All yeah. of a sudden, how the hell do they get? Part of my friends. How the heck do they get our numbers? <laughs> I'm so blown away. I'm like, I don't understand. I'm like, yeah. Please type in stop if you don't want to receive these messages. I'm like, I never opted Are in. How am I opting out? Are they making money off these? Like, I'm pay. Are we paying for that, or how does it work? Like, I don't know, but I'm like, get, lose my number. <laughs> if it says send back stop, stop. You know totally just knock it off i got enough people calling me for free foo wax already <laughs> you're just kidding well you gave me some wax can you send me a couple of bars of cold the water dropped to 52 uh, i'm just like well you know bro our uh, business model doesn't really accommodate promotional oh items and uh, get on over to the local store i know where to right. send you every bar of wax puts a new chicken nugget on the table for my kid exactly That's i it. know i think i think we all need to understand that like there is perks of the jobs of marketing and, you know, some freebies here and there, but we are got to sell some product to have a livelihood. So they give uh, last to Heddleston 4-9. So situation looks like Kolohe with priority eight minutes needs a 3-2-7. And uh, Green looking for the 4-4-5. So this one... Still wide open. Yeah, it's not. It's a little more grovelly than the last heat. The last heat had quite a bit of waves. I will say they were. Yeah. They were riding, getting. Uh, Nat had a couple, upper good range scores, seven five, seven two. So Heddleston trying to better his situation. Nice first turn, drops the wallet, rides wow. out. The dexterity there was uh pretty solid. Heavy core strength. Yeah, good flow. I mean, he's taking this thing like it's just kind of going up and over, up and over. Which East Coast, East Coast guys like they they're good at that, where they just kind of stick with it, and all of a sudden it something eventuates. And that is uh, your Heat leader, Blair Barton, looked like a big finisher right there. Yeah, interesting to see if there's anything that went down before that. Corey, oh, not happy. Yeah, it's hard to find a deep bottom turn like that out there with something that you could really lay your teeth into. It's pretty teethless out there. <laughs> a couple of gummers. Hey, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it's toothless. It's like your dentures flew out and you're just trying to grind through a couple. It is uh, two ticks better than the super grind off on uh, <laughs> Thursday. That was the ultimate grind off. I mean, Huntington doesn't get any smaller than that. Yeah. If oh, it does, yeah. it's flat. Yeah. You're not certain. Literally, like, if that, I mean, there's always something out here to ride. Oh, this is going to be great. Wow. So, Barton looking like 7-5, Wellesley. We missed the first probably, but a huge second. Yeah, yeah. So, interesting. I wonder what he did. He laid into that second turn. We kind of caught the end of it. It's a Barty party. Just liquid confetti to the sky. All right. Well. Six minutes, the, just under six. The vet on the ropes, plenty of time. Three, two, three. I the, mean, well, the two vets are on the ropes. Yeah, I know. Corey and Kolohe. I mean, for brother, he's only ridden three waves, which, you know, in these conditions, I'm a little bit surprised. I think, you know, it it is tricky out there where to be, where to sit, which one's going to have pocket. But I think he would be rolling the dice a bit more. You could see him here to the left of your screen on the hunt. Well, he's making a move. Is this for a, a paddle for a wave or? Yeah, it looks like a little slingshot engaged. Reposition. Look he's, at this. Yeah, so we we engaged him into a little. He's going to go fake right, go left, climbs it there, wraps it back. So he's going to stay with this thing, wait for it to level up. There it is. Nice turn. So look for the three, two, seven. Probably just going to get it if if I had to put my judging hat on let me see again so right here bumpy one so you know a little bit stuck there but carves it back stays composed and then nice there gets a little release in the tail so we'll let that score come through but pressure may be on heddleston blue kind of loses the edge there mm. 
It's rough sailing here down at the 430 mark. It's rough sailing if you're not Blair because he's got 13.6 points. That's Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just feels like we're good rhythm and waves just, yep. you know, came to him. So they go 4-2 for Kolohe. Jumps into second. Heddleston now needs 4.8. Aaron Beatty, 5.38. So it's still... They both have first and second priority. It's going to come down to this next decision. Which wave are you going to pick? And uh, here's the lay of the land. We got a south wind kind of cheddaring up this lineup. Little northwest wind swell. I think that is the worst combination. <laughs> but south wind you, with a wind swell? You could, you could. Courtney said she likes it, makes little chips. I personally dislike it because everything's choppy yeah like it's just choppy if we're downwind where green is the northwest would be coming from where the pier is across the rights and lefts and i feel like it's just way cleaner like well, easier to surf yeah it makes the the faces are going to be glassy on the northwest wind yeah with the south it's just the south the, is just just like, kind of the lefts will find that uh, little smoothness like even Kaloe's left i've had so many of those where you just catch the rail on that first turn you want to jump it and fly it up there and climb it and it's easy to like i don't know you just you got to be really on your toes and you know for a for a guy like him he's you know, he revels in these conditions. He's great in small ways. Maybe one of the... Man, I'm all tied best. up over here. Dude, you're tied up. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my leash on from the surf. Trying to get comfy. You come sit in a plastic chair for eight hours. <laughs> it's like traffic school with a microphone. Relax. <laughs> Back. Hey. But yeah, if uh, you guys are out there and, um, you know, in a remote 30-mile radius, get down here. HB is popping and there is all kinds of games happening and amazing uh a plus brands on the sand running fun little carny games um and just walk away with some cool stuff i mean vans was cooking up waffles this morning i had a waffle that's on a sick. stick that's sick. it was mental i, I like, love waffles i was like wait van doren's not making hot dogs i and know waffles they might be doing dogs now here's brother little rap so he might feel a little more relaxed surfing well on this wave he's coming up and over the flat speed line so can he better his 420 he's he's on Ooh. his way yeah well nailed that one yeah 130 on the clock Heddleston out the back cracks it right there throws it up again gets a little bit stuck so he you know the first they were you know, if I have to be super critical, he kind of just poked it. He didn't really push it. Uh, maybe more vertical, but in a way, you know, the distance covered. Koloe covered a lot of distance, more horizontal. We'll get a little replay here. So look at all that chop, but nice. Navigates through that cutty and again, swoops it all the way back. Then gets that board speed, little flatter rocker, jumps this floater. Jumps another one, high risk, low reward, but then bang the combo for you know a waist high wave. Well done. Yeah, I mean that is just T Street training paying off right there, right? Just to grovel through that thing. Heddleston, I mean he had good extension on the first one, kind of threw it up in the second one. I mean then that wave piggybacked. Yeah. So it wasn't like he rode out super clean on it. So they went four six for brother four six seven. Heddleston gets a three seven three. There's only twenty five seconds on the clock, and uh, Aaron Beatty needs the five eight four. Heddleston needs the five two eight. They're on the hunt. Blair looks pretty secure. Only ten, uh, just above ten seconds. All right, this one is uh, it's signed, secured, and delivered. It's cooked, and it's, it's a cook-off. Barton, Ann, and Dino coming through. Heddleston, Aaron B, unfortunately not making it. This uh, we're gonna push into the last heat of the round of 32. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this.
Hello and welcome to Huntington Beach, California. I'm Kelly Miller, President and CEO of Visit Huntington Beach. Known as Surf City USA, Huntington Beach boasts 10 miles of coastline and the most consistent waves on the West Coast. Huntington Beach has it all with endless summer weather, year-round events, outdoor activities, and oceanfront resorts and spas. So get ready to be inspired, be connected, and be here. Huntington Beach. Plan your visit at surfcityusa.com. are back jacks pro coming into round of 32 heat six that last one a little bit of a nail biter for one of the top seeds kolohe and daniel gets through but here's the lay of the land beautiful surf city huntington beach day three jacks pro vendor village presented by 805 you got everyone in the surf industry down here it's been a pretty packed day waves have been on offer it's dropped a lot from yesterday it's in that two to four foot face range we got a negative low tide and kind of maxing out at what is it 230 maybe hours time so you got to call it tricky conditions yeah i mean <clears throat> this is what you're going to find when you walk down the walkway to get to the sand. And I mean, that's almost enough to stop you in your tracks right there. It's kind of the who's who. You see all your bros, you see all your friends, you meet people, you get free stuff. You could be there for 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. And Easy. then, you know, you miss your buddy's heat. <laughs> Gunter. I mean, you could vanish into the 805 VIP lounge. Real quick. For hours. Then you're calling the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gunter getting one into the score line. Al Cleland opened up with a small one. couple quickies. You got local boy Luke Guinaldo. I like saying local Luke. So, ooh, little jam slide. Here he is. Wraps it back. He's going to need a finish here. Jams it in the pocket. So, you know, kind of going through the motions, but nice, nice flow. Trying to, you know, decipher different maneuvers so he doesn't get too repetitive. Here's Gunter. He uh, finaled out here the year, maybe two years ago when Keanu Asing won. So Gunter, no stranger, just down the road in Newport Beach. Puts in the, you know, hours out here and had a pretty good competitive season last year. Yeah. On, the, uh, on the regionals. So looking to get his campaign underway for 2025, which... This event is the first one for the following challenger season. So important event for a lot of these, you know, competitors that didn't qualify this year to get a jump on the new season. Right. Also riding local shaper Doc Lausch equipment. Yeah. I mean, since he's been a grommet. Doc may be down here. He may be watching. Shout out to the local boy, Doc Lausch. If you guys are Amber and the crew. Yep. Shh. We hope you guys are doing well. We're here in Huntington Beach. It's kind of moved over to the pier, lower tide, you know, rolly conditions. The sandbar is, you know, it's a it's a fun sandbar, but it is a little bit soft. But uh, it's kind of who can keep their board speed, who can time it, who can travel through the flats. And uh, just what we expected. I might have to go get a haircut. He, oh, Alex Lima. <laughs> Lima's <laughs> under the gun. He's going to... Uh, I want to I wanna check back in in a little bit and see what Alex gets done. He could go high and tight. And it looks like Guinaldo's letting it fly. Well, he didn't make it out of that heat, so it's a new do, new you. It is, yeah. 
he, you know, sometimes you need a little slump buster and you got to get out of there. <laughs> so they're, they're setting them up, kind of putting some cream on them. Oh, the hot cream on the neck. Get ready for a little nice razor action. Wow. Looks he, like they've already kind of uh, maybe they've trimmed, talked through it. They've already trimmed up the sides, perhaps. He might be go- he, he might be done. Yeah, huh? these might be the final uh, final touches. Yeah. What is this? Is this a razor? Yeah, this is the hot straight edge. Holy crap! If you move, you could just lose your jugular. <laughs> <laughs> just ah! <laughs> blood everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, no, he's just getting tightened up Are right they here. Shaving the beard, dude. He looks nice, all clean. Ooh, Chopper Reed just losing ears. Wow, Stop. how clean! Like oh, okay. I had like the jujitsu ear, like wrestler's ear. Now I got half an ear. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is tight. So good. Did you see that? I watched one of the Groms in his wedding getting a haircut. <laughs> and he went for the same thing, just a little... Just a nice Just little... a speed cut around the ears and left the rest. Just so mom stoked when you come home. You didn't go too nuts. Looks like Gunter speeding across this choppy Ooh, little thing. Knifed it. Hammered that turn. Well, oh, my Lanta. He Jinxed him. just slipped off. We might have to run him down some foo wax. <laughs> that was brutal because he was on his way to a, you know, this was better, going to be better than his first. And first went 5-6. Oh, he got all of that one. Did everything right. The verticality right here. Bingo. And it's called a butt snap. Oh, that's frustrating. That one, that one, That's one of those ones where you're like, man, I'm on my way to a 7. He, he got a 4-2-7 with the fall. Right, and it just happens so quick. You come up and you're just going, "What in the wide world of sports?" I haven't done that just in a while. Happened. Could have pressed it a little bit. Could have just the the you know feet kind of weight distribution was it a little early? Uh well, he found a that was the wave you want out there because everyone else is you know Luke's got the five three Cleland and Willie Dean couple twos. Most likely ain't factoring in today. You know what's crazy? I always get confused with wind direction on the drone view. Because it kind of cuts out some of the chop. Yeah, and you're up high. And I'm like, is the wind now clocking around more southwest? It is. It is. And then less south, less cheddar into the right. I more, hope. I hope. Maybe more over the back um, coming from the like the horizon. I would rather that. There's a lump coming out. Cleveland's paddling over the Pier Bowl. That's where he did some damage. Highest scoring wave of the heat yesterday. Big left into yeah. the pier. I mean, I feel like there needs to be a little more south in it to make that part of the comp zone work. Yeah. Not it, sure why, but it just seems like the south kind of moves into that area better. Yeah, it's a little full plump under the pier. Willie Dean just sitting in the limousine. Here he goes. Oh, hey, Gunter on another one. So could he go? He went in and out. Looks like Will gets a finish. Most likely his best. Only has the 2.0. So, yeah, we do have a few more heats. I, I think I was a little premature. We overcooked the uh, you know, I'm dog. just so excited. Uh, Parker Cohn, Wheeler Hasbro, Taj Limblad, Ryland Rubens. Oh, that's a good one. Number seven. And number eight. Uh, Michael Dumphy, Wesley Santos, Dylan Horde, Carlos Munoz. I mean, that is like a, just a journeyman heat. little stacky. Yeah, Donnie's been doing it for a bit. Has, gosh, you know, on the North American, has got a lot of wins. Yeah, like you said, he's just, he's he's won in a lot of places. Check out the cold water. Cold water, East Coast, domination. Won the North American rankings. Yep. I think he finished second at Barbados, which solidified that. He was threatening to come make an appearance in the booth with us, but... Uh, I know. We should start bringing in some of these cats. He's That'd be sick. Just super elusive. Yeah, they're all focused, but Cleland just found exactly what he wanted. Isn't this a mirror image of yesterday? Hammer time. Um, Three banger. From Mexico with love. Just rolling the dice. And then we got Gunter. He's got something coming going. Wow, can he stick it? Uh, uh, uh-huh. Should have worn the babies. He could have made it to the air show, had he yanked that one down. It looks like Louis G. 
Oh, I almost just went down in a layback. <laughs> oh, Brett almost just uh, folded in the folding chair. <laughs> This is a great idea, but it's a dangerous idea. All right, Willie Dean, backside slash, another smaller one, looking for a finish. And uh, just a succession of backside slashes there. Is it going to be his best? Ooh, yeah, I'm going to reckon so. He's trying to replace a 3-5. McClellan again, rapid fire. Once Bang. he gets back on that tail, this weight distribution is so nice. Louis G is starting to find it, too. Wow. Oh. oh. I mean, the judges got their work cut out for him. It's just, They're like going. Said, They're going cross-eyed. They like, went semi-automatic oh. out there. It's just bang, 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 done. Well, that's just a great way. Like Dude, That how... looks like south right there. Look at this. Looks like South. Oh, there's, well. there's. Remember, Chas said underlying yeah, but South. But it was the dying South. But uh, there, it might be some. I think more... it's a new little underlying. A little creepy, creepy. Chaz, if you're out there, give us an update. Here we go. <laughs> boof. And boof. Where do we go with that? Eight five. <sighs> I mean, you got to reward it. It was good surfing. And then we got Gunter. This was sick. I, I was stoked. He went for it. That thing just had a little rib right there that didn't allow him to land too clean. And then uh, Will Dean looking a little bit clean, wrapping it right here. So these lefts are, like you said, they're cleaner on the face. They don't stand up sometimes as, you know, as vertical as the rights, but they allow you to at least get some swivel going. Right. You put some ass into it. Yeah. You just lay into it. Boom! And this is his backup right here. So uh, Cleland just went to first place. And uh, he said, okay, give me my, you know, lay right deluxe box. Sure. Al so impressive in the sense that where he resides is just more of a heavy water tube riding place. Tube fest. And how he has adapted and is, he, is such a good groveler. He's not home that much. Right. But when he is, he's packing tubes. And then when but, he's on the road, he's surfing this a lot. Yeah, I mean, but just literally attacking and surfing junk really well. Yeah. Well, he does have that, like, he's not a small, he's shorter, but he's, like, solid. But then, yeah, he went 817, 717. Uh, bang, bang. Judges loved it. And then, uh, but maybe shorter in stature and like fuller, but um, light on his feet. Very. And, and that's that's a you know a blessing for uh, Al because he can surf anything. You know the heavy stuff. He's a darn good aerialist. His backhand's lethal, and uh, that's a good recipe to win heats, win events, have a long career. So. 8177 15.34 you'd be hard pressed to get out done today with that total. Is it easier to get to your feet if you're a short dude? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't it seems as though you don't hear them having back problems right, as the, much. The questions to all people ask. Uh, core, maybe it's a core bridge I don't deal. No, just less giraffe to get up. I don't know. Well, this is going to leave uh, Luke gets a 4.47 on that fall. He only needed a 4.62, so that really cost him. That fall, he was on his way. A couple nice slash and dashes. Yeah, he was, and just plugged it. Cleland paddling like he's losing the heat. But here we go. Willie Dean still in fourth, needs a 5.45. Yeah, and I mean, Will, he's one of the East Coast, like, super gnarly up-and-comers. Just one of those kids that's basically already kind of won everything on the East Coast amateur-wise, right, Brett? Yeah, yeah, he's he's pretty dominant in the USA Primes. Yeah. He's he's on the ISA World Junior Team. He's Yeah, he's done a lot. I mean, I don't know if he's, like, he's still got a you know, amateur career left to kind of solidify, I would say, but... These events are to accumulate points. He's in the round of 32, making he 15, 16. Yeah, oh, he's a grom. I mean, I think he's surfing in the U on the U16 team. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
Just a wee pup. So plenty of time. He, you know, I think obviously I feel like if you're winning local, you know, your amateur divisions or finaling consistently, these events you start dabbling in. But if you're not getting through a lot of rounds there, I don't know if it's great to come here and, you know, you might make a heat or two, but looking to go deep into the rounds, I'm not too sure. Mm-hmm. But uh, 9 minutes, 15 seconds, Cleland way out in front, Gunter. You know, it's a battle for second at this stage, but... Um, He's gonna he's gonna try to better that four two seven Guinaldo local Luke local Luke G needs a four point six two uh, last wave was a four point four seven two judges said yay one said no way a couple were right on the line mm. but he fell <clears throat> and yeah. that kept him right well Tom Winchell of Laywright Deluxe is gracing our presence uh, gracing Wench. us with his presence what's up Tom Tommy Winch we are here it looks like Cleland's gonna get himself some Laywright Deluxe box if you know if he did lose this heat or got second I'll pay whoever that same amount because he's way out. In front. I'm going out on a wow. short, short limb. Wow! Let's go, Gunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Wellesie that 150 spot. Oh, you know how much you get for 150 in Seal Beach. Gunter needs a 967, so it's not out of the equation. <laughs> but it really is coming down to battle a second place here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Gunter has first priority. He's kind of sitting around Luke saying, I'm not just going to let you kind of have the pick of the litter. So it's going to go. There's plenty of time. Yep. Plenty of time. We'll see how this one ends up. But uh, Willie Dean needs a 5-4-5. He's got an air game too. Hasn't really had to show it, but uh, he might have to pull it out here. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think there's many ramps on offer, um, especially on the lower it's tide. It's so flat. Yeah. I mean, the higher tide, I think there's maybe had been some opportunity that the girls got to play in. Mm -hmm. But um, on this lower tide, yeah, you got to really find something coming together. <clears throat> kind of about like... Find that closeout like chip. Just zigging across the flats, trying to even just keep your board speed up. There we go. Might be a sales job. There's some, there's some waves coming through right here. Maybe against the granium. Left... Right here. Who's moving? Uh, this could be a good little laugh from what I'm seeing. Will Dean needs the 545. Five. I like the line on it. Um, wraps it there. Oh, no dice. No dice. So the drone view just sent me for a loop. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it had that corner pocket where you could just jam a couple. Yeah, but... I mean, the boys are on the pretty far end right i mean i feel like maybe 20 yards further is possibly in front of where we are more in front of the main tower seems like they are south but it's so hard to tell how far away they are from the pier with this angle yeah but it looks far so i mean they're off it for sure i think they're they're kind of straight i almost feel like they're straight out kind of from where we are you like think? A, a little bit to the right Okay, I felt like they were further south that, that way. That way more? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't, it, drown, seemed, it seemed like everyone was moving more towards the pier as that tide was going out, was kind of moving over. Yeah, that drone angle does my head in. Cause it, it, look, I, sometimes it looks like maybe farther than it is. But right. It looks like there's 300 yards to the pier. What's this right here? Cleland, little low road. He's just... Uh, Al's just having a free surf at this stage. Maybe air. Yeah. Wingo. Boom. Wow. Luke could have had this wave almost. Well, um, forehand maybe wouldn't have been a little more horizontal, but just like that was the kind of what we were talking about, how light and limber just transitioning across that flat bit. Easy to get stuck and not have speed. Oh, Gunter utilizes priority. Five minutes to go. Oh, boy. Leaves Lukey G out there needing the 4.62, which he should already have, but he fell on that last one. So he wants to try to make up for that. 
looks like we got an interference on the uh, non-competitors area. <laughs> That's fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So I mean, now it's like Luke's got uh, the right away of the lineup. Now, if you're Gunter, I mean, he's just got to forge to just better that four four seven. He's looking right. He's looking right, and it actually looks. Oh, oh I jinxed him again. Just the voodoo out there. Took a knife to a gunfight right there. Just caught the rail. Maybe rushed it a little bit. That first turn was like big. Could have just maybe sat back and waited and climb it. Yeah. and I Easier mean, said than done when you got three foot chops on a two foot wave. Well, and going back to his 427, had he not... Uh, slipped on that second blast. He's you know. doors. Yeah. So we've got, there's been multiple mistakes is what you're saying. Sure. But that's the way it goes. Who can make the least mistakes is the one. Is Luke going to get this wave? A little left. Having a look says no. Easy, uh, easy call for Cleland just to try out his new board. Things only been dropping 15 to 17 point totals the last couple of heats. Right. No worries. Feels good. I mean, I would assume he's on different equipment from yesterday. Yeah, probably a little more plump. Uh, yeah, just something a little, little flatter, flatter. In the, flatter in the rocker. Yeah. It's for speed. It looks kind of similar. It does. But, uh-oh, we, we got some movement. Luke's really trying to eye this one out. He's going to go on his forehand. Here it is. Slams the reverse. Oh, boy. And he sticks it. So, you know, one major, he might, he's going to see if this thing does anything to kind of. Oh, you just need to bookend something like that to just, just get it close. Like a finish. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But Cleland had the six. Oh, so the previous left when he got, went fast, six, six, seven. Wrap. These ones sometimes could get bigger in the inside because it started small. You're hoping maybe there's more energy, but I don't know if it's a good idea to just... Uh, you need something at the start to get a 5.45. There needs to be a score at the start. So let's... Yeah, very true. Two minutes, 12 seconds. It is crunch time for Luke Ronaldo in green and Will Dean in red. And Tyler Gunter. Ooh, first two say yay. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, boy. He, he's got it. 5.03 for the spin to win. So, local boy Luke makes the jump. Oh, heavy. Gunter needs 4.69. Heavy. So, that was tail of the tape. Who makes the last air? You know, Gunter went on the crummy right. They've both had some falls. Luke... Kind of went on maybe a closeout and made it happen with the spin. Wow. <laughs> Gnarly heat. Well, the, yeah, and they both had falls on waves that were kind of eventuating to be much bigger scores. Gunter's 427 could have went up into the good range if he pulls off that last vertical snap. And then Luke had the 4-4 that looked like he was getting nice carve and then then he caught the rail. So it's only a minute left. 4.69. It's going to have to be one quality maneuver or a couple linkages. And what do you do at this stage, Wellesley? Do you go by him? And, and is that Gunter there? Yeah. So Gunter's right there. Luke's, Luke's nowhere near him. He's kind of maybe just thinking, oh, if I can... Well, what color am I? You asked me what I would do. What color am if I supposed blue, to be? If you're blue, you're well. <laughs> you have priority, I guess. You're just hunting. You don't care about anybody. Well, yeah, he's just trying to sniff out anything possible to ride with, you know, 30 seconds left. Mm. But I was gonna say, if it's me here today in the chair, I'm just gonna keep enjoying my afternoon. No, don't, don't stress him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 12 seconds. Anything out the back. Green, blue is up. So hits it right there. And again, he's trying to get up and over this flat section. He's doing a doing a good job to keep his speed. Oh, well, he's going to make the judges have a thing. He's working it through. 
the ultimate grind off. It is a grind. And, you know, in hindsight, he gave himself a chance there late. He's going to still be kicking himself on the fall. You know, you look back and you go, this isn't even, we're not talking about it really if it, but. Uh, When he watches the replay, he's going to see how good his first turn was and just, yeah. He was, he was definitely on the much better waves and it kind of left the door open. And so it looks like Al Cleland, Luke Winaldo, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back soon. fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the lay of the land, the Jacks Pro Heat 7, round of 32. We got a little star-studded affair here. Wheeler Hasber in blue, white, Taj Limblad, green, Rylan Rubens, and in red, Parker Cone. So we are on. We're fired up. Got Co- the energy. Port's got an energy yes. drink. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow, looks like Wheeler comes wheeling out the wheelbarrow for some scores. Six six seven three one seven. We'll get some replays as we get going, but uh Yeah, looks like Rubens having a dig right here. Rylan, nice little turn there and another. So a nice combination for Rylan Rubens. He's gonna get out of that one. So work's done. On the board, first of red, 2.17. Court, what'd you get up to? When you have a little break, what's your kind of go-to here? You go <laughs> check out the vendor vendor land? or Yeah, I checked out some of the vendors, went for a walk, and was just enjoying the sunshine, just, you know, because we were, like, in this little cave down here. I, know, I went out, I felt like a Dracula. I'm like, whoa, give sun. Give us some fresh air. <laughs> yeah, so I ended up walking, checking out Main Street a little bit. Went by Jack's. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty busy on this Saturday here. Well, it's a beautiful spring ba- spring break Saturday afternoon. It is. And we are in heat seven of the round of 32 with a stacked heat, too. Yeah, well, you got some of the region's finest names and finest up-and-comer qualif- qualifiers. So, yeah, we got scores. First to white, 417. Ryland and green, 483. So Wheeler out in front, 6.67. So he likes to start. He's probably pretty happy with that. Uh, you know, he's sitting with priority. Oh, here we oh, go. 
A little ch- oh. oh, it looked good. She went directly down the middle. She has the golf balls in the hip. So that's the oh, jack. Oh, she got it, huh? That's the jack. She did. Move. Did she hit it? Yep. <laughs> Give herself a hat or something. Maybe she didn't. she didn't. She did it. That's a bummer. All right. Oh, he knows. He's got the club open. Oh, yeah. He's going. He's going for the Phil Mickelson chip. Open up the stand. They should actually have him do it from the sand, but it might be a little dangerous. (laughs) Yeah, we might have some flyaways, maybe a couple black (laughs) shiners. The sand wedge is so tough. You know, golf backwards is flog because you get flog. (laughs) Is it? Golf flog. Yeah. Wow, flog. Yeah, I realized that I think like last year's. Do you think they did that on purpose? I'm not sure. Golf. Let's name it golf. Let's name it golf. We just got flogged. We were getting flogged. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Golf Uh, is definitely one of those humbling sports where it's like it should be so simple and straightforward. It's just you, a club, and a ball, and a fairway. Yeah. And a little tiny hole at the end. It's good when you use the foot wedge. You know, kick yeah. it into the fairway. Yeah, Robin Williams has a funny skit on it. So red here, Parker. And a little swizzle. He's on his smaller board. Looks good. A little flatter. Couple little flare ups right there. So nice. Yeah. Very marginal wave, but you know, zipping around. That that's always impressive to the judges. I don't think it's gonna be a major score. There it is. Four, Four six, six three. three. I mean, it's the best score for him in this heat. There's Lynn Blatt. Sure he'll want a little bit more, but getting the ball going. Really happy. Uh, Ruby's kept the red roof. Yeah. The restaurant, Broad Street. Broad Street, they did. Here's Classic red roof. Taj's wave, 4.17. That was a nice little combo. Yeah. A little cutty. So looking solid. Oh. Wraps it right there. So this is proper surfing. You know, mm. and I think that's sometimes what the hard part is for the judges to dissect, you know, the the rail game to the flicky stuff, you know. <laughs> Out yep. the back. That could have been uh, Wheeler's. Wheeler. And six, six, seven. Here it is. So look at this oh. face. First turn. Oh. Yeah, Wow. Wow. Yeah, Wheeler rips. He pretty underground. He's, you know, the last four or six months has really come on. We've always, uh, you know, heard the name around and had some success in the juniors, but he's having a lot of success. And he won um, the Caribbean event in the Dominican, wow. took down Taro Watanabe. So his, I want to say that was his first major showing career QS win. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I first saw him surfing and training at the ISAM Brazil. Yeah. He was down there. Yeah. He definitely, he has Surfing such for a like style. Norway or yeah. Sweet? What, what is it? Norway. Norway, right? Yeah, Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice start to this heat. Everyone has a few scores. Not anything like busting the glass but we have the six six seven it's a nice way to start get things going oh someone's really wheeler yeah going for the speed float coming around that corner a little slash he's got a real yeah i mean i would say obviously his big score in the seat was a six six seven on a right but he's got a really solid backhand like super trustworthy and i think you know, if he has the opportunity, he would probably prefer to go back in. Um, he did win his that event on on some left, so I I would assume he's looking. You know, he'd probably be wanting to be looking more left, but he adapted on that second wave six six seven, and uh, yeah, so he's out in front. Last of it, three point three three. Then it's a battle of the fours. Everyone else has got a four in their pocket. So time ticking away, 16 minutes. We are in heat seven. Last heat 
One more heat in the round of 32. Michael Dunphy, uh, Wesley Santos, Dylan Horde, Carlos Munoz up next. And then we're going to oh, be great. jumping into four more four more heats out of the uh, round of 16. And, and then that's, off the day. that's a day. Yeah. It's been a great day of surfing so far. Looks like Wheeler's having a good look and Taj on the right. Nice little blow tail. Oh, can't stay with it. So had to kind of push it there just because the wave was going flatter. Got the finner release. Got a little cheeky finner. Yeah. And then Wheeler's looking at this. He's staying super hyperactive right now. What's he going to do? Maybe a little slash and then the air? finish move. Yeah. Oh, just get the back up. Yeah. Smart. Better that 3.33. Yeah. Good call, you know. Still a pretty low backup score. Sure he'll want to extend that lead. Just getting busy here for Parker. Getting those little whips in. Yeah. Time is it? Excuse me. Bless you. Okay, we're gonna send it down. Al Cleland just leaving off where he started off yesterday, just hammering a couple left-handers. Al, you there? Yeah, I'm here, boys. Yeah, Al, you got Courtney and Simpo. Congratulations. Thank you. Good talking to you guys. Wow, it, the waves are a little smaller, but there's still some good little chips. Yeah, you found, that wave, your 817 was like a little mini image of your 987 yesterday, just three backhand hammers. Were you looking for lefts? What was the plan? Yeah, so I kind of went out looking for rights because every heat before, I, I was just looking at guys getting good scores on rights, and uh, it kind of seemed like the sandbar was a better right, but once I got out there, um, I just had to go get a couple of waves and I, I started off pretty bad so I had to change the plan and go back to the backhand and try to get some scores and fuck it, the first one came in and it was kind of just a perfect little wave and I uh, just belted it a couple of times and in less than 40 seconds paddled back out got the next one I know that was like the heat was thrown on its head in like a heartbeat which is uh, <laughs> not a way to adapt that was awesome well anyone you want to give shout outs to yeah, I know. Thank you, guys. Hope uh, everything's good up there. And, uh, yeah, shout out to uh, todos mis amigos en casa, todo México, todos mis patrocinios. Eh, saludos a todos. Aquí vamos poco a poco a la siguiente. Y aquí no se acaba hasta que se acaba. All right. Congratulations. You're back out there in a little bit. So go focus. Uh, you got some Layright Deluxe box. So make sure to get your money and don't spend it too fast, brother. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. And, uh, yeah, that's going to go into my gas money, man. There you go. <laughs> Good luck yeah. later. You. So during the interview, well, actually, that was one of the ways we saw Redden was a 573 from Wheeler. So nice way to back it up. Yeah, and he didn't, it wasn't like he, I don't think he had the priority. So he just rolled it, you know. Yeah. And Parker's back out there. This wave's kind of growing down the line for him. Yeah, this one's serving up some sections, which is. Didn't give him that big finish, though, but... Yeah, then you got Lindblad on the backhand. See if he could find the rhythm. Scooting across here. So that wave, it seemed like it just tapered a lot smaller. 12 minutes to go. But we're going to wait on a couple scores. Red, white, and blue out in the lead. Wheeler. 12.4 solid total and you could see him kind of more committed to the pier sure. peak you yeah. know and he's out there he's much further out and uh and when, when you're gonna do something you gotta commit in this game right yeah you or, can't be a half half because then you'll find yourself in the hole yeah, in the like, channel one foot because in, one foot out. Yeah, indecisive. And I f feel like anytime you do that with Mother Nature, yeah. you just get caught in between and it never results well. Yeah. It's best to just be all in to your decision once you make it. Looks like Wheeler's having a solid paddle here. We're, we're watching Parker right now on this ride, though. 
working his way through. Trying to get cheeky, bring it around, with a little revo. He does. It yeah. looks like last to white, 5.47. So that kind of turns the heat. It looks like green has some scores coming through. And, uh, I mean, it's it's anyone's ball game. Red, I know, also has scores. So we got to let this one kind of Yeah, we have a few of green in. dropping through, too. Yeah. I mean, it looks like, is it? I want to say it's cleaning up a little bit. I'm fingers crossed that it does. Sometimes those south winds could back off. It was interesting. It kind of when I went out there, it seemed like it almost went a little westerly. Really? So like, or onshore? Yeah, onshore, which you know, better. it makes it better. At least it's just making that little bit of coping. I rather have you know that. versus that south wind. Yeah. So Parker got a five four on that last ride. So he does jump up. And Ryland dropping a 4.4. He's still sitting in fourth place, and he has 5.21. Nice snap on the backhand right there. And another one to finish it off. That's more like it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what this wave come in, comes in as. He looks like he's just now getting that pace going. Yeah. Just compound effect, you know? So, whoa, how is that in the <laughs> Yeah, he might have got something before. He was, looks like Taj kind of was decently happy with that one or you never know sometimes if they're disappointed or happy but if you got a first turn on it could be a score definitely and it seems like right now in this heat a bit of the energy is shifting i see rylan kind of heating up the last few ways for wheeler have been throwaways so curious what his last one's going to come in as yeah. but yeah, he connected nice on the backhand there. Yeah. He had the first one was a 4.8, had the 4.4, four, so we got and a few now, coming. Yeah, definitely. I feel like Ryland's right in the mix in this heat. Yep. Dropping one of the best scores of the heat so far. Just waiting on one more judge. 6.97 for Ryland and green. So now he is on his way to... Shifting things around. He's needing a 5 4 3 to go to the lead. Look at these lines out the back. Yeah. Will they eventuate? I like your hat. Oh, thank you. you don't... Yeah. Uh -oh. Yep, and we have the 805 ladies there in the VIP zone. Or actually, that was the booth. Yeah, that downstairs. was. Yeah, here we go. Lenny like up and riding. Shirts, Lenny. Getting to work here. So this is looking better for him. Can he get the finish? And he does. So a little more fired up there. His previous 4-5. Looks like Wheeler got a better one, 6-5-3. So this heat's all flipped up on its head. <laughs> Yeah, Wheeler with that 6-5-3, that really helps his case. You know, he got rid of that 5-7-3. Yeah, 4-9, I don't think it was enough. So 4.9 for Taj. Seven minutes remaining. So this is the wave right here. Slash right there. Cracks it. It's a nice turn. It just, if that thing walls up a little bit more for a major, it helps. And that kind of just goes flat. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're ready. And then it didn't have the end section. It laid down. Yep. Fun if you're free surfing. Not Super really fun. fun. <laughs> Not fun when you're in a heat and you need some, <laughs> some pushback. A little bit of punch. Yeah. So looking for the white needs a 634. Red needs a 641. So Wheeler and Rubens, Hasbert and Ryland Rubens out in the first and second spot. Everyone's got double digits. They do. Solid average, you know, for each of the surfers. I like Wheeler's approach right now. He's kind of in his own little zone, replacing scores. 
He had a few throwaways back to back, but he corrected with that six five three. Probably just giving waves a look, you know. Yeah. Oh, he liked it. So Red found himself Parker a nice little wave. Liking that one. A little fired up. It's always nice to see the hype level up. Yeah. The I passion. Mean, six four one. It's got to be something in the good range. Got to sell it a little bit if it's close. Yeah. Do the money dance. <laughs> Did you ever claim waves in uh, day? Yeah, I mean, I had moments. So it's top turn, kind of wrap, and then that's oh. a nice little wallet drop, like a little spin. But five seven three for yeah. that. Yeah, I feel like that was fair, you know. Oh, Wheeler's found something here. I tell you, the backhand. Boom! Oh. Wow, yeah, that's sparky. Yeah, he looks really like quick twitch on his feet, on his backhand, just sinking those turns, just yeah. coiling up, just one after the other. Yeah. So that will help his situation. Let's see. Look at this little double up he found. Boom. Oh. Yeah, picked a nice little double up left. Great second turn two and this third one. Every turn looked really smooth. Good technique. Yeah. Looking for a scene where that one comes in as. So first priority green, second priority white. White, as of now, needs a six three four. So six, six three. three three a throwaway for Wheeler. A little but... more, because I guess. The end. Yeah, the end and like the turns, it's just more the wave. Like the turns were done in all the right spots. Just the wave wasn't, didn't have the that bigger moment. Yeah, the wave let him down a little bit, but he did really well with what he had. Yeah, he for sure. Pretty perfect. It was more just yeah. the wave, kind of not uh, having that big section where you can just go into that excellent yeah. range yeah in order to bust in that excellent range you need to have those significant sections you know yeah, here's red he's so he's searching six, and three, four. you know yeah. 608 he, he's got an air game too so he might start having a look at that with that three 310 yep wow so green's like trying this. to hang on here wheeler having a look you might even go for the air. Yeah, a little sidewinder. You might just be kind he might of... be getting out of that zone, so they don't really know where to position in that space because yeah. he's kind of had all that on point for the whole heat. Yeah. So especially when you're in fourth priority, you don't really want to uh, be under everyone because there's not. That you won't have a four wave set. Yeah, you know? I will say that Wheeler's heat strategy typically is pretty spot on. Yeah. He uh, seems like he always has a pretty good plan where he, you know, he's always wanting to surf where, you know, fits his surfing yep. as well. Wheeler again. Yeah. Up and at him. Up oh. going. He knows he needs to go bigger and order it to attain those sevens, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a six 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 seven six five three, which is, I mean, pretty solid into that thirteen range. Leaving, you know, Rubens has the low of the four eight three, which is kind of keeping the door open because he does have the highest wave. He does, but the backup is a little bit on the smaller side. The smaller, yeah. Well, this is what Taj is really into, a little roping, you know, <laughs> riding horses, roping. He needs a little rope of wave in right here. Yeah. He needs a rope. Just grab something. it by its horns. Yeah. See if anything. He's snuck away a little bit from green. Ryland's holding first priority. I know. So. I know. Oh. Red's going disco -y, <laughs> disco fever. Red's doing chop hop yeah. in first. I'm free. Feeling it. <laughs> so on a minute. He's 
So 45 seconds. Taj scrambling. Rubens does have priority, so he's on him, <laughs> which makes life tough. Wheeler, oh, catches the nose, mm. but it could be a little victory fall. Okay. Yeah, so 20 seconds. So looking like Hasber and Rubens at the moment. 10 seconds on the clock. Woo. There's a little. Nope. Wait, was that before the I horn, though? I think it might count. Yeah. He's got to do an air. Oh, Ooh. and he goes down. So Wheeler and Rylan pulling it through this heat seven of the round of 32. Yeah, so looking like Wheeler, Rylan Rubens advancing on to the round of 16, which will happen, you know, in, we're, what is there, one more heat in the round of 32, and we're going to look at the beautiful day in Surf City, USA. Great perspective. You could see the sandbars, the Whitewater Trail. And we're going to take a little flight over the contest venue and towards the Jack Surf Shop. Yeah, their flagship store on Main. And there we are. We're somewhere in there. You can see the crew checking it out. You got all the vendors. Yeah, we're in the little cave downstairs. <laughs> we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We got round of 32. There's only... After this heat, only 32 competitors, male and female, left in this event. Actually, less. Less than that, yeah. So, Where are you at 24, quarters? yeah. 16 men's, 8 women's. And as we fly over the parking lot, we're heading, flying over the palm trees. I hope we make it. <laughs> and there we are, Jack Surfboards. I always use that clock if I don't have my watch out in the water. I'm like, what time is it? I can't see that far. <laughs> Somebody help me, but there yeah, is. When you're on the north side, you can kind of spot it a little bit. If you come down and you get a, you, you can get a voucher, redeem your, your voucher at the Jack store. You Pretty much every brand, everything you need in there. Surfboards, wax, clothes, leashes, stickers. I mean, you name it. Booties, shoes, uh, hats, the whole kit and caboodle. Wetsuits. There it is, the flagship store, right here on Main Street. I think we're diving into the Jack Surfboard. We might shop fly too. in there and we might take a few things <laughs> home today. Can we grab some things with the drone and, and bring it back. <laughs> there's the beautiful ladies working the front desk. They won't let us in, but they're the bouncers for the drone. But as, uh, you, as you can see, everything you need right there and you could have is that a super 73 oh they have the password oh they're letting us in <laughs> oh my gosh look at that i'll what? take one of those kudos to this pilot we'll take that Flying i'll take that through. color t and we're coming through there's there's uh bobby hi guys hey. grandkids store owner right there have stance there vans the whole, all those surf and look boards. at the boards up top that's Freshies. my favorite i love going to the surf shops and looking at the boards that's my favorite all yeah, the decks all right the here skate decks too the my, wheels my little grom's always trying to get me to buy something every time we walk in we end up leaving with something <laughs> you know here we go into the next section. We got everything. Bugs. You got long boards, booties, leashes, some more skateboards, yeah. any type of fin you need. FCS Futures. Here we are. We some soft tops. From anywhere from beginning to that Slater surfboard, as high performance as you may need. Wetsuits of all sizes from youth to, you know, I'm sure as as big as they break them you know yeah definitely something for everyone in the shop look at Whether that you're surfing, soft tops beach goer yeah soft tops vests rash guards you name it we're flying through and i <laughs> hope we don't cut any uh of these <laughs> might a trim some hair. <laughs> yeah might trim one of these wetsuits up 
Uh, this is a fun view of the Jack Surf Shop. So if you haven't been in there yet, definitely drop by. Oh my Whoa! God! Oh, <laughs> it's a great fly job, flying through. Oh, don't give him a haircut or her. Don't, no haircuts. <laughs> we leave that for Laywright Deluxe down on the beach. This is wild. Oh, whoa, we're, we're going upstairs, upstairs to the freshies. Yes, this is what we have been waiting for. We oh. have a lost boy right couple, there to greet us. Some couple, fire wires. couple magic mayhem, some Pizels, DHD, JS. Ipa. See, Ipa. Ooh, is that Pico? What are those little Ooh, things? Ooh, those look fun. Are those like wake surfs or what? Maybe we should see if they'll let us use one of those. Do Don't... we get a commentator's expression session? 30% <laughs> off if the drone dings the rail. Okay? If the drone dings the rail, so cross we'll give your you 30% we'll off. <laughs> There's a little IPA loss collab. We're coming downstairs. So, as you can see... Back to action. We have Carlos Munoz. The Jack's flagship store. We just got a little re, little run through there. They have everything you need. Support local. And out there now, we got some waves riding. Dunphy, Wesley Santos, Dylan Horn, Carlos Munoz finishing up on the sand. Yeah, he opened up with a 5-1-7, so he'll be stoked at that start. And it looks like he has a backup to follow now. Wow, so, tw you know, five minutes in. Or he has two scores. Now he's in the replacement stage. Oh, oh look at the start. At oh, a little snap in the pocket. Time those really nicely. A little late to the last one, but... Worked through it really well. Super familiar with this wave here at Huntington. Yeah, I really liked how he, uh, that first turn, you know, he kind of floated over it. And yeah. There it is, 6.5. Super. And now it looks like Dylan Horde from right here. Oh, catches it and then kind of gets a little muffed up there coming down. You know, on that front foot, kind of goes over the handlebars, as we say. He yep. was, you know, weighed on. It's that weight on, weight off maneuver, and he found himself weight all oh. on. And that's the way the cookie crumbles right there. You go over the handlebars, and you have a 2.90. Yep. So Munoz just flying out of the gates. 5.17, 6.5. That's a nice way to start the heat. Great way to start. Probably watch the approach that Wheeler had. You could see in the bottom left. It looks of the like screen. the drone might have made his way back in. So, oh, watch out! Watch out! Don't hit this kid in the head. <laughs> He's got a buzz cut heading back from spring think... break. They're like, "How'd you get your hair cut?" Oh, I was in in Jacks, and the drone just gave me a nice little trim up. <laughs> They also have a booth down here giving haircuts. So yeah, Laywright Deluxe. We've Laywright seen Alex Deluxe. Lima. A few of the competitors were getting trims after their heats. They want to be faster in this the finals days, so they're like, let's sharpen the edges and make sure we're aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the drone cut. <laughs> well, here it is. Michael Dumphy might lacerate this wave. First turn, big one. Nice. Carves it back. Looks like he might be on a little epoxy right here, a little jam. So this is kind of some Mike Dunphy conditions, if you ask oh. me. And he just tips that one over, but the work was done. Yeah, he tip-tossed that thing. couple nice linked maneuvers. That'll be interesting to see where they go with that, Court. Definitely. First turn had a nice little karate chop kick to it. A little bit of that gouge, you know, so it'll be fun. Dumphy's getting his rhythm going now. Bit yeah. of a slow start for him, so I'm sure he'll want to keep improving on that ride. Yeah. Well, we'll see where that comes in. It'll be, you know, a gauger of, like, we got a 6.5, we got a 5.1. Everything else, you know, on the smaller side, Wesley 3.33. Doubt that's factoring in, unless you drop an eight or a nine. 
because I'm still seeing double digits. There it is, six nine three. So wave of the nice. E so far. Yeah, solid, solid, just quality maneuvers, rapid fire. Not a lot of downtime in that wave, which you know he fell off at the end, but the wave is pretty much done. Yeah, definitely. He did all the work at the start, and uh, I was just watching this drone shot. So impressed with the pilot. I know. He's doing... Coming right through the palms. Yeah, you see Dukes there. You and I have had a few hula pies and Mai Tais there in yeah. the past. Oh my gosh, that sounds good right about now. A little Mai Tai, a little Pokey Tacos. You have Sugar Shack behind the drone shot. So, yeah, everyone scores in a little break in the action here. Be cool to see the drone fly through the pylons. <laughs> Just come flying right through. All, All right. right. We're going to send it down. We got none other than Wheeler Hasbro. Heat winner. Round of 32 Heat 7. Wheeler, are you down there? Hello. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Good job, man. Looked like you had a, you know, you had a plan. You went out there, executed perfectly with uh, pocket sixes, upper sixes. What was, uh, what were you thinking on your way out? Uh, yeah, you know, I... I actually, I had this one plan, and right when I got out there, I realized it's way different than what I thought it was on the beach, so <laughs> I kind of just, I aborted that plan and then stuck a little bit closer to the pier, and yeah, that kind of worked out, got some opportunities, but um, I think I maybe maybe caught a, some too many waves out there. I had a lot of like .5s and stuff, and I was falling, so. Well, it looked like you did. You adapted well, though. You put yourself in good positions, and I think that was kind of... Good job going out there and, and adapting. That's always tough. Sometimes you could be one foot in, one foot out, and it looked like you – to me, it looked like you had you had an idea of what you wanted to ride. So great job. You're coming up again soon. Um, any shout-outs to the homies? Yeah. Uh, I just want to shout-out all my friends and family. Um, I want to shout-out Brad Gerlach and his uh, company, WaveKey. He's, I think he's probably watching back at um, back in the mall. Live. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, – <laughs> Well, everything you've done and uh, for uh, getting me to the place I am right now. And, um, yeah, it's Anadu, amazing boards, and, yeah, everybody. Awesome. Well, congrats, bud. Go get some water. Get prepped up. Round of 16 coming up soon. We'll uh, we'll see you, we'll see you back out there in no time. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. So Wheeler Hasbro, shout out Brad Gerlach. If you are watching, Ger, we miss you. You're pro you are in the Maldives, so you're a lucky dog. Right, but scoring right now. Yeah. Here's Mike Dunphy, 6.93. Nice first turn, Court, and I think oh, that's the difference. It is, and he really linked those first few turns super well. All the damage was done before that um, the he fall went down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we see Wesley Santos on this. Yeah, he's on his way right here. He's connecting the dots. Uh, nothing too major yet, but he's getting himself on the board. What'd they go? 4.1. 4 it was probably because it wasn't as steep into the pocket. It was l more oh, lateral. Ladder. Even though he carved it back really nice, you know, they love when you're tight in that pocket. Zone. Yeah, the wave was just a Especially bit more. Especially on your backhand. Here we go. Dylan Horde. Slash. He's got an oncoming section. What's he got oh. here? Into the flats. Rotisserie. <laughs> so... He's got the chicken and it's it's uh it's fully cooked. <laughs> completed. Oh yeah, so we'll see what that comes in as. Five point six for that last ride of Dylan. So well, that'll help the cause. Definitely helps his cause. He's in third, now only looking for a three six seven. And Wesley staying busy here. Nice snap off the top, almost dug his nose. Yeah, looking a little more lively on this wave. If he can get a finish. Oh. 
Come on. So staying with it. The gift that keeps giving for Santos. He's fired up. Yeah, he likes that. It he was high fived his himself. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He strung it together well. He did. Like you said, he it looked like he almost did he catch almost the nose. Caught on and he would have went he would have found a lobster right, up at <laughs> Broad Street. Yeah, or a halibut. He would have caught there. a lobster and took it up to Broad Street. <laughs> yeah. Woo, Fresh right there. At the Jacks event. That turn right that, there. Yeah, almost caught, but fortunately he didn't. So he had all these turns right after that will keep racking the points in. That was a leg burner. Yeah. He's having to work this thing over, but solid. Maybe four or five turns. And uh, Dunphy going left. Big turn there. Carve set up. And then... More oh. vertical and gets the pops. Spray still falling. So Donny, endless money, Donny, <laughs> feeling the flow. And we see Cole getting ready again. Yeah, he's going back out there, right into the round of 16. So solid result here. Cole McCaffrey making his way out. He's up next. He's got Sam Reedy, Luca Messinas, Nolan Raposa, and Cole McCaffrey. So. He's representing right, he... the two percent crew. Signed on, and he's ready to go. That he is. So we got scores coming through. Munoz, Munoz could be, you know, starting to feel it. So we've seen these heats where someone comes guns blazing early, and Mike Dunphy takes the lead. Munoz is now in second. Santos has a score. He got a 4.8 for that last Wow, round. so he's going to be disappointed, I think. But I understand why they held it back a little bit, though, with everything we've seen today, you yeah, know? Yeah, it was solid. He surfed it really well. The wave wasn't great. It was a very start-stoppy wave. Yeah, you know? and he was really having a hunt down every single section. A lot of, doing the bunny hop. A lot of hopping yeah. and, pu and pumping, which... You know, it comes down to the wave, you know, the wave quality really allows good surfing. And I, you know, when I was coaching a lot, I would always say, like, you kind of are what you ride. And if you ride crummy waves, you know, not good. saying you're crap, but you're... It's, There's only so much you, you can, can do get to done. elevate it, you know. So yeah. the best way to approach heats is being on the best waves, you give your self the opportunity to have the best scores because then even if you Why get not... better waves you could surf them down but still get good scores yeah so it makes life easier exactly. every now and then there's heats where you're gonna have to turn a four into a six or you know a five into a seven or a three into a five but typically the ones who's riding the better waves thank you mr wells for thank the pizza you. we have some pizza in front of us now some Veggie and pepperoni psyching. But looking like Dunphy, you know, regains the lead. Veteran veteran heat and uh, 8 minutes, 40 seconds. Horde has the 5-6, looking for a 6-0-8. Santos needs a 6-8-7. So very attainable scores. Very. There's already a couple, you know, Dunphy and Munoz have something in that range. So they're out there. Santos has an air game too, Court. So he might have to... I know he's trying, you know, a lot of these athletes don't want to have to use it till it, it they kind of, you the know, you're in this, it. you're in this yeah. situation. Yeah, there's no need to be throwing airs every single wave, you know, decide when to utilize it as that extra little enhancement. Because it's just predictable. And I yeah. think if you do it over and over every again, the score just section. keeps going down yeah, and down and down. To then the variety and your um, creativity is going down because it's always the same thing. Yeah, you know? and that's what, you know, over the last 10, 15 years, what has changed. Like, little error versus 15 years ago were garnering sixes plus, and yeah. now they're like fours. Exactly. You know, so to yeah. get a massive score in the excellent range on one solid error, it's got to be Hello, full Hazel. rotation, he, you know, four Super. or five feet above the lip and landing clean. Yeah. And if not... Inverted. Yeah. Fast. And, clean and, landing. And so that's how, you know, the sport has grown in that realm of, like, good, solid power surfing will never go old, and that's how it should be. Yes. But the aerials are going to... We're going to adjust there. And what, what was the norm then and the norm now is 
really big, big rotations that are stomped perfectly yeah. to get excellent. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, so in, in these conditions, you know, it's flatter, so it is going to be harder to find a big air section. But if you can find that lip and garner enough speed, you might be able to get up there and show the judges something a little different than they've been seeing all day. Yeah. Because they're seeing, they're right, you know, everyone's been riding a lot of waves and jumping across and popping and weaving and hopping. But here we go. And this is Horde. He he had the air. He might be even on the uh, air show, the the uh, Air Force list, because he got a five six seven on that air. So he might have made the jump. I think the the last person on the list was a four point nine three. So six people, and I want to say it is the top six after the round of sixteen are the ones solidified into the finals. So wow. Perfect. We are getting close to having those qualifiers. And this heat's winding down with 540 remaining. Who's your pick? Men's, women's to win this event, Court. Just like like what we've seen so far. You got anyone that you think, oh, they're going to go all the way? Mm. Oh, they might not. Maybe, you know, it's all right. You could. Yeah, I, gosh, it's kind of early days. I think tomorrow with, depending on the swell, Alan's been looking really sharp. Cleveland, yeah. 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 He's been looking solid. Yeah. And um, it's just, sh- everything shifts day to day, mm. you know? For People sure. People could wake up feeling a little off and it could just derail them. I agree. And it's kind of who comes in. It's obviously who can get to finals day, and then it becomes a, it's up. a whole new ball game. Yeah, and some individuals aren't really comfortable on finals mm-hmm. day. They they don't they haven't been there a lot. Well, and here we go, Santos. Santos. He wants to get there, and we he doesn't like it. That and that's kind of what we're saying. That wave just that wave wasn't it. But no. he was gonna roll it. He was gonna roll, roll the, the dice. dice. He did have bit. second priority. He might try to get away. Um, yeah, I like that. What about on the women's? The women. You got Kira. I mean, Zoe's Zoe. Been kind of ripping. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing her on finals day. She has nothing to lose, everything to day to gain, you know. And then Kira. Yeah. Kira is a powerhouse. You know, she's yeah. a solid power surfer, knows what to do here. We don't have the updated, but I think Zoe Kaina is still there. Kira, Sanoa, or is it, yeah, Sanoa, Matea. So, kind of the vets of the list besides Zoe Kaina, who is, you know, surfing really 13. well. And the swell's dropping tomorrow, so. Could fit right up her alley. Yeah, I, I, I like your. I feel like on my side, this heat, Kolohe had this afternoon. Obviously, whoever. Oh, so still Kolohe's got, still going. St- I, I left the beach for a sec. Still so got to get know. through the round of 16, but I yep. think that might be the worst. That was the heat where. You just got to get through, and then the floodgates open. And oh, yeah. And Kolohe loves if it's smaller, the kind of moment. Yeah, and I think tomorrow smaller. He could revel in. But we still got the day left, round of 16. This heat right here, Dunphy's been dropping 12s, 13s every heat. Yeah. It's, you know, Nat Young still in there. Nat as well. Maybe we'll ask after the round of 16. I think after the round of 16, everything will be a little clearer. We'll have a quarterfinals draw. Yeah, this is the last heat of the round of 32 right now that so we're watching. Here's Donny speeding across this thing, oh. and he gets out of there. That thing was chip choppy. Oh, Whoa. Carlos. Munoz started off this heat, and then... In the lead, went a little bit sleepy. We weren't sure if he came in or he was out there, and then here he is. Two minutes on the clock, looking to better a 5-1-7. He went so fast into that first section. I like how he approached that. Yeah, you think more horizontal, but you think he, you know, he's trying to better the 5-1. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I have to re-see it all. Yeah. 
my mind's a bit fried <laughs> eggs right now. It's cooked. It's cooked. Well, Horde, important way for Horde, and he's out of there. He's looking for the, uh, oh, whoa, oh. Wesley. Wesley. Slashing and dashing. I think he might have gone. A little aerial. Or a blow tail reverse. We'll check the replay. A lot of action with only 140 on the clock. L scores for everyone to drop. He needs the 6-8. Horde actually needs less with the 6-0-8. And he already has the 5.6. So something in that realm to make the uh, judges uh, think about it. So see what Wesley... Wesley had the spin and then a couple little... Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be his best wave. Yep. But it's not going to be enough for the the switch of the heat. It'll allow him to get out the back, though, and not need as extensive of a score. Well, here it is. So. Last ditch effort. Dylan Horde on the backhand. Slash right there. Slash again. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back. We are here live from the south side of Surf City, Huntington Beach, and we are marching right into the round of 16. Heat number one, Luca Messinas, Cole McCaffrey, Sam Reedy, Nolan Raposa. This is a full-on battle. So the last round, we shed 16 surfers. We are whittling it down to... Um, that was out of the 32. Now we're in the round of 16. We're going to lose eight surfers and qualify eight for the quarterfinals. We uh, had a little internet down, and Courtney, looks like there was some action that happened. There uh, happen. was. Luca dropping a 6.33 on his second ride and a 3.0 on his first. And then Sam, 4.83. So things are moving forward. Cole, just with a minor score of a 3.5 and a 2.33. And Nolan still looks like he's getting his flow. Going in the early stages, we still have like 15.50 on the clock. So plenty of time for someone to bust through in this heat. But uh, Luca's definitely on his way. Yeah, he's a gamer. That is a fact. Coming off a big win at the 5,000. Qualifying for the Challenger Series. Luca Messina is also a former uh, World Championship Tour surfer. And there he goes right now, running down the line. A little speed climb. Coming around this corner, snap off the top. Uh, just buys to exit a little early. And then uh, Cole, holding priority over Nolan, decides to go on this one. Nice first turn. Carving it through the top as well. Boom. Smashing the finish. That's a nice wave for Cole. He'll be stoked to put that one under his belt. And uh, Luca. Quick in and out for him. Not sure. I don't think he did anything out the back, but we'll wait to see the replay. Yeah, I mean, 
Nice first term for a goal. Rapid fire here. Boys yeah. are uh, locking in waves to the score line. And I can tell you, Court, I was up in the VIP watching people sip cold beverages, but just getting a lay of the land uh, of the lineup. And I saw some bigger waves than what I thought I had previously seen in a few heats. And I was like, well, the tide... I mean, the tides it's bottomed out. It's bottomed out. Maybe that's what it is. We're we're now on the other side of the tide. But <clears throat> I was kind of like, all oh, right, whoa, there was like a shoulder head high wave. Like I saw um, in that last heat with like Carlos on it. I'm like, okay, there's energy out there still. It's not hasn't completely like abandoned us. So that's a good thing. Here we are going into this uh, th this round of 16, four heats coming up next. Owen Moss, Tara Watanabe, Nat Young, Jet Schilling, Heat 3, Blair Barton, Ryland Rubens, Al Cleland, Carlos Munoz, and the final heat of the day, Wheeler Hasbro, Chloe Andino, Michael Dumphy, and Luke Ginaldo. So, I mean, but look at this. Proper. Proper. And at least while I was away, it kind of seemed like the wind had turned a little more westerly. So maybe that's allowing the faces to be a little cleaner. Sure, and oh boy, how was that, Sam? That was nice. Oh, uh, you hear the whistles. It's all happening out there. Out the back. Nice carve. Just a setup turn at the start. Bringing this thing all the way through to the inside. He's beaching it, for sure. Nice snap to finish. So couple rides to uh, see what the situation sets up as, and actually a few rides, so I'll go from there. But starting this round of 16 with fireworks for sure. Of some medium-sized scores. Yeah, and uh, just to take care of some of our, you know, sponsor um, responsibilities, the Jax Pro, this is the seventh annual and hats off to Ron Bobby and Jamal and the entire Jack's family for ramping up the event to a $3,000. $9,500 takes the cake in prize money. Wow. And more importantly, the rally cry to the industry to come down here and support pro surfing and inevitably supporting themselves, putting them, uh, you know, front and center <clears throat> to the gen pop here on the sand in Huntington and having the ability to just reach out and uh, interact with people and put their brands in front of uh, potential consumers and turn them oh, into customers. Yeah. That's what we love. That turn from Sam was sharp. He ended up gaining a 6.33 off of that ride. And Nolan a 5.37 for this wave. So yeah. we're just waiting for Coles to drop through. He has a five right now. And and there is the uh, five, v the heavy beer. action from the, uh, the Cold Beer Club. And I'll tell you, it's all happening. Everybody's enjoying themselves. You see all those teeth? That's happy people. Buds and brews. Happy people. Definitely. <laughs> hey, Wesley Santos. Having a brewski. Nice cold one. Uh, looks like uh, David DeCarmo and just all the boys. Team Brazil. So good, so happy. Um, come on down, though. Um, we are on the way out today with only a few more heats. But tomorrow, big day, finals day. We've got A-plus brands down here. Whoa, just uh, I'll throw it on pause, let you run us through this wave, Court. Yeah, Sam just working his way on this left, doing a good job for the size, you know, for what that wave had to offer. He definitely dropped a couple nice snaps in the pocket. <laughs> uh, it's the Winchell fam. Yep. Tom Winchell, uh, Layright Deluxe, absolute legend. If you surf Maghurst, you are bound to run into Tom Winchell. That is a fact. Definitely. <clears throat> but let me try to just belt this out as fast as I can before the action gets hot and heavy. <laughs> We've got A-plus uh -oh. brands. 
O'Neal, Rourke. I know. O'Neal, Rourke, Mellon, uh, Stance, Rusty, Olakai. Rhythm, Sunbum. You need sunscreen. They're here. Rhythm, if you buy anything up top at the Jack's flagship store, bring the receipt down. And they're raffling off a surfboard. And that receipt will put you into the raffle for Rhythm Clothing. Um, Slow Tide, Rain, Ava, Dragon, Billabong, Loose, Ruka, Captain Finn, Volcom, Fuwax, Dakine, Caton, Salty Craw, oh, there's that boys, there we go, Just Astro, Simpa, and I don't know this cat's name, but he's straight up high, and what a just a gem of a game. Oh, we love, we love the 8th of 5 scene. Hype is up over there in the yeah. VIP zone. Oh, lots of teeth, everybody's happy. Yeah. Quicksilver, Futures, Sharp Eye, Rip Curl, Firewire, Cat Surf, Carve sur- uh, Skateboards, <laughs> Reef, Costa, Monera, Almeric, Hurley, XL, Pizel, Cobian, Lost, Hayden Shapes, oh. FCS. They're all here. Great top turn right there. He's stoked on it. Sam with the 633 and a 483 and his top two scores. Looking to replace that on this ride. We'll see what it comes in as. Yeah, well, and on the way in, if that's not enough for you, if that's not overwhelming enough and enough free stuff, then as you walk in here on the runway to the Jack's Pro, we've got Acai Republic, Taco Surf, Java Jaws Coffee, Zevin, Automotive Excellence, Spy Optics, <laughs> Nixon, Laywright, Super 73, Hydro Flask, 805, Visit HB, US Air Force, and Dickies. It Dickies is all happening. Too. Wow. It's all happening. I always wear a pair of Dickies while I'm painting. Yeah, so I mean, those are amazing brands. They all live, most of them, in the house of Jax. Epic. And uh, Jax has multiple locations. They also have flyers down here in every vendor's tent, as well as their own, which are good for 20% off, either online on jaxsurfboards.com or in the physical store up on Main Street. Show up, blow up, make it happen. There you go. House, I love it. Housekeeping. Nailed it. Done. Now we're at 730. Thank you to all those supporters that made this show happen. Start of the season for the qualifying series. Wouldn't be here without them. So, and it looks like we have Cole up and riding. A little snap to start things off. Got the fins free a bit on that finishing turn. So it yeah. can really light them free on this wave. Yeah, a little two banger and uh, trying to replace the three five. I'd say he's probably done that. He might get that four three four, you know, that he's looking for. <laughs> all right, right, dynamite. It's all happening. So here's the replay of Cole right now. Uh, nice snap to get things going. Yeah, I feel like he might be on his way with that. His finishing turn, good amount of flair, you know. And things are looking positive. Yep, 5-4-3 for the last of Cole. So he is sitting now in second place. Sam's still having the reins on the lead in this heat. And uh, Luca is now in third. Holding priority, though, only needing a 5.1. Yeah, so it's still wide open in this heat. You know, 6.33 kind of shared a single high total with Messinas and Reedy. And then you've got Raposa and McCaffrey kind of just nipping on their heels of just about a point shy. But, yeah. you know, I mean, it's anybody's game, but we are down to 5.40. Yeah. And you know what? I think Brett made mention of the wind and... You can see it from the drone angle now. It is definitely more coming from the back and maybe a little more out of the west. So you don't have that weird cheddary face. And uh, it does we look cleaner. We see a cleaner. little tussle action right here between red and white. White's up and riding Nolan. Looking spicy on that first turn. He is on the hunt for a 507 on this ride. Not sure if... Uh, the size of this wave is going to allow him to elevate to the 507, but we'll leave that one to the judges. Uh, five minutes on the clock. 
Yeah, uh, definitely. And then, yeah, five minutes on the clock, and uh, he has plenty of time. He will be in fourth priority on the hunt for a score. You know Sam and Cole will be on him with this time winding down. And Nolan just a bit short, 4.23 on that last ride. Feel like the wave let him down a little bit. His surfing's looking great. Well, there was no shortage of effort here. Definitely not. He really elevated this wave. You know, it's a pretty soft wave, not a lot of wall, but he was looking dynamic. He just needs that wave that stands up a little bit more, allows him to do what he did in the last heat in the round of 32. Well, I mean, Nolan's going to charge out there with a low, uh, the low priority. I mean, he should be on the forage and just stay far away from these guys and just go try to find one. Look at this wave. This Holy wave smokes. So awesome. Sam and Luca. Luca needs a score on this. He needs a 4.1. Uh, decides not to go. And wonder, another one. If that was a little bit of a strategy, I keep red off of the wave, but this one for Luca is... And another one. See what happens. The size is way better on this wave. Nice carve. Snap in the pocket. Looking solid on this ride. Let's see if he gets that finish, and he does. So it's definitely looking positive to attain that score of the 4-1. Yeah, he's in replace mode. But, I mean, the little just uh, McFlurry of sets right there was unbelievable. I'm like, hold the phone. Where did this new energy, it felt like it just increased by a foot in the last uh, 40 minutes. Yeah, the tide's shifting. We're getting the push of the tide now, so we might get a little surge of waves. Um, great technique. Doing what he needs to do in order to get the score on this wave. He is looking for a 4-1, and it is looking like he will clearly get that and some. Currently sitting in fourth right now, not for long. He moves to the lead. Luca is now in the lead with a 6-3-3 and a 6-4-3. Oh, Nolan, come on. Nolan. Come on. He knows he needs something extra. So Whoa. does a nice, <laughs> nice claim. Little blow tail reverse on the finish there. He's looking for the 5-8 now. 5-8. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, that thing was sticky icky right out of Long Beach. Like, it was... He just didn't let it go until the end, and I'm like, oh, but it looked like there was waves out the back, too. Like, he got caught yeah, there. Got caught. And then came up and kind of, like, didn't, Lateral. And didn't really get it, and then bang, right here, let it fly. Let the hammer. Um, Hammer's flowing. I mean. He's feeling the vibes. He's like, he thinks he has it. It might be a little on the thin side, personally. He needs a 5.8. Like, if... Yeah, it's he didn't nail the first turn. He didn't nail the second turn. Yeah. Judges go four four seven. And I I think that was spot on. You know, those first two turns, if he ended up attacking that first section well, he would have been up for that score. Yeah. Sam has priority. He is in second. Doing a little defense from Cole. Uh, Hammers that. Finish. He had that as a first turn, and then did that rev. He's. Nolan would have been on his way to the score, but... Steve's in the oh, end man. out, too. All right. Sam with the blast. Down to a minute. I mean, Messina's out another score to a score line. It looks like if that's the score, it was a keeper. 6-4-3. Yes. Yeah, is that it? 6-4-3 for Messina. Is that it, or is it yeah, still that waiting? Yeah, turn in the heat. So we are looking for uh, Sam's score right now well sam's just gonna make sam's the job tougher yeah we're down five, to nine, seven so he's making it more difficult on cole oh we're down to half a minute this half is... a minute cole has priority so that's a positive he might get a shot right <laughs> he here well he has time no one's around him right now so he is going just need to let it go and let it loose on this scratching no other option oh, in oh. Ugh. Brutal. Nope. 
it's tough because Cole was getting through the heat most of the time, and then at the end. Aye, aye, aye. Well, yeah. don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more round of 16 action after this break. Welcome back. South side of HB, round of 16, heat number two. I am Chad Wells. Mr. Brett Simpson joining me in the box. We've got Owen Moss, Tara Watanabe, Nat Young, Jet Schilling set to do battle. This is going to bring us two quarterfinalists. This is a big one right here, Wellsy. It's a biggie. Did you see that first turn, Taro? Jump climber. It's just coming down to like, you know, what's this thing going to do? Is he... This board looks nice, though. He's just swizzling across. Don't jinx him. He's out of there. Might have just needed to stay low road. But watch this first turn. If we get a replay, how much speed he gets off this climb projection. Probably not high scoring, but watch this, right? Oh, gosh. Whoa. Is it? Where is he surfing? Free falling. Lower trestles? <laughs> how was that drop? Like, where did that wave come that from? That was a bomb. Oh, uh-oh. Well, watch this right here. Boom. Gets a bunch of speed. But uh, Moss had the big twist, wrap, slide thingamajig. Hmm. Well, up again. So low tide. Little, it's sad. Like, to me, these waves are kind of little selfie things, like the best ones. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to go back to reference the Chaz cast, but was there some sneaky south? That's on what he was water? saying, some underlying. Ooh. And then this is this is definitely a little more. Okay. Um, click. This is Jet Chilling. So this is a stacked heat. Nat Young, obviously hailing out of the land of the right, Santa Cruz, California. I think uh, first year on tour, tour finished top five and uh, finished runner-up at Bells Beach. And uh, might have runner-up at Portugal as well, so had a crazy good year. And then, um, you know, little hiccups here and there, but 
He's uh, looking to get back there. Was there last year. Just missed the cut, which I'm not a big fan of. But who cares about my opinion? Replay. <laughs> Give me some scores. Total recall. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, look at the end of the pier right here. How are these lumps? This is great. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, well, so excited at this swell. Natty's just going to sit calm, cool. He's not going to try to outgrovel all these guys. He's going to he's gonna end up looking for the waves that, you know, are a bit more solid and kind of present themselves. But we're going to throw it down to Luca Messina. Last heat winner. Came from behind. Got that last score. Luca, you there? Hey, guys. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> there he is. Good job. Congratulations. Into the Thank quarterfinals you. now. You're on a nice little run. Congratulations on Barbados. That was a Thank you, well put together contest. And uh, what's what are you riding? Uh, well, I'm riding a 510 and a half. It's a 77 model of Sharpie. This is the same board I was using in Barbados. Uh, I feel like it's a, just a magic board that works in everything. I used it in my first hits uh, yesterday. I used it in Barbados. I used it in like really small waves like today. And it keeps working in everything. So, yeah, I'm really stuck with this <laughs> magic wow. board. Wow. Yeah. Gotta love it. It keeps working in everything. Sometimes the board just does it. <laughs> yeah. you know? And uh, obviously, it's not the board. You look just in fine form. So, thank you. Congratulations. And uh, any shout outs? Uh, yes, uh, quiero saludar a toda la gente de Perú que me está mirando, que me está apoyando. Seguimos con todos, seguimos representando eh, y vamos a darle duro. Thank okay. you guys. Well, Appreciate it. Good job. Enjoy yeah. those Layright Deluxe extra dollars and uh, <laughs> keep up the good work. We'll see you tomorrow yeah. morning. See you tomorrow, guys. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, Luca. You. So there you go. Winner of heat number one, round of 16. Luca Messinas finds himself into the quarterfinals that guy is along on. with Sam Reedy. He's rolling. Yeah, big result for Sam as well. He's uh, garnering some good points here. Good well, like I, well, like I was saying, round of 32, we lost 16 surfers. Round of 16, we're going to lose eight surfers. Yep. Qualify eight for the quarterfinals. Well, and I guess if you look at you know, the cut, after so this is the first major 3000 event but it it's in the men's it's seven surfers and the women's it's four so women's you kind of have to be quarter like semis quarters at least only taking four is super gnarly right yeah i mean that's a small window you don't have a lot of room for shockers though too because there's you know maybe six seven events counting 1000s which if you win one it helps yeah you 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 definitely will keep, most likely keep it. But, I mean, you look at some of the men's totals this year, we're talking losing, missing the missing the qualification number by, like, 70 points. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, Not and that's happened, that's happened for years, even when, the, when it was a little bit different, how, how the points are situated and how you might miss the cut by, you know, 50, 100 points. Just that's why there's... Each result here has a point system. Third place in that last heat, he gets 945 points. Fourth place, 13th place, they get 796 points. So, yeah, you uh, even if you're in these rounds, quarter, you know, quarters, obviously it's man on man, but these other ones, like sometimes it could be a third place over a fourth place. That is the difference. Which is just scary. <laughs> it's Either. It's uh, splitting hairs. Yeah, when once it comes once, down to slicing the cake. Once you're amongst it too, you don't think like you're just thinking I need to make the heat. You're never surfing for third place. Like, yeah, right. You rather get an interference. You know, <laughs> or like <laughs> you're not like. <laughs> Look at this. But bomb, bomb, yeah, bombs away. It's all happening, Brett. Bombs away. Natty goes. It looks like he's coming in the four range. Quick backup. Mm-hmm. Slash, slash right there, a little flatter section. He's going to try to carry the speed. The Cobra bang, bangs it right there. So Nat Young, he has two rides. And we're waiting for some scores for all riders. I mean, uh, just on uh, the 52,000-foot view, Owen Moss just seems to go out and find, find the gears fast. He, heat after heat. He's definitely become 
a force to be reckoned with. 100%. Owen's I, always been there. Like, he's always, name has been there, junior ranks. He was at the top, obviously, East Coast. You know, West Coast maybe had a little more, has a little more depth, but he's come on this year and really just like proving himself. Yeah, well, and I mean, I'm super surprised that a kid. I mean, how old is the Grom? Oh, 16, 17? No, he's a, he's older now. He's probably 18-19. Okay, yeah. I mean, sponsorless. I'm not saying older. But... Qualified for the Challies with basically no real major sponsorship. Yeah, pretty heavy. I mean, wow, Jet Schilling. Ooh, Jet looking deadly. Not chilling. And he's looking. He is. Well, he, he hasn't had many rights this event. I will say he hasn't surfed a ton in the last month. He's been dealing with a couple little niggling injuries. But, you know, yesterday we saw that first he, he missed a couple waves. He's like, man, I paddle out. And you know when you don't surf for a bit? Paddling's the hardest thing. When you're riding waves, you kind of can get it back a couple waves under your belt. He just couldn't get into the waves. Oh, trust me, I lived it out here. And you, yeah, but this wave, that's that's one of the turns of uh, this heat, bar none, and they're gonna really like it. They love what they love about Jet is the connectivity of how he strings his maneuvers together, and uh, he he milked this one to the. Till the ultra, <laughs> the ultra. Well, I mean, uh, this is your current junior world champion, so he is definitely a, a gamer. And I would say even kind of that backhand wave was kind of reminiscent, very Nat Youngish. Kind of, yeah, agreed. And look at a lot of similar scores. You got Owen sitting in the lead, five six, five or uh, four point oh. Nat four one seven five one Jet gets the best of that five seven three on his last, so it's Taro with the four one seven kind of anyone's ball game. Taro's got priority, needs a five one, so we kind of have seen the scores creep down a little bit on this lower tide, and like you said, they things are tightening up on the maneuvers are definitely going to be you know bigger maneuvers are going to ultimately garner the big scores but jet's gonna work this one through he does he needs a what is he three five four to kind of overtake nat so it's gonna be a battle yeah i mean this heat feels still young and nobody's really ran away with it as far as scoring goes you know no owen his last he bang eight points yeah. like threw everybody on the ropes this one still seems kind of you know the door's kind of creaking just burr, yeah or just Kind of open still in anybody's heat. 1240 remaining. Taro, I mean, he had that quick one out of the gates, the 4 1. He's been quiet, sitting with priority, you know? Yeah. And then you, we've talked about it a bazillion times already this week. Is it a blessing or a curse? The priority, huh? Yeah. yeah. Like waiting for some, the mystery eight that's never coming and maybe it comes. Yeah. It. <sighs> It's such a hard thing. Yeah, you almost rather just, I prefer just to have that rhythm of catching waves. I know sitting sometimes you start to think about it and you overthink and you can kind of make one in this, with with this level of surfing and surfers in the seat, bad decision or two could send you packing. There's not a lot of room for error. Yeah. Not a lot. But uh, he's going to roll into this little mid chip and, you know, nice start. Wraps it in the pocket. He needs this thing to kind of double up. Slash there. Board speed across. Lifts over that. So good surfing. Just maybe somewhat of a, you know, mediocre wave. Yeah, I mean, Taro trying to just add to the score line. A 5-5-4 five, five, required. Is it going to go into the 5 range? We'll let the judges figure that out. But... Yeah. Um, it just still feels like it's very wide open. Nobody's found that magic gem that really separates, you know, the the fives from the sevens and eights. Looks like Mossy right here snaps it, carves it back in the pocket. So well read right there, and that thing just dies out. So it doesn't want to really waste any more energy. All right, 11 minutes. Owen Moss dropping another one into the score line, and it just kind of has that forage feeling like everybody's just kind of just trying to hunt one down they're all just hunt every 
they're pretty much looking at every little chip that comes through and seeing if you know they can make a score out of it. There is the odd better wave, but there isn't a lot of them. Well, and this might be the every other, right? Sure. Like we're on the off side of it. Yeah, because they're staying busy, but we're battling fours and fives. Taro goes four six, so that's a better. So it kind of helps him. He needs a five oh eight, better to, by point five his other wave somewhat. Nat having a dig here would love to be taken off where that thing had started. But up and riding. Ooh. So nice slash there. Cuts this one back. So first turn was solid. He's going to stay with it, see if there's anything. And he milks that one to the end. Nothing there. So a lot of it's coming down to that major maneuver. First one wasn't uh, necessarily in the pocket, but with Natty's timing and precision through a lot of spray. So it's coming in. It looks like it's going to be close. He gets it. 4.73, so by a hair. So it's kind of a flip-flop effect with 9.30. Yeah, I mean, it's a tic-tac affair. Guys are just chipping away and uh, at the requirements. And really, no wave has kind of popped up that's been like a, you know, the the hold the, hold the rails moment. Well, it's been a goofy foot uh, advantage. I don't know how to actually say advantage, but I would say the backhand is getting the bigger scores because of this. They're able to square up a little bit more and make those turns a little more dynamic. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's its a its a fact. You can get up and down out of the lip a lot faster on your heels. So that wave comes in 4.73, pretty much all off that first maneuver. Mm-hmm. All right, 850 remaining. Schilling in front, Young in second, Moss on the hunt for the 4.16. And Watanabe chasing the 5-2. Here goes your current heat leader. So a little slip and slide right there for Jet. Slashes that one. So, I mean, trying to turn this, you know, flatter wave into something a little more dynamic. He might get a little rebate on the inside as he does. Snaps it there and hits it again. So just working over every, you know, what of that wave yeah i mean just anything to just separate right separate yourself extend that lead better that four seven seven yeah show show your skills and ability consistency i think that all factors in you know obviously they're judging wave to wave but definitely helps well we did get lucky wind wise right yeah. today like it never went bananas blew it out like just on just on like the minor little touch of white cap just yes. almost yeah. but it never cooked it completely which is good yesterday we i mean we saw like crazy gale force winds. that was howling yeah and and we typically get that where the next day light offshore then it kind of trickles around on shore and yeah now it's like you said, it's probably west, southwest, not as much south, which I think is better. Yeah, and it heated up too, which kind of also feels like that helps. Yeah, it's spring. Spring, spring is in the air. Radiator weather. Shed it to shred it. <laughs> well, we're looking only at, you know, if you can get yourself into double digits, you're going to have a chance. Jet's done that. He's on the 10.56. He uh, replaced his 4.77 only just with a 4.83. Young in second on the hunt for the 5.47 for the lead, but really just trying to put some space between Owen Moss and himself and even Taro. And then you've got Owen chasing the 4.16. I mean, this kid's deadly. 4.16 is nothing for him. And pretty much as uh, as well as Taro, 5-2 for Taro. I mean, these kids can drop these scores in their sleep. It looks like Mossy on to something here. Oh, boy. So cracks it up off the top, wraps it again, and another. So he's definitely on his way. He just got a 7.5. <laughs> so he, oh, he almost oh, was boy. like, I'm done. And the thing just said, no, you're not. Right, just bonus click, section. Click. Here, bonus Yeah, segment. well, just recently qualified and just said, put it down. Yeah, put right. Put the scores down. Gave it the finger snap of approval. 
and like you just said, you kind of called it. You said, oh, he's deadly. And then we're waiting for someone to kind of just take over the heat in a way. I mean, when's that shot of Owen Moss? Owen like Moss, when was 14? Slick backs, <laughs> dude. He did have the cornrows there for a bit. So that might have been then. But, yeah, just well strung together. The third, maybe the biggest. And, uh, and right. again. You're right. He was like, he was like, I'm done. And then was t- <laughs> looked over his shoulder and went, oh, I'm going to crack this thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a little left in the tank. Bang, bang. Uh, there it comes. It's coming into the excellent range. 8.17. Moss jumps to first. Schilling second. Now it's a battle of third and fourth. Need 5.47 for Nat Young. Blue needs a 5.93. So all these guys are capable of that. It's just, you know, Owen put himself in that position to find that way. I'm not sure where he's at on the bank, but. Yeah, he sniffed it out. He's got the rhythm. Sniffed it out and capitalized. I mean, and, and again, these are the waves you can't make the mistakes on. Did not flawlessly surfed it. Nailed yeah, it. it. Surfed it perfect. 817. Judges loved it. We loved it. Now, uh, currently. With a stronghold on the lead, 13, 8, 4 points. I mean, I'd like to go look through the draw and see what this kid's uh, average is. totals? Yeah, I mean, he seems like he's always doing... Uh, he at least had that- 13. Last team, I think I was on the beach, and he had the 8, and then he backed it up with like a 5, 5, 9. So what's that, 13, 9? Yeah, like he's always in that 12 and above yeah. range. Yeah, I think when you're just... He, he's got that, like mojo right now where just the consistency's there he's surfing smart heat obviously the surfing's there good board good equipment confidence there's a lot to factor in to be a consistent surfer at this level you know yeah because you could li- like there's sometimes you know you could lose and you have a pretty decent heat you know you didn't surf bad might have been a decision here or there but you still have 12 plus points and then you can win a heat with 10 points, and you're kind of like, well, I snuck through that one, and you're a right. little down on yourself. But those are the ones you just got to cherish. More, I feel those, those ones are more important in a long event than the ones – I mean, anyone's winning a heat with two eights. Like, you get two eights, you're probably getting through. For the most part. Right? If you lose, you can at least walk off the beach. You're pissed, but you walk off the beach and like, I put up. 16 points well, and those are the anomaly heats that just sometimes happen oh. where guys drop a pair of nines yeah everyone just goes berserk if i had a heat in portugal it was a three man on the ct but felipe and colohe felipe has a 10 and a nine something colohe had two nines and i had like a nine and an eight <laughs> it was psycho it's like dude i was comboed you're like i'm the odd man i'm out. like what in the world <laughs> that's heavy yeah it was a it was a nuts heat. There's, there was like it was one of those sides where like four to six foot. I got two pretty sick left barrels. I'm like, dude, I'm scorching it. I look back, Felipe just does one of his doing ten like <laughs> ten points. I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, Brother just... gets a barrel and a hit, gets near a nine eight, maybe. Yeah, it was nuts. Can you just not do that? Yeah. <laughs> Save that for later. Well, this was well surfed again, like Moss just going rhythm surfer. Well, I like the burst of speed he had. Weight right? on, weight off. Just glided, drove, put it together. Is that going to help the cause? I don't think so. It didn't have the finish, but Taro's hunting around. He might see a little cleaner wave. He's he's pretty enthusiastic about this one if he can get into it. So spotted something that he might like, slashes it right there. Boom, big fin drift. So nice turn there. Uh, looking more down the line, trying to keep that board speed. I'm not sure if there's anything left on this, but yeah. I mean, it looked like he caught that one on the mid chip. As it, you know, like when it hits the middle, it kind of backs off and. Well, it looks like Nat shows had a wave face. too. So. Oh boy. Jet shilling up and riding. This could cause trouble, but slashing through the inside here. And it just, you never know what these things are going to do through the inside if if they're able to make it. Minute to go. Nat looking for the 5-4-7. Yeah, tight heat. This could be a final. 
right? Like, Absolutely. Look at that. Damn, stacked. I mean, obviously we go man on man, but these are having the likes of Nat and, you know, Kolohe and these other, you know, some of these guys that are qualified for the challengers. Jet, I think, is in. Taro's going to get some chances as he was like one spot out this year. So it's quiet times wondering how this one's going to finish up. It looked like everyone got a ride. I don't know what to tell you, ladies and gentlemen out there. Right. Well, oh, Moss ain't going to better, but he's pretty hefty out in the lead. Well, don't go anywhere. We will be back. So out the back, there is another opportunity. So Taro's way, a little slash in the pocket, and then really nice fin drift control. That would have felt, you know, pretty cool. It looks sick. It looked beautiful. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Well, well, Nat Young's got a nice score coming in. Okay. Should we hang out? Yeah, we're hanging out. Red, I don't think that's going to matter, but Nat looks like he's going to make the jump, and then it's going to come down to... Well, Jet had a wave, right? Jet did have a wave, but Nat's getting his best. Cracks it right here. Slashes again. I don't know if it's going to better. Taro is going to come under. It's in that five range. So looking like Nat Omos. A couple of the underdogs, no sponsors, just doing work well no major clothing sponsor or anything but at the moment don't matter making heats yeah i mean uh there's any no sticker on the boards are going to help with that yeah exactly you got to go out there and capture it do it so waiting on the last scores looks like it's trickling in i think i mean by what i'm seeing it's looking like red and white going to be advancing on. Owen Moss, Nat Young. There it is, 6.4. Waiting on a one of Jet. It's not going to be enough. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back after this.
Wow, what a barn burner. Welcome back. Owen Moss, 13.84 points over Nat Young's 11.50. Not making the heat 10.56 points was Jet Schilling and Taro Watanabe at 9.83. I mean, gnarly, gnarly heat. Round of 16, heat three in the water. Al Cleland, Carlos Munoz, Blair Barton, and Rylan Rubens. So did I hear you correctly? We have Owen on the glass. All right, Owen, you there? Yo. Wow, stressful, huh? It took a while for that little left dinger. Yeah, no, it was kind of a tough heat. I was, the beginning, there was like a weird little thing where one of the guys kind of got in my way. Like I missed the first section, kind of like the best right of the heat. But uh, yeah, I was able to regroup and find a few. Is that was that right out of the gate? So you took a late drop. Was it that one? Yeah, it was like the late drop one. I was, it was he was like right under me, so I just like my fins like touched him. Oh wow, we like, were kind of oh. wondering what was happening. We're yeah. Like, oh, where is he? How's, how are you free falling in a yeah. HB day like this? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, great heat. Thank you. Amazing surfing. You. Board looks good. You look good. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're done for the day. Yep. Finals day tomorrow. Yeah. How you feeling? Feeling good. Um. Yeah, I just want to keep it rolling, and it uh, feels good. Now I get to surf some man-on-man -man heats, and uh, yeah, I get to surf a little more. Unreal. Well, congratulations. You are the recipient of some more cold, hard, uh, deluxe bucks cash yeah, from Lay Right. Yeah, every comp needs to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, before we let you go for the evening, just uh, anything you want to say to the peoples out there in Webland? Yeah, no, just thank you to everyone supporting me, all my friends and family. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Unreal. Congrats. We will see you tomorrow. Sounds good. And that was your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Round of 16, heat number two, Owen Moss taking the win. Moving into the quarterfinals, we have action in the water. Holy smokes. Blair Barton, six points. Yeah. Al Cleland, seven points. What's it's happening a, out there? It's firing up. Is it the every other? It's firing up. They came out of the gates blaze, and here it is. Al left. Oh, geez. This is number two, so rapid fire for Cleland. Mm. My goodness. She has nailed this thing. So if the first one was a seven, what's that thing? <laughs> we'll have to see. Wow. Rapid fire for Cleland. Wow. Radical. I love it. Well, it looks like Ryland uh, chipped away, 367. Al opened up with a 7. Blair opened up with a 6, has a small score behind it. Um, wow, I mean, hopefully we can get a look at the replay of the 7. But my goodness, that thing, I mean, 8s or lates? I don't. I think it's going to go under. You think? Yeah, yeah. just because it was a little bit, um, like, in a sense, Ladder face like he tore the bag out of it but he made that score i don't know what yeah we, if i could see if we had the six or seven i think it'd be a little bit different we can start yeah. to throw i, I don't out. know what to compare it to but wow but maybe like fireworks like, here's a game. seven so okay. big blast lip climber comes across slash well you're right well z six one set or seven one seven so pocket sevens off the get go. We're Wellsy's taking a break. <laughs> Courtney's back in. I'm back right in time. You are back in attack because we've had some rapid fire action. Blair Barton six zero right here. I mean. And then Allen getting a seven one seven. He's got he blew up on two a sevens in seven minutes. That's amazing. Two sevens in seven minutes. That'll do the trick. Definitely. What a great way to end off this day with some epic round of 16 heats. Yeah, it's it's been solid. Rubens wrapping this thing through. He is on the dry sand right there. And then this is Cleland 7.0. So. Wow. He is in form right now. He's looking super sharp, just free, having fun of it, working yeah. his way through this inside. Nice snap. His timing is on point right now. Yeah, wow. that was well served. 7.17 Yeah. for everyone out there in Great Webland. Surf. 
go to your local beach break and start slashing around like Cleland. You know, you got to be able to surf the junk. You got to be able to surf the big barrels. You got to be able to surf it all. Yeah, you have to have all those tools. You can't just be a good good wave surfer, a good bad wave surfer, you know? Yeah. And that's what it takes from surfing glassy morning conditions, point breaks. Onshore. You know, onshore stuff. Everyone's off. going home. You're going out. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these amateur ranks, you have events finishing at around this time. We're at 3.56 Pacific time. And a lot of these events finish around this time. And usually it's onshore. So most of these athletes grew up, you know, competing in these conditions. So that's why they're primed for it definitely but you know it's what kind of makes a uh, a good surfer elite and here we go blair barton looking to make that jump nice snap to get things going coming around the corner just a little carve back into the energy waiting for this wave to really stand up just mm -hmm. pulls out we have Rylan on this one. He's looking for a five, five one on this ride. Really trying to milk this wave for everything it has. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's working his tail off, and he really did. He milked everything he could, but you know what? I think the judges are identifying that the busy. You know, they're not really rewarding the ultra busy work, as we can see. And he has a 3.67 and a 3.57. So they're looking for those major maneuvers. Definitely. And that wave right there strung it together, but he rode probably a couple hundred yards. And sometimes riding that long to get a 3.6, you're like, oh, I would take that back, <laughs> you know? Using all that energy just <laughs> yeah, it to takes get a three. toll. <laughs> It takes a toll on you. It does. Especially second heat of the day. You want to have that energy when the wave actually comes in and gives you the chance to really elevate your surfing. He's only looking for a 5.51. Five, That's a mild score. Obviously, you need some power turns in order to achieve that. So it looks like Luke's using one of my favorite fins from Futures, the coffins. coffins yeah. I love those. Wow. So this is better. Better start here. For um, Rylan. So now we're talking a little more. Uh, Still small size of waves, though, you know. Yeah, but the first one he was able to kind of pocket jam it. Good timing, spray. And that's what Cleland's kind of why he stood out. Rails are clean. Water's flying off where it should be. And not necessarily off the catchy rail. So right that there. That was nice. Okay, I missed that turn. Yeah, then up through it. And uh, this is this should give him the job. Five five one will put him into second. Yeah, I mean, had the recipe out the back. So let's see what the judges think on this one. He only has a pair of mid threes, so he'd love to break into that five range. Things have kind of calmed down out there in the ocean. Yeah, it definitely has. It's uh, it's taken, it's taken a change. We got Wheeler up next, and uh, it's you know this heat right here. Sure, thank you. Yeah, this heat next. We got a stacker court. Wheeler Hasber, Chloe Andino, Michael Dunphy, Luke Winaldo to finish up the day. So what a way to finish today. Two youngsters. I mean, yep. you got Luke and Wheeler, probably 18, 19. I am rooting for Chloe. Chloe? He's like a brother. Yeah, for sure. You guys grew up grew kind of up same together. era. Yeah. Same generation. Andrew Doheny. Doho. Luke Davis. Yeah. Louis D's probably watching, tuning in. He loves a gravel. <laughs> yeah, he loves surfing. <laughs> Just loves these events. Um, yeah, yeah, those guys really, you know, when I was a little mini grom at nine, those guys pushed me. I wanted to be up. Yeah. Able to get up with those guys. I remember my first event, I had the three of them in a final. And That's so sick. At State Park. And it was how I got started with Janice and Gaylene and SSA. And yeah. uh, now we see Red. Blair. Blair up and Ryan. 
a little bit bigger of a wave, kind of bending out to sea, but it looks like it's standing up on the inside right here. Yeah, he's timing it well. So far, so good. A couple little bumps to navigate, but it looks like Blue's last score, 517, so not enough. So Blair's looking to make it a little bit harder. Aww. And he pops that lip, but unable to ride it down it. Yeah. So it's a little, you know, it's kind of like a windshield whack, but it's sometimes if you only, you know, pivot around the tail, you lose that drive. And it, sometimes you have to have the <laughs> rail to get down. So there's the boys, Wesley. Davi and Wesley. Davi, Tele, or, uh, Davi Do Carmo, Wesley Santos enjoying their 805s. Wesley had a good event. Just yeah, came... he was feeling it a little bit, though. He's like... He knew he wasn't on those good rides, yeah. you know. So yeah. now he's just kind of washing it off with a cold one up in the 805 VIP area. Yeah, like, that's the way to do it, you know. Definitely just smile and reflect and then move forward. You Let know, you go. don't want to wear these losses too hard. You just want to learn from them yeah. more than anything. Yeah, so Cleveland, your heat leader, just kind of taking a little lap out there, just feeling it out. Oh. Nice turn there. His form is just on point this event. Yeah, I think I haven't he had a semi him, but... quarters or semis last year here. So definitely comfortable in these conditions. Yeah, so we'll see what that wave comes in as. But I have a feeling it'll just be a throwaway for Allen because he is... Holding a pair of sevens, and uh, yeah, it's just in the mid five range. So, some of the other competitors would take that at this moment, but <laughs> I think the other ones might love that score. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's not going to add to his cause right now, so it'll just simmer at the bottom of the scorecard. Yeah, he's just out there. Carlos, a little bit more, he's been a bit quieter, but this wave hits it's it right there. Snap. A little foam climb here. Just connecting the dots right now. Yeah, he's going to need something major coming at him right here. Ooh, so a little bit I better mean, there. added a little bit of cayenne to that turn. A little turn. spice. <laughs> spice of life. Yeah. You know, the start, <laughs> <laughs> the start was a little more horizontal. And then yeah. he spun it. You know, he's looking for the 7-1. I don't think it's definitely not going there. It but it could go there, but cut into that. I mean, his Give highest a... score is a 3-1, so he'll replace that for sure with a 4-1-3 it just dropped in. Yeah. And uh, nice little setup turn right there. A little board got above the lip, carving back, staying with the energy. We spoke about that yesterday, not getting too ahead of it, but then... Yeah, a little bit of flair that there. It was fun. It was cheeky. It was creative. You know. Yeah, just reason being, the first it missed the first turn a little, and then that turn coming into it, it was pretty flat. It was. He kind of yeah. had to just wait off spin. So that's why the score is where it is. Speed having to, you know, hop over the flats. It, it wasn't. It's not necessarily him. It's just that wave didn't really allow for anything super major. Definitely. And there's nine, almost 920 on the clock. So looks like Ryland's holding first priority right now and needing that 511. Yeah, the 511. He's already got the 51. So he kind of knows the recipe. Munoz goes 413. He knows he's going to have to lift his game 6.14. Barton's last wave was a four, or his previous a four two seven, which, you know, could have been more. It was actually maybe one of the. It was a decent wave. He just didn't really miss timed a few of the key moments, and that kind of what left that score at a six two seven. Yeah, it looks like we have a couple lines approaching. A few of the athletes are looking at it. Yeah. Looks like White is ready to pull the trigger. Nope. Maybe just. Trying Could to sell. Priority on that though. Yeah. Well, if he was second, he probably yep. should. Oh no, he didn't. Mm. Interesting. Maybe he didn't commit quite enough. Well, thank you, Mr. Manny. Cheers. Thank you. We've Thanks got so a much. Fun little session. You.
Thanks so much. Yeah, so a couple of refreshments. Couple of refreshments. Stay hydrated. We got uh, seven. Oh, just under eight minutes. Just under eight minutes. We got Rubens needing the five one one. It's anyone's ball game. We got someone over by the pier. Looks like uh, could be Carlito. Just made his way out from that left, trying to distance <laughs> Carlito. himself. Yeah, Carlito. <laughs> so we always call him. <laughs> Love that. I've always loved. Carlos's energy and just vibes. He always had, he truly lives that Pura Vida life. He does. Life. Yeah. And yeah, his energy, it's, it radiates positivity and levity. And, uh, you know, things aren't going his way in this heat right now, but there's still 7 10 on the clock. Uh, this is the time where I'm sure he's trying to will, will yeah. those karma coins. <laughs> yeah, I've been lucky enough to. Grow or be where car or go to where Carlos lives, and yeah, it's you're one with Mother Nature, you For know, sure. and it's just a lot more relaxed vibe. And we got a little recap here. Cleland, this is his 7.0. Started out the heat with a bang, you know, just th he's so light on his feet, you know, biggest oh. turn on the inside, but they're loving the power. Power. Okay. Well, and his timing, and it just and the tur turns yeah. look. You know, timing is power. It in is. In a way. Right there. Boom. Yeah. Well, you could surf at 70% of your energy and display more power it, just because your timing is usually more on point. Look at that wave. Just, a good example here is like he's not doing huge bottom turns, but where he's turning. bottom turning and turning, he's keeping his speed and generating speed. So and pushing through the turns, yeah. you know? And that's why the spray is flying up in the sky. And like we said, all in the right spots, not catching rails. And that's the fluidity that he's got himself a couple upper good range scores. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, you can end up overpowering a wave, especially on a day like today where the swell's kind of fading out, things are getting softer and, um, yeah, he's just really working this lineup well, and hopefully he brings us into finals day tomorrow. I mean, there's still five minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. And, he's your um, pick. He's your he horse. He's my pick. He's your horse. And you know what's funny? I didn't really know much of Alan till this event here, yeah. but watching how he reads this lineup, how he's navigating and utilizing the wave to elevate his scores he's doing really well so yeah, he's hopefully good. he brings it into finals day he's good in all surf he he's he hails out of pasquale or pasquale is down in mexico and if you ever been there big open beach break heavy water and yeah so he he revels in big stuff barrels front side back side has a pretty solid air game if you've seen the movie oh. Saturn and a few of the clips that have come out from Quicksilver, or he's yeah, uh, he's the real. He's got the whole package. I love that, and uh, we see Carlos stepping it up, giving his best effort right now. You see, he's fired up. He knows he needs some scores, and uh, he's attacking it out the back. Yeah, I heard some cheers. I I like to see a little replay. Here we go. Barton flared this one up too. A little more of the rail game on the forehand. Pops mm. that one little kind of jumpy, little but okay. And then wow, that was that nice. was really nice. Big Opened man. up the shoulders, followed through. And then Carlos, and Carlos on this. So you know, kind of had to like jump, stop, and then he's loving this. it there. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're gonna buy it, I... but he sold it. He's selling it to him. I just didn't think he had the projection into it. It was a little slow motion. Yep. But it's going to be his best for sure. It will be his best. But he's going to need more because Red just went 5.6. So now he's needing a 7.47. Seven. So mm -hmm. I think no matter the cause on that last wave, it's going to end up he's going to need a pretty solid score. At 3.20 on the clock. There it is. 4.3. So it is his best score of the heat so far, but he still needs a 7.3, and time is... T and look at this wave approaching. 
White's having a look. That's a no-go. Just a couple little lines. Blair could take to the sky. He's got Blair, a better 5.6. Coming in hot. A little snap. Arivo, you called it. And yeah. uh, what's he looking for right now? Better oh. at 5.6. Yeah. He's in second. So he's in second. He's advancing. He's just trying to improve a little bit. It was a nice Arivo. A little bit of a cheeky check turn. And yeah. then clean, clean air reverse. Nice. Rode out smooth. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they what they think of that. I personally look at that shot. Look at Emma, that oil rig in the horizon. Yeah, you got paddle out there all the time. Palos Verde is out there off the tip. Yeah, PV. You see Long Beach Harbor over there. And you can see the interval, like the the closeness of this, where it's of like the swell. it's like eight seconds. So that kind of swell that determines, right you know, each wave. There's eight seconds in between, so it's much closer than our typical ground swells that are 14, 15, 16 plus seconds. Yeah, and that could be like last night. That wind was howling, yeah. so. Could be why we still have more swell on offer right now. I feel like when we get south winds, sometimes it ends up pushing the swell away a yeah. little bit. So yeah. it's nice it turned a little westerly because maybe we'll have some waves still tomorrow. And that's a beautiful shot. We're way up. You can see all the way back to. And you uh, could see Pasea and you could see Santa that's Ana. Santa Ana right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Super clear <laughs> today. Downtown back I thought there. I saw the pond and. Uh, yeah. Angel Stadium. Yep. We see Carlos. Last ditch effort. 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Uh, he knows. Just surf it. Give it your best, dude. Oh. Yeah, that one was kind of done and dusted, dying out. So eight minutes or eight seconds. That will do it. Looking like Al Cleland, Blair Barton advancing to the quarterfinals, which will be tomorrow. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back right after this. So today we're here with this morning, we we're checking out the glass shop for Pizel in California, seeing where all the boards are shaved. I've been working with uh, John pretty much my whole life, my whole surfing career. We've created a pretty cool relationship in uh, building these boards. Um, I can kind of give my feedback and my feel of what I like in the board, and he's really good at articulating that and, and creating the shape from that. But it's pretty fun because we can just be open, you know, and I, I like it because it's, it's hard when you're creating product if you can't be open and truthful to the people that you're working with. So for me, working at Pizel, I can very clearly tell him, hey, this board does not turn very well at all. It's heavy. It's or this board was really good, this is the one. And be really excited about it and like, let's let's do this again. And being able to give those emotions, positive or negative, it's always very useful. Introducing
Do your thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, final heat of the day. If you're just tuning in, we are at the Jack Surfboards Pro round of 16 heat four. It's a stacker. Kaloe Andino, Michael Dunphy, Wheeler Hasbro, and L Luke Guinaldo hailing right here. Jack's team rider from Huntington Beach, California. So stacker of a heat. We got some replays already. Yeah. Looks like a little split peak. Kaloe up and riding. He started off with a 617. You could see why he's flaring out all his turns. Timing's on point. Looking sharp right now. A little cheater five to ride it in. Yeah, I like that. And then Mike got a quick up and down on that left, and then it looks like he goes, if I'm not mistaken, 3.5 right here as he kicks out. And then Wheeler, 7.0 on this thing. Wow. You so. can see why that first turn formed out through the lip. Bring it back. I'm telling you, this kid's backhand lethal weapon. <laughs> that first hand on deck slid the tail. Big spray. And it's it's one of those things where rails are clean. And, uh, yeah, he's just trying to cherry on top this bad boy. Wave 1, 7.0. Now it looks like local Luke up and riding wraps it right there. So We have a heat on her here. Staying low, Look cracks it again, gets some Aww. drift. And uh nice twist wrap. He's going to stay with it. See if he can just finish this thing with something that, uh, you know, Gardner's could be half point, could be point three. There Look it is. That. 5.33 for that effort he really milked that wave all the way through looks solid i loved his first turn yeah surfed his heart out on it definitely that wave of wheeler was epic seven point ride first turn was legit well 5.33 luke g like to see a replay of that. I thought he was kind of up in it. The second turn, timing the might have been a hair turn, off. And I have a feeling that's what held that score back from going to the six range. But uh, plenty of heat left. Only not even five minutes have gone by, and these guys are putting some scores on the board. And we're still waiting for Michael to really press some pressure on this heat. Yeah, well, he's he's got a priority. It looks like Luke, Whoa. big layback, unable to hang on there. He's gripping with his toes. Looks like Wheeler. Oh, he floated that thing and just floated all the way out the back. It's pretty soft out there. So it is gotta, pretty soft. Got to stay light. Got to stay nimble. But first turn, mm. nice finner. Okay, so work was done beyond that. This float is where he kind of loses it. But that wave looks like it was going to no man's land. Definitely. I think the work was done with the one turn and uh What's the brother man three, see? Two, three for that. Oh, Whoa. Layback. Everyone Larry. the Larry train. Wow. Whether you like it or not, I'm gonna do a layback. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say I do love how laybacks feel. Especially I can't when do you a, throw it out I can't and do pull a, it in. I got low low back issues. No <laughs> laybacks for me. That's why you stand up, huh? Maybe more twisted. Yeah, yeah, I'm always these chairs. You know, these chairs. I like standing. Definitely like, yeah. not. Layback. Maybe those. Like sometimes I'll do the like disaster ones because those are more just like you're flinging it out. But sometimes the like facey ones. I don't know. It's like I feel vulnerable. You have to tweak it's, out, and you're kind of exposed on your. Gotta keep the core tight. Yeah, oh. yeah that's where that training in the core work. I'd rather on. like twist, like twist a wrap or like slide <laughs> through the lip. I don't know. That's just kind of. Gosh, remember those days we did DSC training oh, yeah. at the Hyatt? Was I, that the Hyatt? I probably shouldn't have been doing it at the time <laughs> just because I, I've always felt like I was nursing like an ankle or something. And then you end up like imbalancing Speaking, yourself yeah. a little bit. That does happen. You end up compensating, and that's where, like, when you have injuries, you really want to rehab them back properly and because then then, then then you build up train. off of those solid blocks that you rehab from, from the injury. Yeah, because if you try to attempt to come back too soon, you'll end up 
compounding and probably hurting and everything else. We see the 805, 805 crew. 805 crew, last heat of the day. They are probably not the line. last beers of the day. <laughs> I just think they're started. just getting started. Just right now. getting started. <laughs> And we're back to action. We it have looks like Endless Dunby. Money Endless oh. Money has found his way into the event. He's screaming across this thing right here. Can he get the climber? Oh, foamy. Oh. And he, uh, he he was on his way. If that last one, if that last section just folds back a little bit, he just goes disaster slide. He's on his way to a score, but the thing crumble caked all the way across. Yeah. Those waves are fun when you're free surfing, but when you're in a heat, you're so bummed. You're like, yeah, when you're it. doing those speed floats down the line off the white water, you're like, oh. You feel like you're going so fast, but it's like, high risk. This feels so good. And like, high risk, low reward. And then score 2.25. Mm. <laughs> you're like, oh, sick. I had a lot of those in my day. Yeah, yeah. there's a crew. <laughs> Kevin Ash. 805. Thank you guys supporting us, presenting the Jack Surfboards Pro 2014. We've got some. We're going to be into the quarterfinals tomorrow. Quarters, uh, semis, finals. We also got the air shows, and uh, those will be, if I'm not mistaken, in between, in between the finals. In between, but that's the scene of the crime right here. Your 2024 Jax Pro. Thanks to Jax, Ron, Bobby, Jamal for supporting the world of surfing and putting on this event. QS 3000 for the men's and women's. We've got 60 brands down here. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, we're, all the brands giving back, putting into the sport that we love so much. And uh, we're, you know, pleasure to be down here. The waves look like... Maybe the wind is, he, you know, is it getting better? Or have I just been staring at it for too long all day? I feel like it's actually, I saw the flags. It's tended more northwesterly. I like it. I like it. But it looks, it looks cleaner. It didn't pick up like it did yesterday. Yesterday, it was howling. And Chad and I, we were talking about how it was just free dermabrasion <laughs> as you're walking back after the whole day. Chad's, Chad's coming in here. He's got a little dance move got going. A dance happening. Vibes are high here in the booth. We're getting photo shoot down here. It could be a TikTok. It could be that type of afternoon. Chad's looking like Saturday night fever. It looks like us. Wheelhouse is up and riding, and he is on point. So Wheel Wheelhouse Hasber, just you know, he just. He won't stop dialing in good waves, and he's on another one. Yeah, great ride for Wheeler. <laughs> so just twisting and shouting. We're going to let that score come in. He's got the seven. Looking to build off that. He's already double digits. And Dino, team captain of Tui, 6.17. Might even, if he makes his heat, he's got to have a shoey. <laughs> shoey for the TV. Oh. Uh, I think this one's going to better. I definitely do. Wheels just biding his time. He kicks out right there, but he got some work done. Only yeah. looking to better a 3.2. I think he clearly improved on that 3.23. Three. Oh, we're sending it back down to Big Al. I feel like we're going to be doing this lot this event, and it, we're just cracking into finals day. Big Al, same, same, you know, <laughs> same spice of life, same, you know, backhand bang. Oh, actually, you had a forehand 7-0. Yeah. What? You, you just look on point, brother. Is that the same board from yesterday, or we change it up? Nah, same exact board from yesterday. Actually, like the sixth time I've ridden it. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it's a magic blade. The thing just goes in big waves, small waves, grindy waves. It just chivals pretty good, you know? Dude, it looks hand down, man down. You're going 14-plus every heat. Um, I don't know what else to say. We got big finals day tomorrow. What's uh, what's your, you know, focus kind of – obviously you want to get the dub, but you got at least three more heats. What is kind of your game plan going into tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I just want to be in the present moment. I just want to have fun, you know, heat by heat, wave by wave. And, uh, yeah, just enjoy it because... Al, don't give me that, dude. Why not? <laughs> it is true, man. You're the... sounding like one of the another oh, one of those tour guys, oh, dude. God, Alan. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> that, 
checking out. Just keep that vibe hey, happening. Go have an 805. Yeah, thank you. It's time for one. But yeah, thank you guys. It's been a good day. The waves have not non-stop all day and uh hopefully more for tomorrow and uh yeah i just want to thank my sponsors and everybody here supporting all the mexican boys and uh hopefully there's some ways to chill tomorrow keep going on that 14 point total plus oh there will be and uh we look forward to watching you buddy so go get some rest get some food and then uh get ready for tomorrow thank you, you guys have a good rest of your day and uh yeah un saludo a todo mexico una más vamos con todo Eh, viva México, cabrones. Eso no se acaba hasta que se acaba. ¡Au! Later, Big Al. <laughs> Love the vibes. Keep it up. We'll see you on finals day. So. Yeah, I don't, you know, Big Al was giving us the one he, one wave. It's like, dude, he's hammered. Like, really, Here we go again. That's like the vanilla answer, you know. Vanilla, you know, baby. You know, but, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, during the break. Louis, uh, Louis G. Local Luke. Local Luke, Louis G, speeding across the section right here. Rapa Nui. Yep. And Kolohe, he got a 5.37 on that last wave during the interview. Lohe. Is this him hand. right here? A little yep. Lohe. Go low road. Zing. He's always had that little oh, flare. Right there. That's the turn. <sighs> so going with the lime wow. green shamrock, little Tui Union. Yeah, the lime green. I like it. Yeah, he's back on the B-Wats. He's back on the B-Wats, so he's feeling himself right now. Oh, what a day. We're wrapping this thing up. 11 minutes to go. What do we got? We got some scores. Looks like Wheeler still out in the lead. Kolohe and Dino, 5-1 or 5-3-7 on the last, 6-1 on the first. Luke G has a 5-3-3, needs a 6-2-1, and Michael... Endless money. Mike Dunny needs a 8.04. So he's got to crawl his way back. He he does have first priority court. So he's got to lit, line up with that buoy and link into one. Definitely. Oh, here he like goes. Doing that. Guys are trying to guys are trying to chip cool. him. Whoa, big first turn. Foam climb, high risk, low reward. We'll say that all event. But ah, the gift that doesn't give them any more yeah that's like the stocking that doesn't have much in it <laughs> coal <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay no, al's got that yeah yeah that's Dumb. right boy that's more the al i know endless cheddar that's the cheddar mo better okay so he's got the lay right deluxe brother right, throws brother. one to the flats he's ready for the air force air show tomorrow so al show him big hundreds al cleveland 100 Uh-oh, what's this wave? Who's got priority? Who's going where? Who's doing what? Uh-oh. Ooh, almost took someone's heels out. He's got to have something right here. He's got to have something. Start. It's not it. No. It's got to have something in in and towards the lip. Or else the rat backs aren't going to be up into that good range. Definitely not. 6-2-1. Mike Dunphy needs the 7-7-4. Seven, seven, he could just get the 777, seven, seven, the lucky seven, and just call it. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, jackpot. jackpot. Straight to Casino Morongo. <laughs> yeah. You know, find him in Hawaiian Gardens just rolling dice all night. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, baby. No waves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 3 8 on Mike's like big climb kick. They went 3 8. Wesley. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Boys are fired up. He might be on some 805s. Yeah, he was. He was he's, like, he's looking for his money. Mike getting the backhand rotation going, slashing back, biding his time. Will this thing, you know, uh, nope. so a little bit similar. That thing fades out into the trench. He's trying to, you know, it's not as though he's not trying to crawl his, you know, claw his way back into this. It's just hasn't found the one that allows him to. Yeah, it's it's been a tough heat for Dumphy, for sure. Just has some mid to higher threes. You I know, mean, he'd love to have some higher scores in this heat. It just hasn't happened for him yet. 
Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not the end of the world. He's got no. the challengers. Just won the North American Tour. It's a bit of a warm up, you know. Get the flow. I'm sure he's got some new boards. He's got to kind of, you know, wi- with maybe. Yeah, whistle through and try to see. Okay. And uh, see a few lines. Is that? Yeah, couple? we need lines. Couple little. It'll be interesting to see how we show up tomorrow. I think it'll be fun in the morning. Could get a little. What grimy. time will we be finishing three. tomorrow? Three. Like three, three thirty. Could be a. Uh, could be a little tough on that. Could bring lake. your foil. Could bring your <laughs> SUP. Huh? Your vessel. A little vessel. <laughs> vessel, please stay one half mile outside the surf line. <laughs> That's all I have in my head when I hear the Tower Zero yelling at the boats coming through. Please stay past the quarter mile buoy. <laughs> yeah. Well, seven minutes. And then we got the po show. We got the po show. Mm-mm-mm. Coming up soon. Don't miss it. We'll have some of wow. the top highlights of the Everyone's day. Everyone's hunting really fast towards the pier. There must be a little, little pier bowl right little coming towards them. Panic at the disco, huh? <laughs> yeah. One wave, one opportunity. Panic and wait. <laughs> Mike's looking for. <laughs> Someone's you know, on the. He's Dunphy looking for a five. Dunphy inside. needs that five just yeah. to get himself, you know, not needing the seven, seven, four. Get a five. Get a six. Sounds easy. Really isn't. But he does that in his sleep. He's been pocket sixes since, uh, I don't know what year Mike was born. He's probably 31. What does that leave him? How old are you? 31. Yeah. So yeah. what year are you born? 92. Okay. So yeah. Pocket sixes since yep. <laughs> 98. Um, so big wrap. This is a recap. Replay. Love it. Lohe. Turn of Lohe. Lohe. Uh, 617. Little cheater 5. And then this we is the wave of the heat. Look seven. at that. Yeah, that first turn was big and following up with that second turn here. He did all the work on that. Two turn combo, seven points. The rest, icing on the cake. He could have kicked out, still had a seven points, but you know what? He wants to make it, you know, make it a sign, seal, deliver. And then Luke, right here, this wave, I thought, nice carve. And then, great second. That was pretty sick. I loved those first two turns. They came in at five three three, so they might have just, I don't know. I think because the wave died out quite a bit here. I'm not sure. I really love those two turns out the back. Just looked bigger. It looked like bigger surfing. Got a little funky at the end there, but. I mean, how long are they scoring? You know, they're not really even watching at the end. Yeah, he did all I mean, the damage not. out the back, for sure. So five three three, Luke G needs a six two one. Dunphy seven seven four. Hasber has the boys in a little world. Mm. Oh, Dunphy, oh. five two three on his last ride. Wow, so and oh, we could have a little inno. Little interference, maybe we'll have to get a replay on that. See what happened. So what happened here? It's really quick, kind of out of shot for us. So it looked like maybe red, a little tussle with him and Chloe. Uh oh, oh, sh- yeah. <laughs> I love it. No. I absolutely love it. I mean, I don't know. He, it was, you know, he I might. Know. He's selling. He's selling it. I don't know if they're gonna fall for it, but there was, you know, a guy paddling, pushing him on his back. A guy right underneath him, duck diving. He was being sandwiched for sure. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> He was he was a little bit uh, crunched. I feel crunched. like that new rule too. It's still something being established. Like where's that line? Yeah. A little bit. Um, you and I have both experienced people pounding up the face and things happening. You yeah. Know? That and one. It's we'll leave it to the judges to decide on that. Well, so this might be Dunphy's That's five Dunphy's five, five two. So he's crawled himself back. Oh, I like that float, little rock and roll shimmy. Shimmy Disco. Yeah. Shimmy Disco here? You need a little DJ. 
That'd be nice. Dimity. Shout out to you. <laughs> well, she's probably not watching. What the, actually, they might you be watching know. back there in Oz. Um, brother's a little fired up. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, you see. Watch the replay. <laughs> he's fired up. He's trying to sell the old. I mean, there was some. There was some issue of like where Red was. Did he try to get out of the way? You are supposed to go behind. Typically, go behind the surfer and Always. whoever's dropping in or riding down the line. You don't typically paddle into the wave like the the typical lowers crowd. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to get out of the way and they're going where the where the turn's going to be done. You got to go into the whitewash. Yeah, it looks like Wheeler's going to pinch Kalohe on this. He's they're both having a little moment right here. Yeah, a little. Oh, but it is a good little like wave, and he's gonna better his score. So he's yeah. luckily he didn't he didn't give brother that wave. Yep. But blue's up and riding big forehand wrap. I so these guys might love, just distance themselves. Yeah, I love when brother has a little bit of fire under him. You could see him flare out and heats like this. Like he's gonna yep see. <laughs> yeah. He, well, he's trying <laughs> he's trying to uh you know so fired up right now. <laughs> he, he, at some stage, you got to have that in you to get back where you want to be. And if you don't, you, you definitely will You'll get eaten, a, eaten alive. And so I like to see that. He's, he's fighting his way back. He's crawling and scratching and kind of what Wheeler has to do because he's a younger competitor. But brother, I hear big forehand rap. Brother had some teeth and fangs Ooh, come out. Oof, rail. That was a total rail job right there. And then gets the finish and gives him kind of a, you know, let's talk about it later right here. Yeah. That wave's like, why me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the, you know, I, I wanna little see verbal you altercations. Yeah. Endless money, Dunny. Like Dunny got a 5-2. He needs a 6-3-1. Six, six, but time's running out, and the scores are just going to up, increase. Yeah, and Wheeler dropped a 5-7-7 seven, seven on that last ride that we saw him complete on the left-hander, and so we're still waiting for a Kalohe score to drop in. Dumphy's not going to wait for that score. He's going to try to catch a wave before these dying seconds happen. Looks like he's processing the heat. It's never over till that buzzer goes. Uh, we both know that. Been there a few times. Last ditch effort. Luke, can he chip into this thing? He only needs a 6-2-1. Dumphy's on the inside. He's definitely going to pull the trigger. Is he up? Oh, I yep. think he's up. He is up. From what I've seen, Slash in the pocket right there. Wraps it down. That's not the score already. Ward looking lively. Just wave. Just not that friendly. You know what? He threw through it on the last one sometimes you just have to ride and see what happens you know yeah so There's last like a wheeler seconds. wheeler gets the five seven seven ups his score <laughs> like a Kalohe score dropping in there it is fire 7.73 7 for Kalohe's last ride yep so takes the lead seven five for wheeler so and, we'll see uh, him in quarterfinal the last heat or yeah, he won. He won. So yeah, he'll be quarter quarter four. Quarter four tomorrow. So. So looking like yeah, Kalohe and Dino Wheeler Hasber into the quarterfinals. We are gonna take a short commercial break and we're gonna get ready for the post show. So if you're around, we got some. We'll have highlights, top maybe three, four waves of the day, and uh, quarterfinals tomorrow morning. See you guys soon.
surfing lifestyle that's developed, it's really the yoga lifestyle. You know, the purpose of yoga is obviously to, one, gain control of your mind. That's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you. All right, we're back. Beautiful Huntington Beach. Last heat just finished. We're going to be throwing it down with Mr. Kolohe and Dino. Yeah. yeah, brother. What up? Hey, a little fired up out there. I love to see <laughs> the, the passion. I know there was that little paddling thing. I yeah. saw you kind of throwing your hands up. What were you feeling? Oh, well, I just had, I had priority over Luke, and then he... um. He like paddled on the top of my back and like fully hit me with his board. So yeah, I know. <laughs> so I was like, I, uh, he I hit wasn't. Me, so I should probably. He should get interference. I wasn't sure if it was Luke or when why or uh, Wheeler was paddling out as well right here. Yeah, we're kind of watching a replay. So yeah, it it definitely looked like the nose maybe hit the foot and then Wheeler's right under you on the drop in. So it was <laughs> so a little. It was a little chaotic <laughs> and, and then I thought I had priority over Dumpy and then I didn't. So I was like, what's going on here? So I just yeah, I was like, well, oh, oh well, uh, whatever. Like let just they like, they can figure it out at the peak and then I went down the beach and got my best waves. So. Yeah, well it ended up like <laughs> you looked like you got fired up, went a little bit over and then flared up that right and won the heat. So it uh it all worked out. <laughs> It, all, it was a good thing. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to take it for what it is, right? Yeah, totally. Well, what's the plan? We got big quarterfinals tomorrow. I'm not sure who you draw. I haven't got the updated form, but I don't think it really matters. What's uh? What were you riding today? <laughs> um. Well, yesterday I rode a 6.0, just like standard shortboard. And then I was going to go down to my 5.11, but then when I got down here, it looked really soft. So I actually went down to a 5.9. Mm. So that was like a liter and a liter and a half more. Okay. So, um. Yeah, it looks good. I it mean, felt a little squirrely a couple waves, but it it it, ha it carried my speed good. And you know when it's so small and you're like you're pushing down on your board, and then there's if it doesn't give you anything back, then you kind of your attitude gets bad. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll get a good attitude from my fast surfboard. Yeah, well, out there too, you just want anything to feel lively as well. So you're trying to skip across the flats, and the board looked good. You actually had some big open face wraps. Like your best wave were like two big carves that. You kind of laid into, and that was the difference in the score. So, thank you. Yeah. Well, congrats. Any shout outs? Uh, my wife and kids, and probably my dad's watch, and maybe my mom watching. So, okay. Hi to them. I just, yeah, super stoked to to make the the quarters. Okay. Well, we're excited <laughs> to watch you tomorrow. Go get some rest. Are you stay? You're staying at home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you're doing a little staycation. Put on Dodger Radio and drive home. All right. Well, <laughs> great work. We'll see you bright and early. Thanks. Later. All right, everybody, stay tuned. We got a post show coming up. Top waves of the day. Myself, Chad Wells, will be right here. Cold Beer Surf Club Lounge presented by 805 at the Jacks Pro. Stay tuned. We're going to give you an update in a moment.
surf longer. And that's exactly what these board shorts were designed for. Tough and timeless, the Traveler Enduro board shorts. All right, we are back here at the Cold Beer Surf Club post show presented by 805, Chad Wells, Brett Simpson. I mean, today was a great day, moving day, really, here at the Jacks Pro. Yeah, we had, you know, many excellent rides, uh, a few to say the least. One of the standout performers, Al Cleland, was uh, back at it again today. Was a standout yesterday. Chloe and Dino just got through. Had a couple cl- close moments there. Was a little disappointed in a call. Some drama, per se, but that's, love it. it is what it is. Yeah, we love it. I mean, it's not all fun and games. You put a jersey on, make waves, not friends, right? Well, yeah, you got it's about making the heat. That's it. All the other stuff is, uh, you know, it's, it's gravy. It's a wash. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to have a look at today's top three rides. Yeah, let's bring it in. We got some solid ones up now. It looks like Kira Pinkerton to start the day off. 7.83. Two big hammers. And what we come to expect from Kira Pinkerton, she just laid it all out right there. Yeah, and it was good to see the girls get the early morning uh, good buttery conditions. Yeah, because I will say they got a little short end of the stick yesterday. Afternoon was tough, but that first turn... Spray still falling as she kind of goes into her second, and that's always a good sign for an excellent score. Oh, just rifled those turns. So Kira Pinkerton, she's advanced on into the quarterfinals. We will see her tomorrow and gets that third one as well. So no stranger on you know making finals day. Kira has kind of done it. She's qualified for the Challenger Series, but she's got some work to do. And I think this event would be a huge, you know, statement if she can come out and win this thing. Oh, yeah. And it's this is the launching pad for the girls as well with the 3,000 points on offer. They only take four. Yep. That's super gnarly. So Big not, start for the new season. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ladies. Yeah. So, well, we're going to move on. Maybe. Show us and let's pull up the next one. Wave number two. Who do you think it is? Uh, well, it looks like, uh, is it Owen Moss? None other than. Yeah, he's Mr. a hammer. Mossy. This must be the flat eight, I think. I think so. Eight point ride right here. Nice twist. Snaps it in the pocket again. Look at the board speed that whole wave. Throws the spin. So the variation right there is what kept incrementally. Good start. You know, big pivot snap. Drives around the flatter parts, even through the chop. Gets the twist carve. And so this is the variation we're talking about. A nice snap, and then this is where he throws in the uh, high-performance spin. Yeah, I mean, it was good variation. The the thing I liked about that wave is how much speed he carried from start to finish. Yeah, I think the board speed was the reason. It could have easily got stuck kind of crawling into that next section. Yeah. And he would have been out on a 4.83, not an 8. Magic, so, magic Xanadu. Magic Xanny, and that uh, it, it's kind of gotten him to where he is he's had a couple good runs the last few events he got a he got a win before barbados i'm pretty sure and in coco beach he won the junior and the men's and then he went to and then he went to barbados and got a solid result keeper bumped him into the challengers and he's on a roll right well we'll see him make an appearance in the quarterfinals tomorrow yeah the qf's big start and then the final score top score of the day looks like it's going to be none other than Miss, Miss Zoe Benedetto, huge snap there. And this is the 817. Carves it back and just bides her time. This is what you were saying, a little more tied during the ladies this yep. morning and gets the finish. So I just love this first turn, though, wow. Ozzy. This first turn's insane. She places it and then drives through it with the back foot. So it's that 
rail release i would say that's some of the hardest stuff weight on weight off but you're still kind of pushing through it it's it's timeless surfing oh she nailed it and i mean and proofs in the pudding she is one of the top performers here at the jacks pro for the ladies and then we got mr cleland as well this is his 817 so we had a we had a group of surfers that cracked that 817 that was cleland right here vertical backside gets a little release as well and then this one house at 8.17 and just slam the door shut at 8.17 and just slam the door shut quarterfinals here you go right well that wraps up today's uh processions we finished the round of 16 tomorrow we will see quarterfinals men's women's and the air show the Dude. u.s air force air show presented by fuwak so guys are going to be on the punt tomorrow tune back in we are crowning champions yep. tomorrow we will have champions We'll see you guys bright and early, 8 a.m. PST. fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. <laughs>